All right. Start this off a little bit early. Like I said, I uh, was expecting things to take a little bit longer. I got them all done early, so let's get right into it. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I expect quite a few people to be pouring in here, so maybe we'll chat for like half a minute or a minute. And then I'm going to go over all the pre stuff just to. Because this is going to go live as a VOD, but I'm also going to turn this into a edited video on the Let's Play channel and then a heavily edited video on the main channel. So if you don't have time to watch the whole thing, which I highly doubt it, this whole campaign, I'm estimating it's going to take somewhere between 80 to 100 hours. If I'm lucky, maybe only 60, but I think it's going to be upwards of like 100. So don't worry about it. It's it's going to go on the Let's Play channel, so it'll, it'll still be edited like maybe a third or a fourth of the time. And then maybe a 30 minute video at the very end. Uh, no speed. This is not a speed run. Just FYI. Uh, let's say hi to everybody. Suited Zombie. What's up, man? Uh, let's see. We got Yuder Mulek. Doige. Sunny Day. Redro Mobile. Craftmaster. Dar. Tassie Devil. Omic Contact. What's up, everybody? Finally caught a stream. Yeah, I, I may. I don't know how much of this campaign I'm going to stream. I wanted to at least get the first one streamed. Just to build a little bit of hype around it. Because this is also going to go on the Let's Play channel. And I know sometimes editing a live stream on a Let's Play channel is kind of a, a big task. So I don't know how much of it. I, I may just do this one and then do the rest offline so that I don't have to kill my voice. Because my voice is going to be absolutely trashed doing 100 hours of campaign in a row. So, But we'll see. I don't know. Uh, you'll be asleep most of the time? Yeah, seriously. You were just playing in Bannerlord. What's up, Simpery Envoy? And MSF. What's up, guys? Gals, guys and gals, can you be the Astra again? Not this one. No, I have to be... Well, we'll get into it in a sec, but yeah. So, anyways, um, much love from Argentina. Que bueno. Nice to meet you, Red Direct. Glad you showed up. Uh, John P, hit the thumbs up. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, can one of you find fellas explain the rules? Yeah, I'm going to... Plastic Bazooka, I'm going to do that right now, actually. So, first, like I said, this is all going to go on a VOD. So I wanted to get the entire thing recorded, so I'm sure there's going to be some people like, all oh, this is BS, so I want to at least get the beginning so you can see there's nothing funky going on. So if you look at the description of the of this video, the live stream, there's a mod list that I'm using. So I'm using just the basic ones, only quality of life. There's nothing that changes anything about the game. So RTS camera to speed up combat, better time to speed up campaign map, sell all but stop at zero, pretty self-explanatory, battle stats to... Because I want to know how many personal kills I get by the end, since we're not using units. It'd be kind of cool to see how many. It's going to be in the tens or possibly hundreds of thousands, which would be really interesting. Uh, probably have carpal tunnel afterwards, but we'll see. Bitter smithing to add bulk task to smithing and equip best item. Again, self-explanatory. Uh, Tala Khan, what's up? Outlaw, Dr. Kafer, Mateus Lima, what's up? Luna Noir, what's up, everybody? Uh, so here, let's uh, just go to the mods real quick so you can see there's nothing funky going on. All I did was add some bulk crafting and smelting and, and all that stuff. So there's there's nothing crazy going on here. Better time just to speed up the campaign map. And these are just the support mods. These don't change anything about the gameplay. So there's nothing that's going to give me a benefit here. Uh, we're also going to do a sandbox mode because I want to be able to choose the age and I don't want family members. This is a true solo conquest. No companions, no spouse, nothing. Uh, oh yeah, actually I forgot to go over the rules. So let's go over the rules real quick. It's in the description. I'm, I'm literally just reading off the description, but basically no combat. I cannot control any units in battle. So I can have units in my party if I need them for like, let's say I'm trying to boost the garrison of a town because it's rebelling, stuff like that. I uh, cannot fight with units, and I can't use units to like speed up a siege or anything like or to avoid combat. I, I can only have them in the party very, very temporarily to, to boost up uh, or to be able to break into a town because for s some stupid reason, it doesn't let you slip in unless you got some people. So uh, executions are not allowed unless it's an absolutely last resort. And I mean that like literally if I didn't execute people, the campaign would be a disaster and fail. So uh, most likely I'm not going to do any executions. RBM is not on Uter. Um, so this is mostly vanilla, but it, yeah, for, for good reason. Uh, retreat from battle is allowed, but when I retreat, it's, it's not to restock ammo. I can only swap out gear loadouts that I have. So like, let's say if I'm using mostly arrows or uh, javelins, 
if I retreat, I can switch the gear load that uh, loadout that I have, but I cannot reload ammunition, if that makes sense. So it's not it's not cheat. I can't cheese it, but I can bring in a different set of gear if I want. Uh, no smithing for profit. I can use the weapons, though. No hiring companions or spouse, not even as a governor. I can be a vassal, but I cannot have vassals if I am a king. So that's not allowed. It's a true solo. Uh, no exploits of any kind. So like no influence glitching, no weapon duping or whatever other stuff comes up. There may be there may be some cheese. I don't know. I, I'm going to do my best to avoid it, but we'll see. So that's pretty much the setup. I talked about the mods. I showed you the actual mods. There's nothing funky going on. Uh, the, the rules of the campaign. Now let's get into the actual campaign. So right here, we're starting as the Empire. And the main reason is because we are going to focus on Empire fiefs first. They're going to be much easier to control than if we start on the periphery. So it'll it'll all make sense. I don't want to give away too much because it's kind of a spoiler. I have a whole like I literally spent two weeks preparing for this campaign, like running tests. Uh, not two weeks straight, obviously, but I, I would say I probably spent about 15 to 20 hours testing and getting everything ready. So we're going to go Empire. And this is supposed to be a little bit of a meme character, by the way. This is going to go to the edited video that I'm doing. I don't want to spoil too much, but um yeah, we're, we're going to play. There's literally nobody in the universe that could do this campaign other than the Ring of Powers version of Galadriel or Guy Ladriel, as they like to call her. So that's what we're going with. <laughs> uh, AR-15. What is AR-15? Uh, oh, battle size. So the battle size is a thousand. Yeah, everything's everything's like uh, standard and whatnot. Okay, so let's get into the picks. So pretty much everything is going to get dumped into Endurance and Control, and then Vigor next, and then some focus points down here, but no attribute points are going into the lower third, uh, the lower half. So, Boy, please. Uh, I'm not sure what, what's going on there. <laughs> yeah, somebody's spazzing out. All right, so the picks mostly going to gear towards um, ranged. So again, all the attribute points have to come up here into Endurance and Control. Otherwise, I won't pick. I am going to be doing a little bit of Scouting and a little bit of Charm. But pretty much everything's going to be up here. So Because obviously we can't use the other perks. But yeah. Greetings from Germany. Tachler. Guten Tag. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, Scoobs. Alright, so... Let's keep picking these. Uh, I think it's... Yeah, so bow. Now, the one thing in control we're not using is crossbow. It's kind of redundant. So we'll stick to bow in throwing. And then we'll be using a lot of one-handed and polearm early. A lot of two-handed in the late game. Bow and throwing. will Bow will be primarily throughout the whole campaign. Throwing will be really heavily used in the mid to late game. Uh, riding is very important. Athletics, not quite as much, but still kind of important for the perks. And then, of course, smithing is going to be key as well, because we're going to need a lot of stuff. It would be painful. Yes, Veil. This would be a very painful campaign. Uh, Master Sergik, thanks for the guide to learn a lot. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm glad they were helpful. Uh, Bilio Cello, how's it going? And hi from Israel. Random smash. Welcome. All right, let's keep this moving along here. So this one, again, throwing we'll be using. Control and endurance. So this is a good pick. Actually, I think this... No, no, no. Sorry. Skill with horses. I do need one point into intelligence. Just so we can get the level 25 perk. And then it gives us endurance and riding. So that one's fine. This one's fine as well. Uh, road with the scout so we can get more bow and endurance. That's fine. And my bird is doing the US National Anthem. Because this is actually appropriate. This is going to be one of those big uh, campaigns that probably needs a National Anthem. All right, and then the last one we have to do, Defeated Enemy. I, I don't like this one, but there's no other good options. Everything else is putting things in stuff that we'll absolutely not use. So, yeah, Defeated an Enemy in Battle. And then also, I really... This is the part where I struggled the most. Do I do 30 years old, or do I do 40 and pick up an extra point? The problem with 40 years old is this is going to run a longer campaign for sure. And I don't want to really risk dying of old age before we, you know, get get to the end so I, I i really want to pick up the extra point but i think we're just going to have to stick to 30 years old and deal with it so uh are you allowed to save scum so i'm going to try and not do some of that but honestly for a campaign that's going to run 100 hours i will probably use it if there's a game ending issue um so but yeah i i'm probably going to try and not do that so 
Galadra is going to have a hard time leveling up Charm. She will do Charm later just because she's insufferable in the beginning, but she'll learn to be a little bit more charming. Now, if you've watched the Ring of Powers, you know that it's all about female empowerment, which I don't have a problem with, except the way that they did it. Um, kind of annoying, but we're going to go with the female symbol, Galadriel, and this is Bezos's wet dream theme. And all you need is Galadriel, right? So, like I said, a lot of this stuff will make sense when I do the edited video, but for now it's just kind of haha, and then move on. Uh, so you can see the settings, all Bannerlord, I didn't change anything, death is enabled, actually, I don't know why I skipped through that so fast, but Bannerlord, everything's realistic setting, everything's going to stay this way. Uh, there's nothing in here that needs to change, so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, Junaid Lumdeen discovered channel three weeks ago, finally catch him with the lives. I appreciate it, man. I'm glad to, hopefully the videos are helpful, and uh, welcome to the stream. So let's, Galadriel has all the plot armor. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> oh, man. Idam is high from Dom Denmark. How long will we be streaming today? I'm not sure. This will probably, the first stream, I usually try and do a long one, like eight to ten hours. But we'll see. It, it'll probably be a, a good size stream, though, for sure. Uh, now, the first, it's very important to do writing and bow so we're going to max both of those out i want to max endurance first so we're going to get up to eight points we'll get 0.9 from athletics 0.10 from smithing we'll also go up to eight points in control and again same thing we'll get another point from athletics and another point from smithing so we'll be 10 and 10 and then vigor we'll do later because control is going to be the most important stat that we're going to use Vigor will be very important in the later stages, but for the early game, it's not as big of a deal. So, good luck, Strat. I appreciate it, Survivalist. Thank you. You don't even play video games, you just love your videos. I appreciate it, man. That, that's actually a big compliment, uh, that it's entertaining enough to watch. Uh, no companions, Michael Schultz. No, nope, nope, nope. I kind of went back and forth. Companions really don't add... They don't really make the challenge easier, to be honest. But I feel like there's always going to be those people that are like, Oh, this is, you're using companions. It's not a real solo. So just to get rid of all the doubters, we're just going to literally keep it at zero everything. Just one person, so... Rip to all the European people. Yeah, it'll it'll be uh, it'll be posted as a VOD afterwards. And like I said, this is going to go up on the Let's Play channel. Uh, my wife will help me edit these down. And then once the campaign's wrapped up and done, I will edit it into like a probably a thirty minute video, something like that. So that'll there'll still be stuff to watch. So let's let's um let's get into our opening move. So they do have some sheep here. This is RNG as to what you'll spawn with. Sometimes you get some stuff. Sometimes you don't. So we'll, we'll take the sheep, cut them up, and we profited 229 dinars. That's not much, but whatever. Now, I apologize. We're going to strip her down. And she is naked. So we also, let's give her a decent horse, because we need a sumter horse anyways. So we'll get something that's a little bit faster. And luckily, they do have a simple short bow. Ooh, they actually have a balance. Simple short bow. So this one's a little bit better. And money is not really an issue. The entire campaign. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We're short by four. We have nothing else we can sell. Uh, that's okay. We can do two sets of bow. Uh, two sets of arrows. That's not that big of a deal. Because once we get the bow skill, we can sell this one. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, sheep is cheap. Yeah. Uh, any aces you think you can call on? Yeah, oh yeah, I've got a whole bag of tricks. I've got a whole notion page filled out for how I'm going to do this. So it's going to go in stages. I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm not going to give you guys any hints. You just have to watch. And uh, as they come up, I will explain. Is there a way to conquer the world without the minus? Oh yeah, absolutely. So we're not using the minus 50% at all. So we're, we're not putting any points into cunning. So that we're, we, will, we will not be able to get keen sight. We don't need it. it it'll make sense. You'll You'll see. I could sell the saddle, but then we'll be really slow. I, I or uh, the turning radius severely really back. So let's just go. So the opening stage, first the main goal. We need to get combat skills up, ASAP. So bow and riding are the first ones to go up. Then it needs to go a little bit into athletics, but mostly one-handed and polearm. So these are really important for fighting bandits. These are really important for fighting villages and, and armies. And then athletics are really good for prison breaks and other things that we plan on using. Also, some arenas. You're right, Brel. We'll be doing some arenas as well. 
that'll help supplement some things. But let's uh, let's get on the road. So we need to go into Kazate territory because we are hunting the famous Step Bandits. Now we are going to pick on everybody that we can come across. Actually, you know what? Let me get this thing going. Um, I should have done that before I ran into these guys, but that's okay. Why did I? Glad real start. All right, cool. So we got a starting save. Time for some looter shooter. Yeah, we'll be doing a little bit of looter shooting, but not not a whole lot. So what I'd like to do is I want to get as much levels from these guys. I don't really care. We're, we're going to get the same amount of uh, renown and loot from them no matter how we kill them. But if we shoot them from a far distance, you actually get more XP. So, is the game still fun? No, this is still fun. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't enjoy it. Because there's other games I could play that would do better. Uh, I am not hitting anything. So, like, I want to get into Warhammer. That one seems like a, a cash cow. It looks fun, too, but it also looks like a cash cow. So, we want to hit these guys from as far back as possible. Oh, I'm not hitting anything, am I? So, I, and I'm going to leave the RTS camera speed on for this stuff. Because, like I said, I practiced the crap out of this. It's really slow, and there's no need to slow it down. It just doesn't add anything. It's actually much harder to do. There we go. Actually, we do want to take a rock once in a while so that we can... Uh... Oh, I didn't even equip the arrows. What an idiot. I didn't equip my second set of arrows. Well, I can go back and equip another set of arrows, because, like I said, we can... The rules of the campaign say that you cannot, um... So, like, right now, we have already one set, so I'm not going to equip this one until after the battle, because that wouldn't be according to the rules. Um, so if if I... What I'll end up doing is having three or four sets of gear and switching them out mid-battle, just so that I can get it done, but... Are you getting airlog? Is it hard crashing? I haven't gotten any, uh... Oh, is the game sped up? Yeah, the game sped up. So this is normal speed. And this is sped up right here. So it's it's definitely being sped up. Yeah, mostly because this is going to be an incredibly grindy campaign. And if I didn't have this, it would take like two to three times longer without any really added benefit. So now we want to take a rock once in a while just so we can get a little bit of medicine uh, skill and uh, levels. It's going to be really hard to level it up because we don't have troops. So we're just basically repairing ourselves and getting a few levels from that. Actually, I need to slow it down. We only have... We have limited arrows here. We gotta make sure we don't mess it up. Yeah, there... Honestly, as long as you're not sitting still and you're not moving in this in linear directions, it's pretty hard to get hit by these guys. So we wait for him to throw, then we hit the brakes. No big deal. Yeah, so like I said, they, they aim linearly, so as long as you're not going linearly, you'll be fine. I'm trying to trouble shoot, shoot in your chat. Okay, gotcha, Plastic. If Total War would make historical games again... Yeah, I know, man. Alright, so we got some levels here. We... Not quite enough to hit the level 50 perk on uh, archery, but that's fine. Now we can put some clothes on. Yay. Is multiplayer battle or fun? I haven't played too much of it, but what I did, it seemed kind of like you have to know the meta. People spinning and jumping around is kind of annoying. But some of the matches were actually really fun, so it just depends. Alright, so we got these two first filled out. Now let's put some into athletics, because we are... They're not so much that we're going to be fighting on foot early on, but the important part... Oh, actually, for hideouts, it's important. But really, the main goal is I want to get durable and steady as fast as we can. So level two, excuse me, level 200 is where we need to get. Can you make a tutorial on how to get the right RTX mod? I'm not sure what that means. All right, let's, uh, we're looking for... Uh, we're we're going to take like as many that. fights as we can, but we're looking for step bandits because they're going to drop the potential to drop good gear, and they also give you a decent amount of renown. Oh, wow, that's bad. All right, let's try this again. So just pour arrows into them, and like I said, we want to keep a distance. We don't want to take too much hit. But we also... 
want to get as much XP as we can. And the further away you are from them, the more XP you'll get. And if we start... Oh, and I did it again. All right, I'm going to like actually put my arrows on so I don't keep forgetting because that's kind of ridiculous. You watch a Total War campaign, the Warhammer campaign. I that's it's really hard, man. There's so many good games like I want to make videos on. Like I have a couple ideas for Rimworld. I've got more video ideas for Project Zomboid, uh, Kenshi. I started messing around with Kenshi a little bit. I still, I don't want to give up on Starfield. I'm still going to make videos on it, just not yet. But that game, I mean, I spent a crazy amount of time on Starfield. All right, there we go. So we took one rock so we can get some XP from that. And we are above 50 on bow, so that's good. Could you go faster? <laughs> uh, caps out at 3x speed, so that's all we can get. All right, now we are not naked anymore, although we look kind of like a... Like a tomboy or something. Okay, we got... For the perks, we're going to take armor penetration, because the other one's just not that useful for us. And then we want to get up to 8 endurance before we do anything else. Let's put a few more into athletics. Like I said, we're looking for... Hey, you. Hideouts right now. Starfield. <laughs> it's actually really fun uh, for me. I, I had a lot of fun with it, but... Just couldn't figure out a good way to make a, an interesting video on it. And I didn't want to compete with all the garbage spam that people are doing out there with guides. I did see one guy. There's one channel that's small, like 20,000 subs. And he put out an incredible guide on the skills. Uh, so there, there's a little bit of hope. I, I, oh, okay. We're taking too much damage here. We want to get medicine XP, but we don't want to, like, kill ourselves. Uh, but anyways, yeah, there was one channel, 20, 20k subs, and I, I watched a couple of his, his videos. It brought a little bit of faith back into it, but... Here we go. Does moving faster on horse when you hit with the bow level, bow, or horse? No, speed doesn't matter. It doesn't really make much difference. Uh, how's it going? What's the plan? So, just started. Just barely started. So far, it's been pretty good. Definitely no hitches yet. There's a little bit of RNG that we have to worry about because I, if we don't run into any good uh, hideouts, that's going to slow us down a bit. If we don't run into good party sizes of, um, what do you call it, the step bandits, that's going to slow us down some. But, you know, it's not a speed run in the sense that, you know, I'm trying to do it in a certain amount of time, but it is a speed run in some sense because we got to get it done before the main character dies. So, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's it's kind of a mix. Now we can pick up some half barding here. This would be good. Are you going to do the, the crime rings in the cities? Probably not. No, they changed it so you don't really get XP from them much. And since we can't take companions, we can't really benefit from it. So that wouldn't help too much. Uh, we are yellow, so let's not attack yellow people. Oh boy. Actually, you know, our... Uh, both skills not really that good. That's our own guy. That's... <laughs> All right, I need to find somebody's spear when they when they die. All right, maybe we'll stick with the bow. This is embarrassing. We can hit the guys that are. Oh, there we go. Okay, we can get a. Let's not get stabbed in the face here, but we can definitely pick up a spear. And is this the swinging? Nope, this is only a stabbing spear. Alright, no friendly fire with melee weapons, so I'm just gonna try and poke everybody. Here we go, cut this guy out. Oh, he got saved by the, the donkey. This is... I, I do like Kazate tournaments, but man, they take forever sometimes. Especially when it's AI versus AI and they're mounted. They'll just, like, circle each other and do absolutely nothing for, you know, like a minute straight. Let's uh, pull out the trusty bow and arrow. There we go. Get some good shots off. 
There we go. Two down, two shot. Oh yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. We're in the we're in no matter what anyways, we're the last two. So maybe we just die here real quick. Oh no, it's Okay, it's 2v1. We got the ally. Now taking out his horse isn't gonna do a whole lot of good because there's so many horses that he can just steal. But Oh, there we go. We got him. Uh, can you use militia technically? Yeah, technically on siege defense only. But in my experience, siege defenses are actually really hard to do. Oh, wow. All right, let's not... Let's not... Fumble this. Oh, my... Oh, those guys, both those guys just killed each other at the same time. That's hilarious. I've never seen that. Yeah, these two guys killed each other. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, well, that was easy. I have never seen that before in a tournament, but... Have you actually done a solo run before? Is this an experiment? No, uh, I haven't done it before, but I've done testing. So I've done, um... Uh, I don't know what you call it, like fake runs. So like not real campaigns. Like I had the console commands on and I was you know, to speed stuff up and skip certain battles. But I tested all the mechanics of the things that I want to use. And I also tried some battles without using any, you know, just actually trying to win battles. It's doable. It's just very hard and takes a lot of time. All right, we got him. And we don't have any money left, so we got to win this. Oh, and this is the one where you could... We could lose in a single hit. So let's try and not do that. Okay, well. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the one thing I was trying to avoid. We don't need the money. It's That's not a concern. I was really hoping to get the barding for the horse armor. Because horse armor is really important in this campaign. Oh, there we go. Maybe we'll get Hello. a good uh, drop on the... No, never mind. We won't. There's no archers in this one. Hey, Seeker. Good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to need it on this one. One down. Two down. Oh, man. We got stabbed good on that one. I thought I was going to be able to get out in time. All right. Well, we'll probably go chill at the city for a minute. Get two shots before we move. Uh, this horse is, like, taking the hits for him. There we go. I was trying to lead him into the tree. <laughs> Man, I'm on target, but I'm hitting the horse instead. Right, he's gonna straighten out for us. Alright, now we need to wait for him to play chicken, and he's dead. Yeah, a new scene. I think this is one of the newer maps that they added. A pretty good looking map. Yeah, this would be fun to do with a big, uh, big army, but, you know, no big army here. Oh, man, that was annoying. So now we gotta wait a little bit. Gonna delay us some, but... Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to town anyway, so let's take the prisoners. Alright, so we're maxed out. Athletics, bow, and riding, so we're good as far as, um... Getting to do hideouts and stuff we're, we're good now we're gonna need to do uh let's see one-handed and, and polearm we'll do them both simultaneously because we're gonna need that pretty soon all right 80 is probably good enough we don't need to go to 100 and i forgot to sell the prisoner uh just gonna get rid of him now i don't want to go back all right uh let's not chase these guys oh here we go so I know for sure there's a hideout here because there's bandits. So anytime you see bandits like this, you know there has to be one in a certain radius. How do you plan on holding territory? Land. You're going to have to wait and watch. I don't want to spoil anything for anybody because it's there's a lot that's going to happen. Uh, no 999 stat, man. Nope, this is all organic. This is all starting with, with no cheats, no no mods that change anything. It's it's just a legit um, campaign. We're going to have... Uh, Galadriel is going to be a actual beast. Like, she's going to be very good at melee, ranged, really good endurance, and then nothing else. So, alright. So, key here is to not get shot, so we move away from the archer. He will have a hard time hitting us, and then we can just pick these guys off. Let them get kind of close, and we can pick them off. 
Uh, I've run into these trees, even though there's like three trees on the entire map, I've run into them more often than I want to admit, so I've got to make an effort not to aim for the trees. And then we'll have to slow down a little bit to get a, a tighter reticle, because this is not good. There we go. Pure fighter, pretty much. I mean, we're going to have a little bit of charm and a little bit of scouting, and if Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We're going to have to juke. Um, if there's points left over, it's going to go into um, engineering so we can speed up siege. So siege time as a solo person, I don't know if you've ever tried it, but it's ridiculous. Uh, like I said, I don't want to spoil anything, but it, it takes a really long time to set up a siege camp if you're by yourself. So, we'll probably have to put a little bit of point. We're gonna get stabbed here, aren't we? There we go. Now we're hitting him. Right, no trees, no trees. Oh, we're gonna get stabbed. Yep. Man, I messed that up. Not a good start here. I got stabbed twice. Alright, now with these guys, the best plan is just to get behind them and always be moving in a in a non-linear direction so that they have a hard time locking onto you. They will nail you if you move straight. So just don't give them don't give them the shot. You wanna get in my experience, the best thing to do is to get into melee range so they stop. They yep, they're like that, so they get rid of their bow, and then just let them chase you like this. And then you can kind of bait them along. Look at that, how generous. Look at this guy, he's like cooperating. <laughs> uh, can you just sneak inside instead of siege? No, because you can't, you, I mean, you can sneak inside, but it doesn't do you any good. You can't start the siege off that way. That would be a really cool idea, though. All right, so we did hit 75 bow, so we'll get a little bit of hurt from that. And for this one, we're going to go reload speed. The big perks are coming next that we'll use a lot. Sagittarius for aim reduction while mounted, and same thing, mounted archery. That's going to help quite a bit. So now I don't really think we can keep going. I think we have to go back and heal. Just play it kind of conservative. Uh, let's take out these guys real quick. You. Just so we're not going back completely empty-handed. There we go. There we go. All right, nice and easy. As you can tell, I've, I've done this a lot. <laughs> I've done some practicing. Um, only horse gets damaged. Yeah, but if you lose the horse, you're, you're done. Uh, good luck, Strat. Thank you, Gabriel. I appreciate it. All right, let's go. Let's go back and heal. I know for sure there's there's a hideout there we can use. I'm gonna speed this up really fast. So 75% is probably good. Actually, let's sell some stuff. We are starting to get a little overburdened, but let's not sell everything. I want to keep a mace, and then probably one of these spears just in case we don't find a better one. Get rid of that. Let's also buy another set of arrows. Just buy the cheapo ones. And then also a shield. We'll, we're, we'll need a shield, and there's just not many shields in Kazate territory to be had. So we'll use that. And then let's just keep the cheapest food. We're not going to be doing any Stuart grinding, so we only need grain, and we only need, you know, maybe five or less. Uh, what's the speed mod? It's RTS camera. It, all the mods are in the description, um, and they, they I've, I've done other videos on it as well. So if you search the channel for mod videos, you'll you'll see them. Uh, so we're good. Let's go back up, and we got to take out... We're going to be soloing everything, so that includes hideouts, big parties, right. armies. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I uh, don't really like doing this in the city or the town, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm for sure going to run into a tree and, and get stabbed. I can see it now. Oh yeah, that's right here. Yep. I need to break away. I might go down here. This is really annoying. 
All right. Uh. Why am I going so slow? These guys are on, um, they're not even on, like, mounts. These are, uh, pack animals that they're riding, and they're able to keep up. Kind of crazy. All right, maybe we just go along the edge of the map and try and pick them off that way. This map is horrible for what we're trying to do. There we go. Man, I don't want to have to keep pausing to heal up, though. This is kind of annoying. I, like I said, I did a bunch of testing. I've never really ran into this issue before, but... Alright. We'll figure it out. I think part of the problem is our skill's so low. Once we get riding up higher, we'll be able to avoid these guys a lot better. Just off. Yeah, this is one of those battles where I wish I just skipped it, actually, because I don't- I, I hate fighting in, in villages like this, unless I'm using an army. Yeah, I can't even move. Alright, they're gonna start crawling around, too. What in the heck, dude? How is he catching? That, I don't I don't get this. This makes no sense at all. <laughs> like we have we have a better horse and we have higher skill and they're still catching. I don't get it. And of course, we're going to be stuck here. This is like a worst case scenario. Um All right, let's just try and finish this and then go heal. All right, there's a headshot. And we're getting shot at by that archer. If we get even, if the guy even looks at us, we're gonna die. So we gotta not get killed here. All right, let's just get out of danger. All right, there's a good hit. I don't. Why are Why are they faster? Why Why? Okay. I don't know, but I'm a little annoyed. Oh, we might die. Yeah, we're gonna die. I'm really, really confused how these guys are so fast. Because I know for a fact, when I loot them before, they always drop, um... What do you call it? The, the pack animal. So they shouldn't be faster than our Midlands Palfrey. Yeah, if this was a flat terrain without a bunch of trees, this wouldn't be an issue, but... All right, I don't know where the archer is, too. We might get picked off here. No, oh, he's back there. He's stuck. All right, there we go. Let's try and go for headshots and just be done with it. Oh, get in here so he runs into that. Maybe we can use this. Maybe I should have done this. Just use this as like uh Oh, that guy got really close. Oh man, that was bad. We're gonna die. This guy's gonna shoot us. Oh, we're in his blind spot. Oh man, that's so close. This is like uh like civil war. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We gotta get a lucky shot. Oh, that's a hit. No, I let him too much. Alright, I think what I'm going to do actually is... Let's get behind this. I'm just going to get off. It's hard to control... Really... Minute details. Oh, that's a hit. That's a hit. No, he's going to catch up. We're just doing whatever we can to survive here. Oh, man, what a start to the campaign. But you know what? It, it's good to see a little bit of adversity, so you know it's not a BS. <laughs> but I, like I said, I never, I did not run into this once in any of my testing, so... I don't know if there's bad RNG or if I'm just... Uh, getting lazy or something. We got 26 shots. We got... Should be plenty. Both on 1 HP? Probably, yeah. He's, he's really low. 
We've hit him three times, I think. Oh, he's stuck, he's stuck. Oh, I tried to lead him because he looked like he was coming off. Oh, he's coming through. There we go. Hell of a shot. I'm kind of surprised that hit, actually. All right. His horse is made out of steel, pretty much. Yeah, the horses have like 200, between 2 and 250. And each shot I'm landing is between 30 and 40, so I, I guess it kind of makes sense. Oh, and I just realized... I didn't start my recording. Lovely. That's fine. Okay, so we're almost dead. Let's go heal again. We don't really have a choice. Oh, let's not fight another one, because if we get caught here... We're slow because we have hurting penalty, so we just need to get rid of that other horse. And then we should be, yeah, back up to almost max speed. <sighs> that was a little stressful. Um... Is there anything we can do differently here? We could get a better horse, because that is really making a big difference. Not by much, but I guess every little bit helps. So we'll take a slightly faster horse. Let's just heal up and eventually get back. I mean, the good thing about it is we are getting a little bit of medicine XP, so that helps. But man, that's not what I was hoping for. Uh, on these perks, we're definitely going to be taking all the hit point perks, even if it's at the expense of the combat movement. Just because uh, this only helps you when you're unmounted, whereas this helps both times, and we're going to be mounted, I would say, probably 60% of the time. Uh, how long before reaching 25 medicine? A long time, Torque. Uh, what a solo fight. Hey, Duck, what's going on, man? Long time to see. Hey, Killjoy. Uh, when were you at 100k? Yeah, I've been at 100k for like uh, a month and a half. I actually stopped posting on this channel for a little bit because I started a new channel and I'm pivoting the, the content that I'm making a little bit. So this one suffered a bit, but it's all right. Uh, let's actually bypass some of these and see if we can just find where that hideout is. There it is. Hello. Right, let's take this fight before they all group up. Uh, we have mods to get more perks and such. No, the the rules are in the description, and the mod the only mods that I'm using are ones that like quality of life. Oh, I see. Like I'm glad I turned. I have a habit for hitting like the the one percent chance of hitting a tree. I, I tend to hit it. So, man, this thing is so inaccurate. I, I gotta get him closer. There's, I, I, I'm not gonna hit reliable shots here. I only have seventy something shots. Now, when you're moving to the right, you gotta aim to the right a little bit. Oh, yeah. I've noticed one thing when you're when you, these guys are chasing you, they'll go really slow, and then all of a sudden they'll change up their speed. Oh, see, I almost hit a tree right there. That would we would have been dead for sure. Uh, they like change their pace on you. I don't know if it's the AI just being the AI or if they do it on purpose, but it definitely catches me off guard. What in the hell, dude? Yeah, every single thing is going to up left, so let's aim down right a little bit more. It seems to be working, and of course he's catching. Gonna be rough, is it possible? It's possible. I don't know... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be reasonable to do in a, a sh you know, a decent amount of time, but it's definitely possible. And also, just so you guys know, the whole game isn't going to be me fighting, you know, a thousand man army by myself. That would be really boring and tedious. There is definitely going to be some of that, but it's not going to be the entire campaign. Oh my god, I keep missing all these shots, man. It's like... There we go. It's not who I was aiming at, but we'll take it. Yeah, I don't know if it's me or if this bow is just trapped. It just... What the hell, dude? 
so there's supposed to be like an amount of RNG where the arrow could come, and it's like going up left every single time. All right, they're gonna stop on that. That gives us an easy headshot. We gotta keep moving though. This guy's catching. Okay, that went through two horses. Uh, what's the goal here as a solo? Take over the, the whole map by myself. Uh, right now, we're just trying to level up combat skills. So that's the immediate goal, but the, the overarching goal of the whole campaign is is full full conquest of the whole map. Oh uh, yeah, that's gonna be a bad. Right, man. I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. We also picked up a faster horse. We should be able to outpace these guys without any issue, but there's something weird. Something weird with these guys. Make sure there's no trees, because based on my luck, we're going to hit a tree. There we go. I think... I I'm not going to stop to heal up. I think we just keep going. Do you treat if you have no arrows? No. No, we have to fight it. I mean, we retreat to... We can't retreat to get more arrows, but I can retreat to pick up our other set. I do have a shield and a spear and a mace, so we're not lost if we run out of ammo. There we go. All right, now we gotta we gotta brave the hail of arrows. Oh, this guy actually ran out of arrows, so he's gonna be an easy shot. Let's, let's actually take a still shot at him. That was close to a headshot. There's a headshot. That's what we want. We only have 24 arrows left, so. Uh, do you double tap W? Yes, absolutely. All right, here we go. I think they're starting to run out of arrows for the most part. So let's get another headshot. Oh man, it's like right over his ear. There we go. But I, I can't really stop too long because these guys are right on us. Yeah, they're all running out of arrows. Actually, they're coming. All right, here we go. I think they're all out, so we have to be careful. They're coming in hot, so we can't really... We have to get... We have to keep distance because they're going to close that gap incredibly fast. Let's get them to run into the tree. Oh, I turned too much. That's a leg shot. Uh, we'll try and use this tree to split them up a little bit. But like that. Yeah, one of them hit. That'll spread them out some. All right, he's really fast. There we go. All right, we can take another aim shot at this guy. No, 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 no. Ha ha! We've shown them. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. As soon as I slowed down, I knew that was gonna happen. All right, let's speed this up so we can get out. Uh, we'll take the offer because we just want to get out. Yeah. And we'll get some payback. <laughs> yeah. Now, if we take a random arrow, then I I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, we are going to have to rebuy some stuff. We most likely lost our spear and our shield, so that's unfortunate. But good thing it wasn't really a good one. It's just like starter gear. Yeah, we, we got to fix this horse, man. This is so slow, man. It's like we can't even outrun the freaking pack animals. It's, it's really bad. There we go. Okay, we're getting... That guy is really accurate. What the hell, man? <laughs> it's like... It's like I spent all this time doing these tests. This stuff was just not happening in, in my testing. I haven't changed anything either. Everything's on the same settings. All right, let's uh, get behind this guy. It's all right. It's just a little road bump. We'll get we'll get past it. This guy doesn't. There we go. There we go. Got it. All right, we got our revenge. No big deal. Uh, do you hold RBM to ride faster? No. No, I use the double tap forward. 
Yeah, when you aim, you slow down. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even when I'm going straight and I'm not doing that, they still seem to catch up. But I don't know. I, yeah, there's probably something going on. I'm, I'm not considering. But that's all right. We don't really need a whole lot of HP for, for doing... Um... Right, let's put it in. All right, so final point in endurance. So we're good here. We need to boost up one-handed and polearm, and then everything else is looking good. Where is... Oh, yeah, the hideout. We need to go to the hideout and hopefully avoid fighting again. Yeah, we're fast. We should be able to avoid. I don't want to fight these guys until we heal up some, so let's just wait. There's a way to ride faster. Not uh, There's a way to speed up faster. You can't really ride. Your top speed's still the same. But you do ride faster. Actually, what do we have left? Yeah, we lost our shield. We still have the spear. We're not going to need it, though. We can solo this with <laughs> Victory Screech. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> In the edited video, there's going to be plenty of that. Yeah, I got I got a bunch of memes to, to add in there. All right, so let's take these guys out. Sometimes there's more than one. Looks like he's by himself, so that's good. Now, the only thing that's going to give us trouble here is if there's a lot of people with bow and arrow. Doesn't look like it, because we have no HP, so even like a shot to the, the arm would be deadly for us. These guys all look melee, so that's fine. Assuming I can hit the shots. Come on. Alright, we need throat shots or head shots. There we go. Got him. Skyrim Stealth Archer build. <laughs> hey, Vladimir, what's up, man? All right, here we go. Uh, let's. We're gonna creep through. Snipe this guy from the shadows. Snipe this guy from the shadows. No big deal. We got four left. This should be pretty easy. May I ask how many hours do you have in the game? Uh, close to five thousand. It's like forty-seven or forty-eight hundred right now. So quite a bit. More than I should be comfortable admitting, but, you know. Yeah! Uh, not a headshot. There we go. Alright, wake up, dude. Wake up. Uh, oh, there's one more up there. Sometimes there's a guy hiding in the back that doesn't react until, like, really late. There we go. Now, also, one thing that'd be kind of funny, death is enabled, so there is a chance that if I go down in battle, I could die, but, you know. You have, you have about that many hours in downloading patches and mods? Yeah, that's the life, man. You. Alright, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be three shots. Oh, I don't want three shots. Oh, we can get three shots anyways. No big deal. All right, now I'm really hoping we get a good bow off of this. That's going to make a big difference. Uh, we're not going to take prisoners because it's going to slow us down too much. Oh, man, we got garbage loot. That sucks. All right, we don't want to take the extra horse. It's going to slow us down too much, and we are not overburdened, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We still have a mace. Oh, wow, we got a masterwork. We, we need to get a shield again. We'll need that at some point. Well, that's alright. Okay, so mounted archery. So this is probably why I was missing a lot of shots. I got, I think I got used to practicing with a lot of these perks. Uh, I didn't practice the early game as much, maybe. So, I'm not on a Sumter, but it feels like I am. <laughs> it's apple cider, feels like it. Hey, Brandon, what's up? Imagine dying 50 hours in. Yeah, that... See, that's the instance where I wouldn't mind safe scumming. Honestly, if the game ends like that after that many hours, I will definitely safe scum because I don't want to. I don't want to go back and redo that. Now, one thing I want to focus on here is damage while on foot, not so much um, movement speed. So I'm actually going to take weapon handling, just because I plan on using two-handed axe a lot, and the two-handed axe is very reliant on handling for for dealing damage. 
So we'll go with that one. And then we will be doing some crafting. So I'm going to go stamina. We don't have a party. And we can't persuade anybody of anything. So actually we can. No, we can't. No, we're not getting married. So yeah. So we, we, we can't use any of those. Hey, you. Oh, these well, guys you snuck in. Back. I did not want them to sneak in. Oh, well. We might go down here. Yeah, look at that. Three archers. That looks like we might die here. But we'll see. Let's get as much distance as we can. Is our maybe our horse is lame or something? I don't. Did I equip a lame horse on accident? It just feels really slow. Oh, we need to go. We need to go. This guy's gonna catch us. There we go. Yeah, having those extra perks. To reduce all oh, right over his face. <laughs> uh, to reduce the aim penalty while mounted, it, it actually does make a pretty big difference. All right, now we're getting the hang of it. Th this is the hardest part, though. We're gonna have to brave the storm, so we just gotta keep moving in and out and hope that they. Oh, that was close. Oh man, that's so close. Yeah, there's some RNG here that we just, there's nothing we can do about it. And I also don't want to get pegged by these. Yeah, that was a waste. We have to back out now because the rocks, we're going to get pelted by rocks. Let's just go to the other end of the map and then we'll deal with it. I locked the horse in inventory? Uh, maybe I did. I locked the Sumter for sure. Can you get married for the items, take the stuff? No, no, I'm not going to do that. I, items are going to be very easy to come by in this campaign. And we're going to have to throw out like 99.9% .9 of the loot we get. Because, you know, can't really use it. Uh, this is a good situation here. Oh, wow, that guy almost killed us. I need to end this. No, 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 no. Crap, i got to start over again. The, the, I guess the good thing is they are wasting their ammo, and then they'll turn into melee calves soon, but... No shield equal suffer? Yeah. But the, the problem is I can't go shield yet because we have to take out the melee guys first. Going going melee versus melee on cav is not a good idea. Alright, this guy's out of arrows. That was a horrible shot. Alright, that guy's, that guy's got a melee too, or he's... Yeah, he's out of arrows. This guy still has arrows. Nope, they're both out. Okay, so we can we can chill now. We're out of the danger zone. Wouldn't it be funny to do all this and we just get nailed in the head by a freaking looter with a rock? Alright, we gotta scoot. These guys are gonna catch up. Let's actually turn inward so we can get them to catch up. While we still maintain the same speed. All we have to do is straighten out. There we go. Uh, where are the looters? Okay, so we're good. The looters are far enough away. And let's not even let them get shots off. Oh, this guy's gonna nail us, watch. Alright, we gave him a respect. He got one off. What's your plan on how do you conquer the whole map? Aaron, I don't want to give away too much because uh, this is going to be a Let's Play and an edited video as well. And all these, anything that I stream will be a VOD. Um, but it, I will tell you this, there's going to be a lot of things that I use to do it. Um, there's going to be like three or four different techniques. So it, it's not just one thing repeat. It should be quite a few different things. Uh, let's take everything except for the horse because we don't want to slow down. And we are good on weight. We do need to go back and heal a little bit because this is kind of risky. Keep a st the step horse isn't as good as the Cantarian Charger that we have. Um, actually, you know, let's go up to this other town. We haven't gone here yet. Maybe they have a tournament. They do. All right. Okay, so let's sell. And then we need to buy... Another dumpy shield, that's fine. Actually, I don't need to. I was going to say we can pick up a few more arrows. Yeah, you know what? 
do it. This one has only 20 arrows. We pick up another 7 here. That's good. Uh, what's your GPU? Uh, 13900K. It's it's a pretty good... I got a pretty decent system. It's a 4080 and uh, on the, the GPU, and the CPU is 13.9. Uh, solo is in just me, Dusan. Uh, absolutely. Yep, just one one person. Uh, what are we doing here? If we can afford a better horse, no. I, I really want to get a better horse because I feel like that's why I've struggled a little bit here. Maybe I'm just getting impatient. Alright, so 80% is good enough. We're at 15, so this isn't too bad. Yeah, we really need to get medicine 25, so, you know, taking damage isn't the end of the world. Now, how far are we from Clan Tier 1? Pretty close. It's a little slow. Yeah, we're already 17 days in. This is, like, really slow, actually. Still I usually have it in the first, like, two days, but, you know, when you get to stop and get captured a couple times. It is what it is. Yeah, if this was a speed run, this would definitely be a restart. Right, speed it up a little bit. Like I said, a lot of what I'm going to be doing here is stuff that I've practiced, and it's going to go faster than it would normally do. Like, this battle would take probably five or six minutes without the, the mods. But I, I've learned how to aim and shoot at 3x speed, so it should be a little bit more interesting to watch. Have you played Bannerlord online? I did a little bit. It's tough. Yeah, people are really good online, man. It's it's a totally different game. Uh, it's It's fun, though. It's fun. Right, we need to find more... Wait, why are we so slow? Is it the... Yeah, it's just the forest. We need to find more hideouts. That's actually the next big thing. So we'll go to some of these other towns. Oh, that place had a tournament, didn't it? And I just missed it. That's all right. Uh, Stitch cured leather coat. Getting better armor is going to help quite a bit. She's strong and she's independent. <laughs> she is... Uh, what is it? There's a tempest in her. <laughs> and it can't be quenched. Alright, let's uh let's take this guy out on foot first, hopefully. Uh, or we'll take that guy out, why not? Alright, come on. Where's my buddy? There we go. I'm trying to set him up so you can take him take him out easily. Now, one thing I, I haven't mentioned yet, they changed a lot of things in combat recently in a patch. So you can't like kicking is almost useless now. The AI is much better at blocking and striking faster. They changed a lot of the AI. They actually made it much, in my opinion, they made it more fun. Um, okay, let's not die here. I'm just gonna like avoid head on. We'll let them kill each other or we'll get some easy hits on somebody that's not even looking, like this guy. Yeah, he's not even paying attention. And then we'll just back off. All right, you guys go have fun. There you go, go have fun. And then we'll swoop in and max somebody in the back of it. Man, this thing does not want to turn. Alright, overhead strikes. Always, just so you know, anytime somebody does not have a shield, even if they have a shield, if you know the AI is going to block, just do overhead strikes only, because half the time you'll get a crush through, and then you'll at least do some damage. Does the AI kick now? No, they don't. No, but they the kicks don't do hardly anything. You can't, you can't cheese the combat now like you were able to. It's actually a lot harder to, to fight people. Yeah, I don't know if they saw my last video where I, I did the, the speed run and I like cheese the, uh, the villages and stuff. They changed it so that people hold up their shield a lot more often. So it's, it's actually pretty hard to solo villages, at least with ranged weapons. Okay, my ally just got dumped on. Alright, we got a... 2v1 these guys. Let's not get killed by this guy. Uh, no big deal. I think maybe we'll pick out his horse because he's just going to block everything. Actually, I like that idea. Smart, smart man. Oh, man. Yeah. 
Uh, it's still a little predictable, but, you know. This is like a really, in like imagine if, if they had a trailer and they were using this as like their trailer footage. <laughs> Captivating combat. Sorry, I gotta get some practice blocking anyways. Oh, I'm hitting his horse. Ooh, good block. Wow, he pulled back an attack for that one. Alright, uh, whatever, shut him up. <laughs> Epic fight, yeah. Epic fight. Alright, here we go. Now this should be pretty easy. Then maybe we don't get domed. Yep. Walk away KO. Ting, ting, ting. Yeah. <laughs> Melee in a nutshell. Alright, so we got some good armor. That should help. Probably need to get some stuff for the appendages as well. Headshots aren't that common, I guess. So I'm not too... I'm not as concerned about that, but... Okay, let's sell the stuff that we don't need. Lighten our load for food. We don't need feed grain. And then... If we can afford some stuff, like a step war bolt, oh, we can, but we don't have the money. They actually have one. Uh, even more important, though, is getting one of these mounts. The Plymation would be nice, but I, I think the Karahan, or I can't remember the name. It starts with an A, I think. Is it Asaligat? One of those are really nice. So. Uh, do you have a second job? If you do, what is it? I'm not sure if that's directed to me or not. So I, uh, yeah, I've got I've got some other businesses that I run besides this, uh, like uh, real estate and e-commerce. So it's not just uh, not just YouTube. Yeah, it'd be tough to survive off only YouTube until you get a big channel. Galadriel from Lord of the Rings. Yep. And then uh, here's our clan our clan tag. <laughs> Bezos's dream team. All right. Yeah, I've got I've got some. Some really funny footage and memes that I want to use for the, the edited video. I think it'll turn out pretty well. Alright, here we go. Some shoulder pieces. This is going to help a lot. Uh, these guys are just like running into the wall. And it's so... They're like so random. Okay, my guy just got dumped on. Man, this the bow the bow they use in the tournament's really weird. There's like this delay when you let go to when he actually shoots. All right, now one thing: if you're doing bow versus melee, pull your bow right before they come and and hold it until they get really close, so you can't really miss the shot. It's kind of like you have to play chicken with them, but it's it's really the only way you can fight against melee guys if they're faster than you, especially. And if they use a lot of shields, you can't really get around their shield unless you get behind them and, you know. Uh, let's just do this again. Oh, that guy's got a shot. This guy's just gonna play ring around the rose. Oh, shot. Get him on the ground. <laughs> Alright, once we get enough uh, equipment, we're not gonna be doing any more tournaments, so don't worry too much about that. Yeah, tur tournaments don't really help us that much. We don't need much renown. Once we get the clanter 2, uh, that's kind of what we're shooting for. Then we should be good for a while. We don't need the money, it's not going to help us with anything. We do need the gear, but once we get a decent gear set, we won't need it anymore. Man, I honestly don't even know who I'm shooting at. I might be shooting our own guys, but... Oh, that's this guy. Yeah, it's got to be that guy, because they're aiming at him. Alright, there's a good hit. Ooh, that hit him in the leg, actually. 
Alright, here we go. Finally. We can get some athletic skill. Alright, now let's let's double team this guy. We do have a, a sword too, so let's not use our spear. Can use the spear for like oh wow, okay. Oh yeah, here, watch, I'll show you. I'm gonna kick this guy. See? It, it, the kick doesn't do anything. Like, they, they recover so fast now. It doesn't really help you. So com combat's actually pretty tough now. You, you have to be really good at, co at uh, blocking. You can't just cheese them. You, I mean, okay, you could still cheese it a little bit, but not anywhere near like what it was before. Okay, what else are we doing here? We got one more. Oh, this is where we screwed up last time, isn't it? All right, so what I'm going to do is pull him around and then hit the brakes. And then we're going to go in behind him. Uh, I'd rather play this more defensively than offensively, because I don't want to go into, like, a heads-up chicken situation where we're both kind of, like, 50-50. You know, when you've got a, a big skill gap, the last thing you want to do is give them a big chance to win, so we'll just play it a little slow. I would love these shoulders. Right, now we're going to do the top down because he's blocking everything, so we'll try and get a crush through. Ooh, that's a big hit. All right, you are probably going to die, but... Yeah, there we go. All right, we got him in the arm. So we got some shoulders. Actually, we might have enough. Let me see. Yeah, that put us in a clan tier one, so we are actually going to go become a vassal or a, a mercenary now. And oh, we didn't have any shoulders before, so that makes a big difference. Yeah, body and arm armor. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to catch up on chat, but keep this thing moving along too. So I understand if you don't feel comfortable with the question, but uh, how much do you make a year? Um, yeah, it, it fluctuates a lot as a business owner, and it's hard to say too because there's like tax write offs and all this other stuff, but. Um, I, I usually, I'm usually in the the low six figures, yeah, some, somewhere around there. It just depends. Like, I, I, unless I go specifically to my taxes, I can't really say for sure. Uh, let's avoid this because I want to get back. Actually, you know, we could just do. It doesn't matter who we become mercenary for. We we're not fighting against anybody, anyways. Are we actually? We are. Uh, Southern Empire is at war with Asurai, which is fine. Let's actually go do that. So let's go back this way. Yeah, another thing... That, uh, speaking about income isn't really that useful necessarily yeah. because it also depends on your where you live and then uh, what your... Um, so cost of living in your area. Also, you know, what bills you have. Like, some people just load themselves up with a ton of debt, so... Even if they're making, you know, three, four hundred grand a year, they don't have any money because they're always spending it all. So that, I, that's, I don't know. Probably not the most useful question to ask, but it, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's be through this. We'll probably take one more rock. Yeah, there we go. So we can get a little bit of healing XP. Yeah, we still don't have we still don't have the medicine 25 perk. There we go. Almost at 125, so we're we're getting close. Uh how how long are you going to stream? So all game in recent. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I might actually if this is going well, I might stream the whole campaign or as much as I can, which means this is going to be like a 30 or 40 hour weekend. I have today, Friday, uh, I have today, Saturday, and Sunday to stream with uh, no, you know, no kids, wife's out, at, uh, in-laws. So I've got the whole house. I can kind of get as much work done as I need to. So we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Southern Empire has been released after battle. They may have just gone to peace. Nope, they didn't. What happened? Maybe they lost a battle. Yeah, we still want him to be at war. Man, we're so close. The Askarat, that's the one I was thinking of. Askarat, really fast. Don't care as much about Maneuver, but the Maneuver is really good on this one, too. So we're going to dump all of our money into this, most likely. So 7k, we need to save up a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I've got two kids. 
Uh, stress profession. So I'm self-employed. I've been self-employed for a while, but I've done all kinds of stuff. Sales. I worked in restaurants for a while. Um, yeah, I've done a lot. I need to find a noble. Actually, there's probably going to be somebody over here trying to Hello, traveler. Uh, trying to defend. Let's deal with this real quick. I make less money in a year than you make in a month. Crazy. It, but like I said, it, it's all it's all relative, right? So, like, if you're making 20 grand a month, but you live in Beverly Hills, you're probably broke. You know what I mean? So I know people that are making you know three four grand a month, but they live comfortably because they're in a an area where where that buys a lot. So I, I'm in Southern California, and it's just ridiculous here, man. It's really ridiculous. If I didn't have family here, I would probably look somewhere else. But all the families here, so not much you can do about it. Yeah, my 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 key to being happy is just it's not so much about making a lot of money. It's just not spending money. Like I don't I chronically do not spend money unless I have to. Like I'll spend it on on computers and business stuff, but I will not spend it on myself. Oh, here we go. We can we can join. That's close enough. So we want to you give me a good contract, please. Drum roll. 140 is okay. That's not bad. I would like to see a little bit more than that, but that's not terrible. Now, the next phase of the campaign we could probably actually start doing right now. Yeah, let's let's do it. So, stage one. Oh, you know what? This is too juicy. I can't pass that up. 31 is a lot. Texas is perfect. No state income. Yeah, Texas is... I heard Texas is pretty good. But their property taxes are really high. So if you own a lot of real estate, it can be kind of rough. Alright, let's not get completely pelted by these guys. Alright, and again, we're just going to keep moving. Luxembourg isn't good. <laughs> Luxembourg. Like one of the smallest countries by landmass, isn't it? Like sandwiched between uh, France and Germany, I think. Alright, I don't think we'll run out of arrows here. We're, we're pretty on point here, and we still have 50-something. Only 21 left, so we should be good. I really want to get higher skill, though, so we can not rely... I I want to get all the combat skills up. Actually, we need to take a rock or two. We need to get some medicine out of this. There we go. Maybe one more. Hit me with one more rock. Alright. We can not get hit anymore. We'll be good. Right, let's not take any more. Uh, when do you think Bandalore 2... Uh, when do you think Bandalore 2 comes out and you will play it? Oh, um, the Mountain Blade Banner Lord, or Mountain Blade 3, you mean? Or, yeah, whatever. I, I see what you're saying. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know if they've started on it yet, and if they haven't, it's probably going to be another, you know, five to ten years, is my guess. Uh, RTS camera is so nice, man. It reduces the, the grind so much. All right, so 175 on writing. That's pretty good. We're getting a good amount of money from this. And we're not overburdened yet, so we're good on that. Big bads of Bodkins? Yeah, for sure. The Bodkins, once we start seeing them, I'll be snapping those up for sure. Now, Breeder is a pretty good perk, but the problem is, every time we get a horse, it's going to slow us down, and we're going to have to pause to go into our inventory and delete it. I don't want to deal with that, to be honest. So, uh, kind of sacrilegious, but we're going Shepherd. Purely because I don't want Breeder. So, what version of the game? It's the most the most recent one. So it, they patched it recently. It's like 1.2.4 or something like that. Yeah, this is this is the most up to date one. Now we're still putting points into one handed and polearm. Don't the Kazates give you a bow at vassalage? They do, but I don't want to be a vassal of the Kazates, so that's that's kind of an issue. Uh, back to Temna. This one has. Kind of a lot of people, actually. I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe... Oh, look at they lost Shibalzimer. <laughs> uh, maybe they'll lose it back. 124, we could take that on, but... 
not 13 cav. We don't have the right equipment for it yet, so we're going to avoid that. Plus, it's just a really long battle that's not necessary. There's not a whole lot of benefit to it. So let's see if we can find a village that's not quite as staffed. 51 is kind of a lot too. Man, these things are big. Uh, we can't take out villagers too. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, these guys aren't even moving, so that helps. Just pick some of them off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that camel's knocking him over. Look at that. He's like running into him. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's just get practice our headshot. Oh, here they come. So one thing we could do is match their speed as well and then just slightly veer to the right a little bit every couple seconds. And it's just a really easy way to farm. So, like I said, part of the challenge with a campaign like this is dealing with the grind. And, you know, I'll, I'm sure some of you have seen it, but this is what it looks like when you don't have RTS camera. It is so slow and boring. Not, not that it's the game's fault, obviously, but it's just, I love this mod, man. Cannot really play without it. And it's, it's actually kind of a challenge to play 3x speed. I'm going to do that one of these days. I'm going to try and campaign at 3x speed and see if I can handle the combat. I'm kind of curious. That might be a fun challenge. Alright, they ran. So we're good. Now, one thing we could do is let the last guy go and then re-engage. And then get even more loot from him. Uh, we're not taking Sumter horses because it's going to slow us down, so we'll just let him go. Oh, this guy doesn't even want to give up, even one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> you spin me right round? Yeah. Oh, he's getting blocked by the camel. Might hit the camel out of the way. Oh, he hit it. He hit his camel with a rock. You are a savage. He is going to have a word with you. All right, so that's done. We should get... Yeah, 104 gold. We get a little more gold out of him. 51. All these things are really well staffed. I, I want to find something that's small. But maybe that's not going to happen. Alright, let's see what's going on here. If they take this castle back... Ooh, there's an interesting battle. Now, we're not allowed to control troops, but that doesn't mean we can't join in on battles. The question is, is it worth it? And it's probably not. It's, it's going to be really hard for us to get kills because we just don't have good equipment yet. So maybe we will just do this one anyways. 39 militia is fine. Uh, and I need to save this once in a while. Just... Uh, actually... We'll do that. Uh, do you use RTS camera? Yeah, you... Not the one from Nexus. No, it's... Um, you have to get the one from the GitHub. There's a GitHub link for it. If you look at my, uh, my mod... My most recent mod video is like a couple months old now. There's a link to the GitHub... There's a fix for it, so you go in there and, and find it. So we're going to raid this place. It's only militia, so actually... Now, if you saw my the video I did on my new channel, where I did a, a speedrun World Conquest, you probably saw... Oh, wow, interesting. I think this one's better. Well, it's definitely not better. Um, I was soloing villages with ranged weapons. Now it's really hard to do that. They actually changed it so that it's it's quite a bit different. Uh, let's go ahead and put this point back in. So now you have to do it with melee weapons, which sounds impossible, yeah. but they actually broke the AI in some instances. So I'll, I'll show you exactly how this is going to go. Uh, 1.2.4 is beta. Yep. Uh, do you think you used to play enough games like this and study enough battle tactics to make a real difference in an actual ancient battlefield? I don't know. It depends on how realistic this is. So there's a, a really good quote by a, a, an old pianist that I used to listen to um, back when I wanted to be a, a concert piano uh, pianist. He said, perfect practice makes perfect. So practice doesn't make perfect, but perfect practice makes perfect. So if you practice wrong, you're going to learn wrong. So... Actually, this is not a good spot to do it. Uh, we need to get somewhere else. 
There's not really that many good spots. Let's use this building. The problem with doing that in the open is you could still do it, but you have a higher... It, it, so doing this is like a statistics problem more than it is a mechanics problem. So the mechanics are pretty easy. Like, they just... They don't shoot you if you turn tight enough. But... Oh, boy. We gotta pick and choose our... Oh, that's bad. That's bad. We gotta pick and choose when we attack people. And try not take instances where they have a good chance of actually hitting you. Like, here we go. This guy's way out of the loop, and I missed because this thing is too short. So, let's let them get out from behind the building. It's kind of a hard one to do. Alright, let's actually do it right here. Oh, no, no, no. Hitting the tree is really bad. Alright, there's one hit. Yeah, this is not a good building. There's, like, too many things to get hung up on. Let's try this building over here, maybe. And if not, we'll go to the other end of the map. This is horrible. Okay, yeah, this is horrible. Let's see if there's any good buildings over here. And good thing we have RTS camera, so we don't have to spend all day doing it. Yeah, we're looking for a good building that doesn't have anything obstructing. Like, this is kind of annoying, but it's doable. But there's just so many things to get hung up on. Not really ideal. That's horrible because I can't jump that. This is bad. These fences are ruining everything. Hmm. Let me think. Uh, what I could do is I could also switch out for the ranged and just try and take out the archers first and then come back for the, the shielded troops. So the shielded troops are much smarter now. You can't just, um, you can't just shoot them. Because they actually keep their shield up, like, literally the entire time. It's really hard to do it. Uh, pick them off with the bow. Yeah, it's actually safer to do it with a shield. Believe it or not. But arrow is definitely possible. And I think, in this case, this specific map is really bad. So I think we will actually swap out for the bow on the first run. And then once we get down to the melee, then we'll, we'll go back. Wait, actually, I had a perk. I had a perk to pick here. Let's just make sure we get that. Uh, shield bash is pretty good. Yeah, I think shield bash is going to be kind of important. Hey, extra large, how you doing, man? Yeah, the the problem with bow is there's a very high risk of getting shot. And this campaign, like I said, it, it's not hard to take armies out. It's not hard to take villages out solo if if you kind of know what you're doing. The trick is to do it without dying like if i was safe scumming every single battle you know whatever you could just kind of figure it out and then fix your mistakes and do it but in this case the hardest part is kind of like the statistics of it all so i'm trying to choose the least the, the scenario that ends up with the least amount of me dying if that makes sense here they come we can get shots off now the nice thing is they will stop to shoot which means they're going to slow down so we should have quite a bit of time to take shots. So they, they changed it so the AI is smarter in some senses, but they're actually worse in some senses. Like, the archers are really slow now. They're really easy to kind of lead around. Ooh, they do hold their aim on the corners, though. And then when the... Oh, when the shield... Oh, man. See, like that. That's not a good... That's not a good percentage risk to take if we have a chance of getting shot like that. Yeah, and then these guys are going to come and ruin it all, so let's get moving again. We'll go over. Oh, man. Right, we don't want to go out the edge of the map, but we also don't want to get shot, so let's come over here and do some bobbing and weaving so we don't get picked off, hopefully. see oh no, no no don't do it horse if they shoot my horse out that's gonna be bad all right trying to hit his shots because we're probably not gonna have opportunity to hit the same person twice too much yeah this was really a waste of time only get two shots off we gotta move again i'm thinking this could actually be a good spot we can get up on top of the tent or can we yeah we can there we go now where are they 
All right, let's see how far back they will shoot. Once we get most of the range units, we can swap back to the melee and, and clean them up. It's just this map is, is really uh, tough. Invisible wall. Invisible wall. Look at these invisible walls. I love it. I love it, Tail Worlds. <laughs> Tail Worlds strikes again. Look at those arrows. Just hitting the invisible wall. That's That was one of my biggest complaints with uh, Starfield. Is like invisible walls. It felt like I was playing uh, Division from like 10 years ago. Alright, this... I'm not going to have too many shots here, but... We'll get some at least. Just gotta hit headshots. Yeah, look at that. They're holding their aim, so I can't really peek it again. Actually, pretty good. Alright, yeah, this is going pretty slow. Alright, let's see if we can get some hot shots. Normally, this goes a lot faster, but this is just a really bad map for it. So I think what we'll do in the future, if we get another map like this, we'll just pass and then find another one to attack. Because this is this is just slowing it down too much. Did they fix Cav in the new patch? I don't think so. Um, they did in some senses. They hold their shield up a really long time, so they're actually really hard to, to pick off with, with ranged weapons. But I didn't notice too much else different. Yeah, that guy's taking aim before I even show. They're like pre-aiming. I think he's still aiming. Oh man, the shield's already there. You are dead! Alright, maybe we can get a shot off. Archer coming around the corner. Yeah, there we go. We can get some easy picks here. Alright, that's fine. Classic Bethesda, yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see if we can peek around here. Nope. Oh, that's a bad one, actually. I don't know why I did that. Not a good trade. Yep, that was a horrible trade. One shot for one shot. Ah, oh, making mistakes because I'm getting impatient. It's all right. We won't we won't do this map anymore. But at least I wanted to show the like a proof of concept. Oh, there's a guy in the bush. Can't even see him. Yeah, I love I love when the AI does that. Like, uh, they have no visual clipping at all. They can just see you through foliage. I remember playing Escape from Tarkov, and you, like, lay down in a bush in the middle of the night, and somebody, a scav, spots you from, like, across the map. <laughs> Those were the days, man. All right, here we go. We can get some shots off from these guys. All right, they're actually taking shots, so we can't just sit here. Well, you know what? Actually, this is a really good idea. What? I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Uh, let's get up here and get them in the water. They're going to be really slow, and it'll be much easier to take shots. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. All right, yeah, I should have I should have done that earlier. It's really easy to pick them off. Now, look at the shields. As soon as they know I'm, they, they have, like, spider senses... As soon as I start aiming, they put their shield up, so you, you can't physically shoot them. But I can sure as hell pick these guys off. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, so maybe this map isn't so bad. I just needed to find the right spot. Wow, he actually got a shot off. I didn't see him aim. Oh, that guy's aiming too. Alright, so we're in good shape. Let's not get stabbed here. There's only one archer left. And then I'll show you guys. If you saw my other video, you know how easy it was to, to kite these guys around. Um, you can still hit them in the legs depending on what shield they have. The asteroid shield's actually pretty easy to bypass. Uh, it's not easy, but it's it's okay to bypass. Some shields are, like, almost impossible to bypass. 
they just they go down too far. There we go. All right, that's all the archers. Right, let's just double check. Yeah, archers are dead. So we'll still take some of these guys out. But if you notice, normally what I would do is I wait for them to get close and then do it. But they don't even do it until you're literally right on top of them. So it's if they have good shield coverage, it's almost impossible to take them out this way. So like I said, we'll still get some picks. But we'll have to finish them off with, with melee weapons. It's actually really easy to do with melee weapons. I'll show you in a sec. This is going to be the new, the new like speed run meta, I think. Yeah, actually, this is a waste of time. I don't want to waste my time doing that. So we actually picked up another perk. Ooh, we got some athletics too. That's good. And we're going to take bow damage to mount. I think that's going to be more important. And then melee damage is more important than speed, in my opinion, because we're going to be mounted mo more often than not. But sometimes we'll be on foot. I don't know. We, we could reset the perks later if we need to, but... Let's go ahead and switch this out. We need a shield. Uh, we don't need a... Yeah, just... I think just the spear should be good for now. <laughs> 30 dudes sitting on the ground rubbing their shins. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that'd be so painful. Getting shot right right through your like the front of your leg, right out the back of your calf. Uh, for big armies, do you avoid them? No, no, we'll be fighting big armies. Not not huge armies. I would say, you know, like 150 to 200 is probably a, a, a good size. So it's weird because these guys were really ag ag aggressive with their shields with bow and arrow. But when it comes to spears, they just don't care. They just get stabbed. So you, you can take on like a group of 200 or more melee weapons, uh, melee troops. Just by doing this. It's kind of stupid, but it is what it is. You just gotta watch out for environmental stuff. Actually, maybe I'll do it in here. Dude, maybe I could just do this. See if they're easier. Maybe it makes them more aggressive, I don't know. <laughs> this is this is peak tail world's math, right? Dabbing them in the water. And the funny thing is, they're all bunched up so closely that their their attacks bounce off each other, so they can't actually attack me most of the time. They, they'll still get one off once in a while, but if you keep good positioning, you pretty much are out of range of their attacks. This this pole arm is not ideal because it's only 160 length. You want to be at like 200, 250, or something like that if you can help it. Actually, I'm not going to even do the overhand. I'll just do the underhand. Seems to be hitting them more. All right, they're, the town watering pool is going to be full of blood. They're not going to have any water left. Unless it reminds me of a... There's a Filipino dish called the Nuguan. Maybe they can make the Nuguan out of this. All right, let's get them away from the edge because they're starting to clump up. At least the bodies will be clean. Yeah, that's true. Oh, man. Come on. Get in there. I'm just trying not to get stabbed by them. It only takes one silly mistake and then I'm, you know, back to like I was with those stupid step bandits that I got hung up on. Come on. There we go. Now, I have tried this at 3x speed, and it's too fast for me. I can't react fast enough. So this one, you gotta do it the old-fashioned way. But the good thing is, right now, we have a really bad spear, and we have very low pole arm skill. Once we once we get our skill up high enough, and we take perks for stab damage, it's gonna go much faster. Or we could get a swing, swingable. A swing and stab both do the same. It's fine. You gotta watch out for the last guy, because he can actually hit you. So, there we go. Imagine how much we'd learn about gas prices by the end of a 1v25, 250. Yeah, seriously. Talking about random stuff. All right, so we actually did pretty well here. We got 11 influence, 12 renown, not bad. We don't want any prisoners, and we'll probably... No, we didn't get any Sumter, actually, so that's fine. We'll take some upgrades here. Yeah, look at that helmet. Wow. Why did their militia have a turban with the spiked helmet? I and mean, I'm not complaining, and they had a better shield. 
Nice. Alright, so we did pretty good there. And then we can take their stuff and just sell it back to them as well. Just do that. Take your clay back. We don't want it. And then we can sell some, some gear as well. So 75, we can actually go back and get our horse. I think that would be a really good idea. Now, in this case, polearm is exclusively going to be used mounted, so we'll do that. And then dismounting an enemy heavy cab. There are going to be instances where we hit people that have a ton of armor and they will not die. So we'll, knocking them off is, is the next best thing. So that's a good perk. Let's go back and buy that horse. Hopefully they have it. They have the Askarat still. Beautiful. So we got that. There goes all of our money, but you know. And we need to make sure we have enough... Oh, they don't have the arrows. Huh. Uh, we're going to eventually get a noble bow. <clears throat> uh, the noble longbow, I mean. I, I do like the noble bow too, but I this one just does so much more damage. And uh, we need to be able to one-shot people, even shooting them in the foot. So it'll probably end up being a noble longbow. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we also need... Yeah, I shouldn't have sold. sold. Let's just take one of these back. We'll keep it for now. All right, so that's good. What do we need to do? We need to invade Saudi. <laughs> We're heading there. Uh, is Strat Gaming a Republican or Democrat? I'm actually uh, uh, not, I'm bipartisan, so I've, I've voted both ways throughout my life. It just depends. I generally lean more uh, Republican fiscally and then more socially Democrat, I guess you would say. But not, not with everything. So... I, I guess it's kind of like a libertarian. Sometimes I line, uh, align with libertarians, but uh, sometimes they can be kind of annoying, so... But yeah. Uh, now, archers are actually pretty easy to deal with, too. You don't want to go at them with bow and arrow. Generally, it's it's not really a good idea, so... So you gotta do these guys. Yeah! Hey, Sinovi, what's up? Alright, so keep your shield up. And then you never want to travel at them in a straight line, so you kind of curl in at them from like an angle. Wait for the last guy to take a shot, and then you move in. So you, you kind of have to time it. If you're going too fast, you need to either slow down or take a wider angle. And we're going to go for that guy in the end again. So he's shooting, so he's... we, Yeah, let him get his arrow off, and then we come in again. This thing is terrible, man. 18 damage. That's not good. 42 damage is still not very good. We need to replace this thing with a, an actual cut damage. Uh, mods are in the description. The big one, I have RTS on and Better Time. Those are like the main ones, but... There we go. We got one of them down. We could still get hit in the legs or in the back when we pass them, but... Right, actually, no, that's not a good... So I didn't go for that one because it was just not a good setup for it. So let's try this one again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go for the spear. I feel like the spear is going to do more damage in this instance. Alright, they're not aiming. So as long as they're not already aiming by the time you're approaching, it's safe to let your shield down. So, uh, what's the perk for the Noble Longbow on the horse? It's it's like a 225 or 250. No, I think it's 225. Yeah, 250 is the faster reload and 225 is, is either plus, plus 3 ammo or it's uh, use longbow, use any bow while mounted. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's 225. This guy's just not in a good position for us, but this guy is definitely slowed down a little because he was still aiming and then back to speed. Are you trying to conquer the world as only one character? Yep, that's, that's exactly what this campaign is. It's basically trying to see if I can deal... Oh... <laughs> I forgot that there was still one person there who just ran him over. That is so funny. Love it. Alright, so this guy's still shooting, so don't go at him straight on until he's done aiming. And then go in when you know you can get a hit off before he gets his off, so. Uh, Strat trying to do his fancy impossible run, talking about fuel costs and US politics. Yeah, now we just need to add religion and then we'll have like the absolute worst possible conversation for a stream, right? <laughs> oh man. I mean, we're using Galadriel, right? That's a good social commentary. <laughs> um, one thing we can do, we can take, like I said, we can't hire people, we can't use, or we, we can't use people in battle, but we can take them and donate them. So we can just donate them for influence. 
So, uh, there's a castle right here. We'll just donate him right there. And we can go donate troops. And we get... Uh, it doesn't even tell us how much. So it's going to be less than one influence. 18.02. We got 18.02. Oh, we didn't even get anything for that. Thanks, guys. Thanks for ripping us off. <laughs> you cheap bastards. Oh, that sucked. Alright, so one thing we need to do is get rid of this awful light mace. That was terrible. We need something with some cut damage. Yeah, these are not good. Well, we're just gonna have to use it for now then. I don't know. Three conversations to avoid. Any exes? Yeah, exactly. If the wife is here and then we just start talking about ex ex girlfriends. <laughs> Sexuality, yeah, that's kind of a social thing too, I guess. That would uh that would make it pretty bad. So what we're gonna do now, we do need to get quite a bit of renown quickly. Uh, yeah, getting to Clan Tier 2 ASAP would be ideal. So there's two things we're going to do down here. We're going to raid villages. Assuming it's not a bad setup for it. Uh, does this have... Yeah, this one has villagers. I actually don't like dealing with villagers. I feel like they're pretty rough. Um, uh, well, let's see what the setup is. Let's see what the setup's like, and if it's any good, we'll we'll do it. If not, maybe we'll go to the next one. Yeah, it's that same one. So this one's actually pretty good because we were doing it in the water, but I feel like we're gonna we're, we'll be better served starting with ranged. So let's go do that. Oh, what happened here? Splintered arrow doesn't really matter either. Yeah, we'll just take that, and then let's actually not save this one. All right, here we go. Did I just start? Uh, not too long ago. It's been less than two hours. Uh, go smith and forget about money. So we won't really need money much anyways. Any so we're not. Uh, that's why I disallowed smithing for for profit. It's kind of one of those rules that that looks good on paper, but it really doesn't make a difference because we don't need the money. We don't have troops, so we don't really have any expenses. So it, it, that was more of a marketing ploy. <laughs> oh, I can't see anything, man. What is going on with this grass? Might be able to arc it over here. Yeah, we can. Perfect. And we can't get shot at from here, so... We've got to try and hit headshots as much as we can. Alright, they're actually taking aim, so let's see if we can angle off on this guy in the front. Alright, headshots, headshots. Only headshots. Can't afford the other ones. There we go. Nope, I let him too much. And we hit the invisible wall. Invisible wall. Alright, we probably gotta start looking at moving here soon. Alright, so not too bad. We took out six people. They're gonna have 19 militia. That's actually kind of a lot. So 19 militia and however many um, peasants that can throw rocks. You don't really want to deal with militia on on uh, with melee either. So, yeah, first person would probably make sense. You're probably right about that. The only issue with that is, oh, we're gonna take damage. Seriously, we're getting we're getting some air, man. Dukes of Hazard style. All right. Um, the only problem with going first person is I'm not really tuned into where to aim, the aim point for first person. So it, I might waste a lot of ar arrows doing it. Whoa, what is going on here? Wow. There we go. Alright, I don't know what I'm aiming at. Man, that guy's gonna take three arrows. That's really bad. Alright, we gotta go. This guy's already up. Oh, this may actually be a horrible idea. Getting stuck in the water. These archers are going to have a field day. Alright, out of the water. ASAP. Still got to keep moving left and right, otherwise they're going to pinpoint you. Alright, there we go. Actually, this is not bad. We didn't take too many hits. Alright, we want to take out... 
Yeah, there we go. Peasants and archers. Everybody out the the shields can wait. We'll deal with them later. Here we go. For some reason, I have an easier time aiming on this side of the hill than the other one. The other one, I was struggling. Alright, that was pretty good for peasants. We took out a lot of peasants there. Strat aiming guide? Yeah. <laughs> it's just repetition, man. That's, that's all it is. Literally just a bunch of repetition. Alright, so I think next time... Oh, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. That's bad. Don't get shot. Uh, next time we'll take the road back instead of... Yeah, instead of the water. I don't feel too bad about this side, actually. Oh, that was a bad shot. No, it's gonna hit the shield. Now, we can't reload ammunition for the archer, uh, for our arrows. So, we gotta take out as many as we can, and the rest we'll have to take out with melee, because we don't have any other loadouts right now. But if we take out most of them, it's fine. Doing cleanup, you know. All right, headshots. We're doing good on headshots here. No, I should have kept my mouth shut. All right, let's get out of here without getting shot in the back, preferably. Oh, no. All right, can we draw him on this side? I don't know why I parked my horse so far out. All right, this guy, no, it's shield. All right, we gotta try and pick these guys off. Ah! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He can shoot from there? Wow, I didn't think they had an angle. That's my fault. I misjudged the angle that I had on him. Yeah, versus one guy, no big deal. I can see when he's releasing his arrow and I just back. It's, oh, they're shooting through the rock. They just shot through the rock. I don't know if anybody saw that, but that arrow definitely came through the rock. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, that guy's really close. Wow. All right, we'll slow it down right when we get here so we don't hit anything, and we should be good. Alright, I gotta watch out for the right side. I think we took out, actually, most of the archers. So, we might be in good shape here. There we go. Try and really focus on these headshots if I can, but I'm having a hard time seeing them in the water. Oh, that was a big hit. Man, we can't afford to take another hit because we can't back out and come back in. It won't let us. So, that was really bad, actually. That was, like, worst-case scenario. Alright, we got 14 shots left. They have 5 and 14. Actually, I'd rather get rid of the archers. Maybe not, actually. I'm thinking about that. One option we have is to just back out completely of this, too, if, we, if it's, like, a lost cause. I really would prefer not to do that, because we want to get the, uh, the round. We're still get the XP for it. But we would lose the renown. Oh man, come on. I can hear somebody. Who is shooting? I don't get it. They're shooting through the rock, man. How are they shooting through the rock? Can't even see. Alright, let's just try and get these last shots off and then we'll come back in. The nice thing is if you go down in a village. They'll take some of your stuff. They won't keep you captive, though. You just you just pop right back out. It's not that big of a deal. The only expensive thing we have... Oh, that guy's going to shoot. Yep. The only expensive thing we have is the horse. But we can't lose the horse because we're using it. So it's not that big of a deal. Yeah! All right, so that's one archer left. And then now it's just um, militia. Or, sorry, not militia. Peasants. So where is the archer? We can t pick off the archer. Oh, man. Uh. 
Oh. <laughs> okay, well we're done. We can't we can't physically win this because we can't come back. Why did I do that? I should have just gone normal. Alright, well we're we're leaving. Yeah, we, we don't have enough HP to re-engage again, and we don't have a, a melee weapon. So I mean we still get the XP for it, which is important, but that was really stupid of me. I should have just gone behind the rock. I thought I could 1v1 him, but apparently he's got aim like Deadeye. And why are we... No, we're not too slow, actually. It's fine. Alright, let's go heal. Actually, we can just wait here. No, actually, we need to go back and sell some stuff. Alright, what are we keeping? So, arrows... Yeah, this is all fine. And then... We don't have enough for any of these upgrades on the on the bow, but we will definitely get that soon. I think that's going to be pretty important. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's going to be one man the entire run. And permadeath is on. Yeah, everything's on Bannerlord. There's no mods that uh, make it easier. We just, just quality of life stuff to speed things up, like the, the grindy and waiting stuff. Actually, we should be close. No, we're only level 18 still. Yeah. Oh, actually... Let's let's see what this tournament prize is. If we get a good melee weapon, that would be ideal. Scalpel, beautiful. That's exactly what we needed, actually, because that... Yeah, swing damage, 73. All right, we really want to win this. Okay, now you get to see the, the melee combat. It's actually quite a bit harder now. Oh, he's trying to trick me. One thing you might have to do if you're having a hard time hitting people is to hold your attack and then wait for them to start. And then when you let your swing go, you have to move so that your swing hits first before theirs. So that's that's a technique you can use. Alright, this guy's gonna come at us. Alright, we'll set him up so their ally can get hits. Or we can get hit, but he's not gonna block both of us. And then we'll just sit back and chill. No need to take unnecessary risks. Really, really want the scalpel. Normally I get pissed off when I see these dumpy weapons, but in this case it's actually pretty good. I let him get his attack off. Oh, that was bad. Beautiful tag team. Too bad I have to kill him afterwards, but that's life. Yeah, see, this guy's gonna hold his his aim for a while, so I'm gonna hold mine and try and hit him when he attacks. Got him barely. You, I don't recommend it at very low levels because your swing speed is really slow. And you're going to have a hard time getting that. Even if you move your mouse, you're going to have a really hard time getting your attack off fast enough. Oh, barely got that one. See, my, my one-handed skill is still really low. It's only 40. So it's like right on that cusp of not really being doable. But as we progress, it's going to go up. It's going to sh shoot through the roof. We'll have all of our... All endurance and then... Uh, bow and throwing should be 330 by the end of the campaign and then I don't know what our ultimate level will be but probably in the 40s so we might actually get 10 into vigor I'm not sure but we'll at least be like 300 uh, scalpel let's save that let's get rid of this crappy mace and now we should be in good uh, how do you speed walk it's a, a, a mod called RTS camera and I'm only using it to um, speed up the, the end game why not use kick? Yeah, so Arnold, they actually changed it in the recent hotfix patch. Kicking does almost nothing. So they actually can recover from the kick. And um, they're block they'll be able to block it almost every... I I've never been able to land a hit since the patch uh, after a kick. They just, they're too good at blocking. Or, sorry, their recovery time is too fast. 
So we don't have to worry about really any any movement speed at all. We should be able to take all these guys. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's let the daytime come. I'm tired of fighting at night. Oops. Yeah, here we go. All right, let's try it again. Now, in this instance... Yeah, I guess... No, you know what? Let's... I, I, I want to start this with... I, I really want to start this with the, the melee. Uh, BS kind of... Yeah, I know. I, I don't know why they nerf... Like, they... When they nerf, they nerf hard. Because kicking and, and um, shield bashing is almost useless now. <clears throat> I guess I guess it can be useful if you're trying to tag team somebody. You know, your little mini stun can hit somebody and then your buddy can attack right away when you do that and then there's no way to to physically block. But that just seems like you should it should be useful even in a 1v1 situation and, and now it's just not anymore. So, uh this map oh, oh, don't get stuck on the thing. Yeah, we should be able to find some good spots here. I, I do like this one. There's not much blocking. So let's go around the back here. We got our shield up. We get two hits off. Nope. Not really. Oh, wow. All right. So that wasn't good. I don't know why we got shot in the back so fast there. All right. I think we just need to make sure we're curving. Every time we go around the corner, we have to curve. Otherwise, they're going to line us up. And right here, we can't attack because they had it lined up. You see them when they pull, when they're already aiming on you, pre-aiming before you come around the corner, you just can't, you can't take a shot. Okay, we can get this guy in the back. No big deal, and then we just keep moving. Oh, the joys of challenge. Challenge campaigns. <laughs> you just do stupid techniques, like, who the hell thought this would be fun? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Alright, and... Oh, no, that's really bad. Alright, we need to not... Yeah, this is not a good spot, then. Oh, man, that hurts. It's already half of our health. Um, shoot. It, it's... It's tough because that there's just too many people there. We need a bigger building. Uh, right now, if we get caught by a big army, yeah, for sure. But in the later games, once you have your perks, it's actually doable. Um, but I'm not going to be fighting like a thousand man army. That would just be ridiculous. Um, uh, no executing and no exploits. Yeah, it's it's doable. It It's actually not as hard as you think. Um, you, you'll see. You'll see. All right, so let's draw them back here. Yeah, if we take too much damage, we're just gonna have to back because we're not gonna be able to not gonna be able to continue this fight. Draw them in on this side, hopefully. Slowly. And some of them are coming on this side, which is fine. Oh no, they're all in the back. See that that's new. They never used to do that. They would hug the walls. Now they kind of they kind of hold position sometimes, and sometimes they don't. I don't really know why. So if they're going to do that, I might have to just do it in the open. Which is going to be kind of a challenge. Yeah, look at that. This, I'm just going to get pummeled here. Alright, well, I'll make the best. No, I, I'm going in too much of a straight line. We're going to get picked off. This may not be a good map either. These are tough maps. Uh, I'm going to try it with... Let's try the, the ranged loadout first, then. And if we can't make it work, then we can't make it work. But I think we can still make it work. Alright, so we'll just do... I really want to get my um, athletic skill up, so we're going to do as much of this on foot as we can. Plus, mobility is a little bit easier on foot when you're, like, jumping in and out of cover. Look at that, they're holding their aim. That's new as well. They never used to do that. Or at least not that long. I, I can't pop out as much as I want. I have to, like, really time it.
Uh, this is way easier. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. Oh, hello, boys. Alright, now we need to go wide, and hopefully... I don't want to go off the map. Just make wide circle, circular movements, and then we should be good. All right, so a good spot to set up probably right here, I think. A jump scare. All right, yeah, this this would be a good angle. We got pretty easy cover to to use. Where are the archers? They're in the front. I don't want the... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where is he aiming from? <laughs> Alright, I'm blind. I can't see these people when they're taking aim then. I didn't see that guy at all. all right, let's get a couple of the peasants at least. Alright, and the nice thing... We don't need a big cover, we just need some cover. So like, this little shack is perfect. I don't like this because we're getting flanked here on the right, so they're... Yeah, this is gonna... There, Yeah, if I stood there, they would have shot. I just saw an arrow go by. So maybe we can pick somebody that's coming close. Wow, that guy's tough. All right. I don't know how to survive that. Oh, hold on. I just got a message. OBS has crashed. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, can you guys hear me? Uh, my OBS crashed. I don't know why. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to record this, so I just lost all that recording that's really bad because the main reason i'm doing this is to get the recording but if i can't get the recording it never used to crash and now it's crashing when i was trying to do starfield one of the main reasons i couldn't do starfield is because i kept losing recordings like i would record for 30 hours and i would lose like five or six hours randomly in between and it's, it's going to be really hard to make a story out of it if i can't get this to work so i got to figure out what i'm going to do Downloading the video from YouTube after the fact is it, the the quality is terrible because it's already compressed. So man, what the hell am I gonna do? Yeah, yeah like is it you can get it from YouTube, but it's really bad. The quality's bad when you go to edit it. It's not the same. stop and start recording after each battle yeah what i was doing before is i was setting like an hour time limit and then trying to do it like that i i should let me go switch the output to where are you sorry give me just a second to get this switched out uh the format that i need to use since i don't like doing this but i kind of have to Right now it's uh, MP4, I think, but I need to do... I don't see the option for it. Where the hell did it go? Sorry, guys. Give me just a sec. I, this is, yeah, this is going to be, like, game ending if, if I can't get this. I don't want to spend 100 hours and, and have to patch all these. That is such a bummer. It, it doesn't really do it when I record, what not while I'm streaming. So when I'm streaming, it seems to happen more often. 
So maybe I can't... I used to record and stream at the same time all the time, and now it's just all of a sudden, it's just not... not doing it. I don't understand. Um, MKV, yeah, that's the, the, the file type I'm looking for, but I can't find the setting. I haven't touched it in a very long time, because I just... I had my process, and it always worked, and now it's not working. Uh, where do I change MKV? It should be output recording. But I don't see where I change the file format. Oh, it's probably under advanced. No, it's not in there. All right, give me one second. I got to look this up. I got to MK. Yeah. Uh, settings, outputs, recording. Got it. Output recording. That's what I thought, but I don't see it. Recording format. Is it? Oh, maybe because I'm on advanced? No. And why? Oh, I can't change. It won't let me change output mode while I'm in the middle. Maybe it's because I'm streaming right now. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Output the file to file URL. Yeah, I don't default format. Oh, there it is. Uh, MK. It's just annoying because you have to convert the MKV. All right, there it is. Um, MKV timestamp. What the hell is that? How much RAM? I've got 64 gig. Yeah, I, I went. I went pretty heavy. Uh, CPU is a 13900. It should. All this stuff should be hand handled easily by, by the, the PC that I have. <laughs> Troubleshooting brought to you by chat, I know. It's killing the uh, the stream, but, you know, what can you do? MKV. I thought there was just a regular MKV setting. I only see... MKV... A bunch of... Other stuff. Where are you? MKV timestamp V2. What the hell is that? I don't know. Yeah, I got a two hour long uh, recording on my desktop now that's blank because it crashed. So it's just completely gone and I can't. Oh. MKV into timestamp. I don't know what format that is, though, to be honest. It's just not going to. Yeah, that's going to be a real bummer. You can extract the video from NKV without having to convert it. Gotcha. It just sucks because I I feel like I have to go back and do it now. I don't I don't have two hours of the the beginning. I don't have an intro now because it's just all gone. I mean I can get it from YouTube, but like I said, the quality is really bad. Um, man, that sucks. Yeah, I really wanted to stream this whole thing, but. Not at the expense of the, the video, so I don't know. Wait, why do I have two live streams up? Okay, well, um, let's do this. I, I'm just going to record again. If it happens again, then I'm going to have to take this offline and probably restart it. But um, I'll, I'll get some of the intro from YouTube, and I'll just have to deal with bad quality for a few minutes, but it's fine. There's probably quality boosters. There might be. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, we'll, we'll get back into it. Um, don't understand how downloaded video has had quality. Yeah, it's. I think it's because YouTube compresses everything. So I think that just, like, permanently ruins it.
Right, we got 62 shots, which should be more than enough to take out the archers. Yeah, they have only 16 archers. We just can't afford to take any more hits because we just don't have the HP. This is a horrible building. Yeah, maybe I, if I can get them on this side, maybe. No, nope, this one's bad too. Oh, this is just a bad... This is just a bad building overall. All right, let's go to the one in the back, maybe. We'll do it from this side since they were already taking shots. All right, Archer down. Archer down. shot here. I get some building between us. There we go. I think I like coming all the way out here. That'll give us time to set up. All you need is B-roll, so keep it brief in the YouTube video. Yeah, the, the problem is the beginning I have... I, I mean, I, I could always just go back and record the beginning again. It's not that big of a deal, but... Like I said, if it keeps happening, it's going to be a real pain, because re-recording a lot of the stuff is just not... It's just not going to be viable. I'd love to know why it keeps crashing. Like I said, I, I've got a, a pretty big PC. I've got tons of space. It, you know what it could be also it could be i'm i'm recording to a uh, external hard drive directly to the external yeah. so what i could do is i could just put it on the uh, the nvme drive and then move it each time when it when the recording's done maybe it's just not stable to record to an uh, an external maybe it's causing issues anyway later psycho oh uh, i don't even have shots there we go that guy They are blocking all the shots. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, man. That's all right. Just got to get past the setbacks, and then we'll be all right. Here we go. This is perfect. They're separated. They don't have shield cover. They're gonna hold their aim for freaking 10 minutes. Come on, let me get a shot off, please. There we go. Oh, we're running out of real estate here. I feel like we can still get a shot off. Oh, or two. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, now we got to go. We're pushing it too much. Oh, watch out. All right, here we go. I think we'll be able to take out all but maybe one or two of these guys now. We didn't have any time on that one. Actually, let's go back to the shack. Still so watching the 11 hours? Yeah, that was a that was a long one. I was hoping to do the same thing here, but we're starting to run into some issues, so I may have to take this one offline, but we'll see. I hope not. Ooh, that was close. Man, I missed my turn. Yeah, they got easy shots on us. That was not a good, good move. 
See, th this is kind of the, the pain part. I was hoping to deal with the, the range units on land or uh, on foot. Oh, you know what? We can restock. Yeah, we can definitely take out all these guys then. We just keep restocking our arrows. Tuned in the 10 hour Starfield one? <laughs> yeah, there was like no combat or anything. It's just building base. I, I got that base up really big too, man. I, I'm able to build every building in the game infinitely because I have every supply in my uh, my network. But I just didn't make any videos on it. I probably should, but. It's alright. Alright, here we go. We're getting some good work in here and they're not able to return. See if we can sneak one in there. Nice. Sneak another one in. Ooh, that guy's taking a shot. Our archers are almost dealt with. We do have to deal with the peasants too, though. The, the rock throwers. But I think we can handle it. It seems like we got most of it under control now. There's only seven archers left. Fourteen uh, peasants. So we're, we're actually not doing too bad. Oh, I don't like this. This is actually a bad spot. We're not going to really have time to shoot much. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Oh man, those shields are... Blocking stuff well outside the range. It's like the uh, the invisible wall issues. <laughs> the shields are like they've got their own invisible wall. Yeah, that's ridiculous, man. Those guys are not covered by that shield. That's all, right, all right. I get destroyed by a bunch of Bedouins. Yeah, th those guys are kind of tough actually because their their horses are so fast. It's really hard to outrun them. If you can outmaneuver the enemy and they don't have a whole lot of range units, then it's, you know, there's not much to it. But let's just take a, a nice wide angle here. Get our horse back. Do we have any arrows? No. I didn't even see the archers. I guess they're on that side. Oh, man, they got shields mixed in, though. That's... That's going to be a problem. That was such a bad one, man. We only got one one kill off of that. And we're going to get shot. Yeah, we're going to get shot here. For sure. That looked like it hit his foot. <laughs> Didn't give it to us. All right, here we go. This this is always a good one. They come up right through that little ravine. aiming at. Man. Yeah, they still got six archers left. They're almost done. Likes to win in the least correct way. <laughs> yeah, the impale perk, I'm going to try and get on this one. Um, that's going to help quite a bit, but not quite there yet. Got to focus on uh, on bow first. Right. 
Oh, they're gonna have shots and I can't shoot them. Alright, let's get these peasants out of here. Yeah, some maps you can get it done in like moving two or three times. This one is just it's like I can only get one or two kills each each pass. It's pretty rough. I can't even see him now. And of course I'm not aiming right. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Only one kill. Uh, culture is empire. Yeah, empire is going to be the the main one. Just because there's so many empire uh, fiefs, it's going to be easier to manage the fiefs, especially without governors to build them up. How did I miss? Uh, I can't afford to miss the oh invisible wall. A couple archers left. I'm just having a hard time spotting them. Yep, there we go. Invisible wall. <laughs> and shields that protect way too much. Alright, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to do this. But might have to because this is going to take forever. Just put some arrows in them from point blank. This is not a, a winning strategy long term, but. In a pinch, it can work. You just got to make sure you're curving at the right time. There we go. One more archer left. Got him. All right, no more archers. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> that guy sniped. That was like a legit snipe. Uh, what we'll do, we do still need to get rid of these peasants. So I'm going to try not get hit by rocks. Might even be close to not being able to come back into this fight. Actually, this is kind of scary. All right, run into the wall to slow down fast, and we're going to restock. Oh, they don't have a whole lot of arrows left. All right, let's uh, get these peasants out of here. If they don't have any more range left, and then we can clean them up. We'll come back in with a melee weapon. Nice. Protected by the shield, but he can get his thing out. <laughs> I got rocked, yeah. That was like a, a one in a million shot. Way too high. All right, let's pick this guy off in the back, maybe. No. How many? They got three left. All right, we just need to get three guys out of here. Two more. Can't see him. There's one right there on the left. All right, so they're not really showing themselves, so what we'll do is we'll... Yeah, I can see them right there. They're in the back. We can curve around. There's one. And then we'll get this guy on the next pass. Oh, that was a terrible shot. There we go. All right, so... Yeah, it's not really worth spending our time with the other ones. Let's switch our loadout. Uh, we don't need a, a sword, we just need the spear. 
Uh, did you try the campaign as a Kazate? No, not yet. I mean, this is kind of Kazate because there's a lot of horse archery in the beginning. But uh, no, I didn't do the Kazate one yet. Monty Python? Yeah. Especially this part. This is like very Monty Python esque. get too close. Yeah, they can still stab if they get one guy that like breaks free and he's kind of loose from the pack, but you still got to be careful of that. It's like paying attention to the little details, but mostly it's just going to circles and stabbing people. Yeah, that hurt. All right, so we can't afford any more of the damage because it might go down. We need we need a longer spear. This thing is just not cutting it. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> yeah, they're they're. Uh, Against melee attacks, they're, for whatever reason, not even melee attacks, mounted melee attacks, they don't block. Any other attack, whether you're on foot, you got ranged, they will, like, literally hold their shield up, no matter what. So, there's something in the programming where if you're mounted, they just don't even care, and they just start chasing you. Some people should be dying here soon. The oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, man. The other option is to use a two-handed sword, and then I can solo them on foot, but it takes it takes a bit longer, so that's why I opted for this technique, but this one's kind of risky, as you can see. They still can stab you. Alright, can't afford to get hit here. You gotta be kidding me, man. So I was in range, but he wasn't in range. <laughs> yeah, right, man. What a joke. Alright, well, we got, we got some skill out of it. We didn't get any... We just lost some gear and stuff, but that's alright. Uh, like I said, they kick you out. They just take some of your stuff. So we got some polearm. This thrust damage is going to help a lot. We need to get a longer polearm. Because that, that's the only reason why that didn't work out right there. Uh, let's go final point. So we got all points into one-handed and polearm. So we should be good there. Uh, let's get out of here. Go heal up and see if we can get better gear. Oh, crap. We lost our bow. Because we didn't have it equipped. Yep. Alright, well. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, I think what I should do is keep the bow equipped, just in case I go down. Hopefully we can get an another one here. Yeah, they still have it. We can get a simple short bow, that's fine. And then we'll need another set of arrows. Uh, did we lose? We didn't lose our pack animal. We still just got to get some food, and we're in good shape. Yeah, it, it's not that big of a deal, honestly, but it's just kind of annoying. All right, let's uh, let's heal up. Uh, pull arm, one of the best weapons. Not really. It's just every weapon's different. Like some weapons are really good in some scenarios, or you know, better than others. So it just depends. 175. This one's a little bit longer. 26, 24. So it's got less damage, though. But for more reach. It's it's quite a bit more reach, too. So let's actually do that. Let's swap this out. Yeah, I, th I think that makes sense. It was a good battle. Yeah, it was. it was close to being a good battle. I don't know what happened. 
They uh, they got some stabs off. I I think I'm trying to make it work with gear that that's not it's not the right gear. You know what I mean? I'm trying to force it too much. So this one oh this is the one that we died on, isn't it? Oh, let's finish what we started. How many? Can I find out how many units you have? No. It won't sell me. <laughs> I just want to see how many archers they have. There we go. Eight archers. So we'll go in. You know what? It's it's not that many. We can probably just do it like this. And then in case we die, we'll put the short bow in. Smithing time? Yes. The problem with smithing is I really want to get um I really want to get the combat skills up and running before I s spend time smithing. There's going to be a lot of downtime in this campaign uh, for certain things that are going on, so to spend a bunch of time just sitting around smithing is... I felt like it was kind of a waste. So that's why I think I'm going to hold off on smithing until... kind of like the mid-game. Alright, there we go. This should be good. Alright, I think we can make this work. Alright, let's just curve in. There we go. And then back to defense. We can do a tighter circle now. I think we got him under control. Beautiful. Like I said, as long as we're moving in a circle, they'll have a hard time catching the, um, the right targeting. Oh man, I whiffed. Alright, let's try it again. Wait, am I... Did we... Yeah, we did kill some. Alright, what am I... I'm tripping. Alright, let's draw it a little bit away from this thing, because I feel like I'm going to keep get close to running into it. Oh. Oh, this is much better than what we were doing before with the arrows, though, that's for sure. That took her... Whatever. Feels very satisfying to blast these kids. Get out of here. Alright, but we gotta they're getting mixed in too much, so we gotta we gotta draw them out now. So let's let's get them separated. They are too homogenous, as they say. Alright, we'll come up from behind. Oh, there's a wall. That's not good. Alright, let's not go after these guys in the front. That's actually a really bad spot for us. Um, I'm gonna try it though. Yeah, that's actually a really bad spot. We could have gotten shot there. Um, won't be as bad if we use a pole arm. No, yeah, it's bad. I the problem is I have to go straight to be able to get in range and shoot them or to hit them. So let's get away from that spot. All right, here we go. This is perfect. There we go. And that guy's got bad timing. There we go. There we go. They got how many archers? Two archers left, and then we'll we'll drag the whole formation out away from this building. Uh, it's too far behind. I see the two. Circles. I think they'll have a hard time hitting us anyways, no matter what we're doing. Where are the archers? They're tucked into the building, so we gotta back out. Alright, let's get them out here. Yeah, I think wide open is probably the play to, the, the best play for us now, so let's do that. Alright, I see one archer there. He's kind of paused. Let's let him stay on the outside. We can get to him. All right, here we go. It's like, uh, oh, perfect. Look at this. Bink and bink. Oh, no, he didn't go down. <laughs> All right, we got him. We got two archers down there. There we go. Okay, so... Now we got to deal with the rock throwers, which are actually kind of harder to deal with in some senses. 
so actually in this case let's let's go get our bow and arrow we can use our arrows now for this one and then we'll come back and finish them off a third time with um what do you call it with the spear all right where are they by rocks either but we don't have much of a choice all right let's do it over here so we can speed it up this is gonna take forever I was gonna say I'm running into something soon. I know it. I just feel it. All right, that's fine. Let's get back over here. All right, I'm trying to speed this up a little bit, but uh, without making too many mistakes. on the outside. Alright, almost down. They got 12 left. Wow, they still have 12, actually. I thought they would be... I thought they'd have less than that, but maybe not. <laughs> Excuse me. I just want to say it's really cool you're going for a channel like this. Keep it up. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is going to be a, a tough one, but I think it'll be fun. Uh, do you get their gear in the final assault? Yeah, you do. You still get the loot, even if you retreat. circle them like this because it's going to take forever. As long as I'm moving circular, it should be okay. Nope, I guess not. But, we'll make do. This is what I imagine horse archery would have looked like in real life. Like, much closer. Oh man, these guys are nailing me, dude. Come on. Like, they're worse, I'm telling you, they're worse than the archers. The archers will actually miss once in a while. These guys just don't miss. Wow. <laughs> the invisible shield. What in the heck? That looked like it went right through him. That one was definitely a miss. There we go. Alright, only got four arrows left. Let's, uh... <laughs> uh... Of course they hit on the way out. Alright, let's, uh... Let's just get this over with. We gotta come back with that spear. Alright, where's this last guy? Nope. Alright, there we go. Now we can... Back out. We'll switch back to the melee. Like I said, once once we leave, we can't come back in with arrows again because that would be restocking. We're not allowed to restock. Only Asari rock throwers. Yeah, they are pretty precise. So this pole arm is a little bit longer. I think we'll maybe have a better time avoiding the the damage here, but we'll see. Why did I feel like I was going to come into the stream and see exactly this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a, it's definitely longer. I can notice a difference immediately. I don't have to get quite as close, so 
Yeah, this this should be good. It, it doesn't do as much damage as the other one, but I mean, who cares? This isn't Total War, there's no battle timer. Alright, come on. You can do it. There we go. Yeah, I can't wait till we start getting smithing done though, because then we can actually customize our weapons and not have to deal with the garbage that we pick up. Or if we start fighting nobles, maybe we get some noble drops, but that's not really good to rely on. Whoops. Alright, there we go. Peak AI, right? Peak Bandalord AI. <laughs> but don't worry, I know the devs are gonna watch this thing and you're like, oh, we gotta patch that. <laughs> I mean, it probably should be patched to be fair, but it seems like every time I do a challenge video, the next patch I try it again and it doesn't work. Because I was planning on I was planning on using the same arrow technique that I did. It just absolutely does not work. Because they keep their shield up the whole time, you can't shoot them now, unless you can get them in the legs. So like the Sturgeon Militia, no big deal because their round shield doesn't protect their feet. You can hit them in the legs pretty easily, but these guys, their shield's pretty long, so. Alright, that went much smoother than last one. I love that they use their shield, right? <laughs> so you can remove the battle timer, except for certain quest battles. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't played Total War in a while, but I do remember the battle timer being on there. But yeah, that's kind of cool that you can turn it off. What are we doing here? We don't want the Sumter, so let's get rid of that. Uh, we got a better shield, it looks like. Yeah, thick version. Yeah, we're in good shape. And we can just sell this stuff right back to him. Actually, we're here. Might as well sell everything. Yeah, we don't need all this. Uh, have you played Baldur's Gate 3? Not yet, uh, SMDB. Not yet. I, I do plan on getting into it, but... Yeah, I, I picked Starfield instead of that one because I knew they were kind of coming out at the same time and I think that was a mistake. I should have gone the other way, but... That's life. That is definitely life. Alright, so let's keep pumping up control. Now, here's the dilemma. Do we put it in scouting, charm, smithing? Throwing. Yeah, I think they're probably throwing. Throwing is going to take a while. Legendary crappy boots? Yeah. Pretty much. Let's uh, let's finish off throwing. That one needs to be leveled up soon as well. Yeah, so we're looking pretty good. Level 16, we're like a, what, a month and a half in. Not too bad. A few hiccups, but we'll, we'll get there. And let's make sure we're not going to sell these. Yeah, there we go. We're just armless. That's funny. We're we're high enough level now that the looters don't want us. They don't want any anything to do with us. Except for the group of eight. Let's get some easy battle in here. Uh, is it worth playing Battle Lord if I don't want to micromanage my units? Yeah, you can still have fun. Yeah, there's there's several ways to do it. You can just let the AI control, and then you go around and, and whack people. I mean, it's... If you get a good unit mix, you, you don't even really need to command units. You just send them in, and they'll kill everything. Yeah, it, it, Bannerlord is... I would say it's it's not that balanced. So you can easily cheese it, or whatever you want to call it. So that you don't have to, like, micromanage stuff. But then you still have the option to do it at some point if you want to do it. Alright, that's that. Want to get the bow skill up pretty high. Uh, like in the 2... 2 to 250. Yeah, I know, hard bet the night battles. That's the one mod I couldn't get working, was the uh, customized battle scene. 
it crashed every time I went into a battle, so I, I can't force it to be daytime. It's It sucks. Yeah, I was pretty bummed about that. That was one of the ones that I really wanted to work, because nighttime battles, especially for... Um, what do you call it? Oh, there goes Ukai. Uh, especially for um, the, the bandit hideouts, it's really hard to see anything that's going on, so... Are you winning, son? <laughs> oh, not this map. Uh, I was going to say we were kind of winning, but this map might change all that. Alright, let's see if we can get these guys in the water. Man, it's like, do I want to put myself through this? Kind of have to. Alright, the drop is really heavier than I thought. Alright, I gotta get as many archers here as I can, because this is a really good opportunity. Pushing it a little bit too much. Let's go back to the other side. So again, in this one, we're just trying to take out the archers first, and then we'll we'll deal with the uh, the peasants later. Well, unfortunately, we got peasants in the front. shot at. Alright, let's take this guy out, you little punk. Three shots, man, really? I gotta aim better, I guess. Alright, let's go back. Pain of Asrai villages, yeah. The Asrai and um, I feel like Vlandian villages are pretty painful too. Yeah, this is the one that got me in trouble last time. This is not a real rock right here. They're able to see me and shoot through it. So I gotta be super careful here. I pick this guy off that's taking aim at me in the back. There, we got him. Get some of these guys in the back. Yep, there's an archer. Oh, I can't even see him. I can't tell who's taking aim or who's not. So 15 archers, 20 peasants. Yeah, it's gonna be rough, but I think we just keep going back and forth. But it beats the alternative, which is trying to do it melee and getting shot and killed, or, uh, yeah, getting shot and killed. Alright, there's an archer. Are you kidding me, man? Where is this archer? Oh, I see him now. I thought that was a peasant. I gotta pay more attention here. Nope. Yeah. All right, man, we are just taking so much damage. This is not. I, I'm doing something different. I don't know what I'm doing differently from when from in my testing, but it was not this hard. Maybe it's uh, performance anxiety <laughs> when the spotlights are on. All right, let's see what we can do here. Nope, they're taking aim. Yeah, and they're going to shoot right through that wall, too. Yep, see that guy's still aiming. All right, I can't really get a shot on him because he's... Yeah, he's going to take a shot at us. All right, let's see if we can pick that guy off in the back. Oh, right over his head. He's dead. Yep, right in the head. There we got him. 
All right, now we can get some good shots in. Uh, written for you, but is this actually possible? It is possible. It's just a matter of how much time I want to invest into it and uh, how much pain I want to do it. <laughs> it's definitely possible, but um, yeah, it, it's not. It's some parts are not going to be fun, that's for sure, and some parts are just going to be downright painful. But it's doable. It's doable. Now here's the next challenge. If this if this works out, do it solo with no skill. You got to do it at zero everything. Imagine that. That would put a whole different definition of painful, man. What am I aiming at? Come on. There we go. Right, how many archers? They still have 10 archers. Yeah, I'm gonna have to finish this up with uh, with melee. I think I'm gonna have to do that. But in the water, it might actually be not too bad. It might not be too bad. Well, hmm, maybe it's worse for me in the water. I don't know. I have to think about that. I haven't, I've never used, in my testing, I never tried the water out like this. This is a new one. Zero stat man. Zero stat man is no big deal. If I can use troops and stuff, I can do it, no, no big deal. But like this, I actually don't know that it's possible. Oh, gotta run. They're already here. Alright, we got 12 shots left and we have 8 archers. Gotta try and find those archers, man. I don't wanna... I don't want to have to deal with... The, the peasants are... I don't know. I feel like the archers just always have my number. Yeah, look at like that guy in the back. Shooting over his shield wall. Alright, there's a peasant down, unfortunately. Alright, there's some archers right here. Oh, here we go. There's a little pocket. Another one down. Alright, they're taking aim already. There we go. Come on. No, we gotta go. Four shots left. Five archers left. Okay, this is this isn't too bad. I need more bullets. Yeah, pretty much. I could actually I could draw them away and try and find them in the water from the dead archers that I've that I've shot, but I don't think it's worth it. I, I just I'll just do it melee. It's fine. Or I'll die trying. Actually, they're they're only gonna have a couple archers left after this. A headshot. All right, now we can get out. And let's switch our loadout. So it was. Thick shield, we got the spear, and the scalpel. Oh, and I forgot to check perks. Check that real quick. Might have something I can put. Um, yeah, let's just finish that off. And then, ooh, nice. So we did actually get level 175. So we get another endurance. So that'll put us at 9. And then once we start doing smithing, we'll get, level, we'll get 10 from that. Uh, I believe it's this one, Enduring Smith. Yeah, so 225 smithing, we'll get our 10th point into uh, Endurance. So there we go, 9 Endurance. Getting this to 275 quickly would be really nice too, because, you know, we only got one life, so. Leave the bow equipped? Yeah, that's the mistake I made last time. Yeah, I, I, I have it on my back now. Now, the question is... Open field or water? I think open field's better. I'll draw them into this field right here. And it's a little hard to see because there's a lot of foliage, but I think it's still okay. Alright. Oh, wow. These guys are way out of position. Alright, so we're going to let them shoot. 
and then we're gonna go in. Boom. And then we're gonna let him shoot. Oh no, this guy's already here to protect him. Alright, we need to take that archer out. So we'll, we'll give him some distance. And then we're gonna have to go in on him. There we go. So we'll set up an approach. So we always don't go directly at him. Always go at an angle, and then he can't get that shot off. Time it right, get in there. All right, let's do another lap. Um, we'll block. We have to, oh, this is bad. We're gonna get pelted to death here. All right, so again, slightly angle on him. He's gonna get another shot off. I don't think we can get there in time. We wait, and then we strike. So there's all the archers. Now we gotta deal with these rock throwers. Oh, that was terrible. Now, one thing you can do is you could wait for them to just throw all the rocks and then you just deal with the melee, but I don't know. I feel like it's not that big of a deal. No, they are, yeah, they are just destroying me with this. What the hell? Yeah, early game sword, the scalpel, we got it from a tournament. It, it, uh, it was doing some damage. We've got a little bit of skill in it too. I think we're at like 100 on one-handed, so it's it's got a little bit of damage boost from that. So I'm trying to think here. Just flat out going at him didn't seem to work all that well. Uh, one thing I could do is actually ring around the rosy here. Let's get a building maybe, so that'll block some of their shots. Yeah, we can do it on this one. get ready this this will limit some of their damage at least that not all of them are going to be able to, to throw at the same time and it might make sense yeah here we go this is what i wanted to do get them no nope, they're not spread out that much all right let's let them spread out a little bit more let's see if we can get some guys to turn back on this side All right, here you go. Now they're splitting up a little bit. And then I want to pick off somebody kind of near the corners. Oh, that's bad. Barely missed. No, they're still staying grouped. This is going to be tough. They're not they're not separating at all. Yeah, I think and I don't really think we have a choice. We just got to do it. Bite the bullet. Let's get our sword out. Just gotta be smarter about it. Oh, they're running out of ammo. Yeah, they're they're out of rocks now. Most of them. Well, <laughs> except for these guys, apparently. Yeah, but a lot of them are, are running out of, of rocks. I think they reduce the number of rocks that they spawn with because I've noticed the the looters run out of rocks pretty quickly now. They probably have like one or two packs of five or uh, two or three packs of five, whereas before they'd have like forty or fifty rocks, something ridiculous like that. There's one guy in the back that still has a rock. Oh, they still have a few in the back. This. Let's let them get their load. Get their load. Come on. I don't want to get pelted here. Yeah. See, having a shield is just so important. And I, I don't know. I, I don't know that I've ever done a campaign with a shield before. And I've got, you know, I don't know how many thousands of hours. I love the shield for this campaign. It's been like. Just crucial. Whereas I usually don't use them too much. Alright, there's one. One more. Yeah, one more left. Got another rock still. Here we go. Yeah, some guys still have rocks. Alright, well, we're gonna have to for sure go spear. Oh, yeah, they still have. Now I think we can go in. Oh, this guy still has it. No, they still have rocks. How are they? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're... Are they picking them up? Alright, now the pulling begins. 
do have to be a little careful because the peasants have decent range on a lot of their weapons. And there's not as many shields to block their attacks. So I gotta be super careful in this one. I'll probably take this one a little bit slower. And we get chamber blocked by a peasant. That's cool. Ooh, wow. That was close. Oh, there's a guy back there with no weapon. He just tried to punch us. <laughs> wow. That guy's a, a giga chad. Oh, there he is. He's got no... There's more than one with no weapon. That's funny. He must have spawned with just rocks. Is my guess. Ooh, man. We're just barely out of range of that guy. Yeah, I'll have to... Once we get a good uh, two-handed sword... Uh, skill in, in a two-handed axe. I'll have to come back and show you guys how to do it with the sword, with the axe, because I was I was able to do this day one with the two-handed axe actually, and um, it's not too bad on foot. And you basically just bust through everybody's shield, and then you you do overhand attacks so that you break through their guard, and they can't physically block you anymore. Watch out for the tree. Oh, no, 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 no. It's so annoying. Keep getting hit on this tree. These trees are like more dangerous than the enemies. Not get around the trees. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from the U.S. Uh, West Coast in California. All right, there we go. We can't afford any mistakes here. We're gonna go down again. Ooh, that was close. It hit the horse in the butt. Alright, there we go. This seems to work out pretty well. Oh, look at this guy with no weapon. There he is. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get that sweet spot where they can't really attack. Oh, he can attack. Yeah, we gotta be careful. Uh, polearm skill is gonna be really good after this. And we did get some one-handed as well. I... I'm more concerned about the polearm skill than the one-handed. Is now 1 p.m.? Yeah, what time is it? It's 4.21 right now. Oh, we just got hit for six damage. Wow. So we're on like zero health. If they sneeze on us, we're dead. They're starting to fall now. Oh, they're breaking. They're breaking. Nice. We'll see the peasants running. We'll get some free kills. Give me that one-handed XP. Right, now we just need to not choke here on the last... Last guy, and then we'll be in good shape. All right, we got it. All right, this, I rarely like to do this, but we're going to do a, uh... Yeah, we'll do a victory. <laughs> victory nay. Oh, that was stressful. So, w that puts us at 236 riding, which is pretty good. One-handed, not quite level 75. Really would like to get that up there. And then, like I said, polearm's going to shoot up pretty good, but... Renown and Influence, it's quite a lot for the type of battle that we fought.
but now we're going to be pretty messed up, so. Yeah, we're, we're rarely going to be using pole arms on foot, so I'm going to go with a 25% chance of knockdown from heavy hit. I'll go with that. Okay, now the question is, what do we do here? We don't have health. Uh, actually, we can fight again. Do something safe, like... Um... Oh, man, if we had full health, I would actually consider doing that. Uh, never mind. 30, 31 cav is not doable. Oh, these guys lost their leader, so it's only units. Two cav, one horse archer... I'm debating here. Hold on. Let me see what cav they have. Mamluk cav. And Arwa. And then Asurai light archers. That's their... Oh, they have 12 range. That's actually going to be tough. The 12 ranged. Yeah, I don't think we can. I might probably could, but with 25% health, it would be a tough one. For sure. So I don't know, maybe not worth it. Let's uh let's just go back, sell some stuff, heal up, and uh regroup a little bit. Here we go. Uh regroup oh we can't because we lost all our stuff, didn't we? <laughs> That happens when you die. Alright, so... We don't have... We only lost our arrows, which is fine. Oh, well, they don't have good arrows, do they? Oh, nice, they got a balanced noble bow. You don't see that too often. I'd, I'd like to get, like, a, a high-tier noble longbow, one that's got the modifiers, that'd be really good. Alright, barbed arrows, I think we're just gonna have to do that. I mean, they're kind of expensive, but... What other option do we have? And then let's see if there's a better uh, pole arm. No. That's the same one. Can't use a pike on horseback, so... Yeah, we're kind of stuck there. Uh, we could pick up a Sparth Axe. I don't think it's really worth it. I, I, we already are spreading ourselves thin here. So we'll just keep to what we have. Yeah, we're, our bow skill's looking pretty nice. I do want to at least get to 225 so we can take this skill and then we can we can take the long the noble longbow at any point in time. Then we don't have to worry about it. Writing is not really a concern. There's not any perks on there that are make or break. Really want to get up here to steady. And then want to get these two up pretty high and then start working on it. Once, once bow is leveled up high enough, we'll switch over to throwing and then level that up. Oh. Yep, yeah, either way we gotta heal up for a bit, so let's do that. And that puts us at 21. We're actually pretty close. Yeah, that's gonna make a big difference winning these these small battles. Uh what are we looking like? 94 out of 150, so we still need quite a bit more. Uh we can come down here and, and... halt that. So Tell me who uh, I didn't realize there was going to be people here. No, he's not going to do it. So we have to, we don't really have a choice. We have to surrender. God, man. Yeah, I had it on, on the fast speed. I really didn't think anybody was going to be up here. I should have slowed down. It doesn't make sense to fight. There's no way we win this. Uh, later in the game, definitely doable, but right now... It would be a very, very tough, if not impossible. Yeah, we just have to give up. Man, that's so annoying. Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. Uh, Offer? Yeah, we'll take the offer. That's fine. 
what did we lose? We lost our arrows and our food. It's not a big deal. We didn't really lose anything there, to be honest. So let's just go back. Are they going to chase us? Let's just go back, buy some arrows, and then we'll go at it again. Alright, we need a little bit of grain. Three sets of arrows, and we're good. Alright, whatever. We lost like 500 dinars. Alright, now let's not make that same mistake again. We'll slow it down some. Yeah, once, once we get... Uh, we're kind of rushing to, <clears throat> to clan tier 2 while trying to farm up the right skills. Oh, this guy's only a 15. Can we attack him again? Yeah, I don't know how many archers that is, but that's fine. So, we'll, we could definitely do this one from the start and just melee these guys. It's only 7 archers. Wow, okay. So let's let them get a little closer and then we will... Uh, that's not really ideal, fighting on a big hill like that, so we'll let them get off the hill. Yeah, there we go. This should be better. So again, don't approach from a straight angle. Kind of slowly turn in. Closing the gap, and then... Attack. That was actually a really bad attack. I could have gotten shot there. That one was a little bit better. This guy's gonna hit us. Oh, actually, that was close. That was kind of borderline. Guy in the back we're going for. Yep, there we go. Again, it's all about angles and picking the right time to do it. Just keep your shield up. Gonna go for the guy in the back again. Alright, slow it down. Oh, that was very close. <laughs> I dropped my shield at the last second, but still caught it. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Yeah, these trees are kind of messing me up. Alright, we're almost done. This guy can't get a shot off in time. Should be good. Whoops. We'll go for the guy in the back again. He's almost dead anyways. He'll slow down so we can time him. Yeah. Shouldn't have taken that shot, dude. This guy messed up too. Easy peasy. And one more. Now, I noticed chat hasn't moved for like 10 minutes. I think my chat's bugged. Let me, uh... Let me see if I can fix that. What's going on here? Or is just literally nobody talking? Am I streaming to nobody? <laughs> Wait, am I literally streaming to nobody? What's going on here? Oh, there it goes. Okay. I refreshed it. That's weird. Yeah. Oh, you know what? All the chat. I just missed a ton of chat. Sorry, guys. My chat was not actually refreshing, so. All right. There we go. Hey, Saxon Spooner. What's up, everybody? All right. Back to it. Back to it. Yeah, no, I, I knew chat was lurking, but with 346 people, there's usually at least like a couple chat per minute, and I didn't have anything for like 10 minutes. I think my chat was frozen or something. I just didn't want to ignore you guys. Alright, so let's get to work here. Easy, easy money right now. This is easy money. Yeah, it's only going to get easier when we get higher skills and more, uh, or better gear. So, it'll go faster. I can do, I can do more risky things that speed up the game a little bit. But I'm glad you guys are seeing some adversity because I didn't really run into it too much in my testing. But this shows that like it's legit. This isn't like um, you know, <laughs> this isn't like a 
that up campaign. This is uh, going to be very, very taxing mentally, I think. But All right, there we go. Why am I not hitting you? Got him. There we go. All right, so that shouldn't give us too much, but actually, that's not bad for how hard that was. It's pretty easy. Uh, we'll take all the loot. Bandlord is on console. Yeah. <laughs> no sleep here, remembered. Oh, man. Crix, you gotta get some sleep. All right, let's, uh... the other food back to him. Actually, we can just sell everything. Now this one, I know I'm not really going for speed on foot, but this one is really hard to pass up because we're going to be using very heavy shields that will slow us down a bit. So I think shield bearer is probably going to be a good pick. 5% damage to one handed would be really nice too, but I, I just think this one's going to be a little bit more useful overall. So. Hey, Kankit, what's up? 2.34 a.m.? Yikes. Yeah, that's late. So we gotta go deeper into Asari territory. We shouldn't have any issues getting caught, though. We're not gonna be overburdened. We don't have a lot of troops. Alright, here's another good one. How far are we away again? So we're getting about 15 to 20 per, so we, we need about three of these, and then we'll be good to go. Uh, I'm going to try this one with melee against the archers and see if, if we can make it work. How late is it in California? It's 435 right now. Yeah, in the afternoon. So not too late. All right, let's see if we can get them out in the open by this, say like by this beach or something. We're just gonna get pelted right now. I can feel it. Oh yeah, here come the firing squad. There you go. Let them loose. Let them loose. All right, we just gotta, we gotta get in there somehow. Might be too many. I don't know. This might be too many. No, I think if we use their if we use their their size against them, they're gonna just body block each them from shooting. Yeah, we can get in there and pick them off. This is so much easier than shooting and repositioning. I, I kind of hate doing that. It's so tedious. And this one-handed is doing such good work. Look at that one shot. Not, uh, not one shot. That was a bad hit. 15. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's the real damage? Took the guy in the back. Whoa, what the heck? I could probably take more shots. I'm just trying to be a little bit conservative here because it just takes one mistake and then we gotta get captured and do it all over again. Yeah, I think I'll take a few more shots now. Oh, not with these guys, though. Oops. Alright, here we go. There we go. This is going, I don't want to jinx it, but this is going a little bit better than what we were doing last time. <laughs> it makes you wonder, like, did the devs intend this? And probably not, but it's definitely effective, that's for sure. Alright, they're... Yeah, these peasants, I gotta try and start picking off the peasants, because they're getting... 
do get some pretty effective stone throws in, and I don't really want to do with that. Like, imagine if, if they had a leader and they just said, okay, everybody stop. Spears on the outside, put your spears up. Like, literally, don't do anything, just put your spears out so you can run into it. That would counter this entire thing. Ooh, we got hit. Finally got hit. Ooh, I'm hit the wrong button. Oh, that was a good hit. Jeez, we got hit in the face or something. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, it's the peasants. The peasants are the ones that do the most damage. Look at that, we got hit again. Yeah, they're gonna whittle us down. I might have to back out and do archery. I'm not sure. But archery against peasants is not nearly as bad. Oh, yeah, they just keep pelting us, man. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There we go. A couple more archers and maybe we can back out. Man. That is so bad. Alright, I'm gonna draw them out a little bit. Let's see if we can get a better... better separation here, maybe. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, maybe that's what I need to do instead of keeping them so tight. Slow down, these guys are timing me. There we go. Is Force a mod? Nope, it is definitely not a mod. This is a, um... A mod? I don't know what horse we're on. <clears throat> it's the, it's like the noble mount for the Asurai, I think. It's pretty good. My hand is starting to cramp. How many archers? Three archers left. Yeah, we're in good shape. Alright, two more. Oh, man. So close. Oh, he'll go down right here. No? Wow. That was a bad hit. Let's get him a little bit of space so we can separate. Alright, there's all the archers. Uh, let's take maybe one or two passes. No, I don't even want to try it. Honestly, they're just going to nail me. It's going to piss me off. <laughs> they're going to nail me with all these rocks. All right, Cantarian Charger. I think it's the Ascarat. Yeah, Ascarat. So 65 movement speed. Uh, let's put our arrows in. Let's take out some peasants. Because they don't have a shield, we can easily shoot them and not deal with the rocks. Yeah, so like I said, we'll probably, in most battles, we're going to have multiple loadouts, depending on what we're trying to accomplish. And the range loadout is really good against these um, these guys. It's just it's kind of stupid how dangerous peasants and and looters are with rocks. Like they're, I would rather go up against archers than peasants with rocks. Like how stupid is that? But, I don't know. It is what it is. The Vadar Hot Blood. I can't wait till I get that one, man. That's such a good horse. Gonna be hard picking these guys off. Yeah, they're kind of mixed in. All right, let's see if we can get spread out a little bit, and then pick these guys off in the back, maybe. There we go. No, that was bad. There 
prestige of the map. There we go. We're getting some good progress now. <clears throat> Fable Sink is blunt damage. Go deal damage. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's a good point. I right, gotta run. The the worst part about fighting these peasants is they don't even give you that much XP or renown. So I, maybe I'll look for villages that don't have them so we can speed it up a little. It's kind of not really worth it. They're like very high risk and uh, extremely low reward. So just finding the ones with the the militia was interesting shot. How many we got left? Four left. So we're almost there. Three left. Oh, we just ran out. All right, so we can't reload. We're gonna have to deal with the rest with melee. So let's go. And I didn't take this. Uh, this one, we're going to take the mount armor. Keeping our mount alive is just so important. So that's going to be for sure. Uh, we're never going to use a one-handed without a shield. If we don't have a shield, it's because we have a, a ranged weapon or we have a two-handed. So that's just not a thing. Throwing is almost capped out. And then I think we'll probably do smithing next. Scouting and charm will just save for the end because it's just not as important. But it is important. Difficulty, this is on Bannerlord. Yeah, everything's on Bannerlord. Bandlord, realistic, death enabled, etc. I don't have Iron Man mode on because of how uh, this thing can crash, especially when you're recording and whatnot. So uh, I have my loadout. Yeah, we're good. Let's get in there. What's the plan for the playthrough? Yeah, I don't want to just I don't want to say too much because um, it's going to be a long campaign and I, I plan on doing quite a bit. And I want to leave some of it as a surprise, but uh, needless to say, there's going to be multiple stages. We're already in stage two, and it should be like maybe six stages in total to get to the end. So there's there's quite a bit that still needs to be done. Uh, it's not just going to be a repeat of the same thing over and over. Yeah, it, it, it'll be fun, though. It'll be fun. Yeah, we gotta we gotta deal with these guys first because they're just gonna they're gonna peg us with rocks. I need them to separate more though. They're getting kind of swallowed up here. Here we go. Alright. This should be it. The reload time Ooh, that was very unlucky dip. The reload time on the throwing is is a lot faster than the bow. So it, it's kind of tough. The timing is way different. Yeah, I can't get in there. It's too much. Uh let's try it from this angle, maybe. That was a little bit better, but it's kind of risky. We almost got hit. All right, we got one peasant down. <laughs> Top of the shield. Yeah, they're just... I need them to stay in the back and then aim at me so that they slow down even more. And then when it, by the time I curl around, there's time to get in there. All right, let's see if I can do it now. There's one more peasant down. I just don't even want to take a chance with even just the one. I feel like he's going to hit us a bunch. So. I can't get him to separate. I'm just going to have to go for it. Ooh, I keep hitting the wrong button. All right, let's get off this hill. This is like a death trap. Um, I do like the beach down here. I think this is probably the ideal spot for it, so we'll just bring him down here. Is it better to have larger shield or one with more hit points? I personally prefer one that's larger. Hit points is important too, but better coverage is, especially when you're doing this type of campaign, it's incredibly important. 
Yeah, you gotta have you gotta have a big coverage area. Yeah, there's there's a Kazate shield that's uh, metal and circular. It's got really good hit points, but the coverage is really bad. So like it, it's kind of deceptive. It seems like it'd be a good shield, but it's just not. All right, rock thrower ran out of ammunition, so we should be good for a little while. Oh, maybe I don't have to turn. I can just do this. <laughs> This is even stupider, but, I mean, I'll take it. Gotta try and aim for the head. Okay, okay, okay. We'll back out a little bit more. I caught him stupid, he didn't like it, and got stabbed for it. My bad. Yeah, getting a better pull arm is going to speed this up significantly as well, so. I, I don't want to put, like I said, I, I, I'm, I was tempted. I did test it a couple times taking smithing early, but the amount of time you have to sit around, it, it's just really hard to unlock. And we're going to be using stuff in like three or four different categories. So, yeah, we might be able to unlock one category, but then the other ones will take a lot longer and it just didn't make sense, so. We'll get them all eventually, but look how much blood is on these guys. <laughs> They're just like drenched. Their buddy's... Their buddy's blood is just like splashing on everybody. There we go, everybody's head there. Bad. Yeah, part, part of the challenge with... Part of the challenge, and I just showed why it's important, is to... Is there's a lot of monotonous stuff and really repetitive, is to just stay focused. Like, I wasn't focusing there, and that's why I got stabbed. Alright, there we go. Just barely made it. They're so eager to get poked, yeah. Uh, the mod that heals on hits and kills would be perfect for this. Yeah, but it would definitely change the the campaign. I don't it wouldn't be very fair. So 21 renown, we have I think 30 to go. So we're actually doing pretty good here. We got only one skill. Well, we didn't use it that much. So we, we did hit level 100 and one-handed and 125 perk on pole arms. So we're moving along nicely there. Oh, we don't need that many Sumter. Yeah, a lot of loot there. I should take everything and sell it back to him again. Let's see. Okay, yeah, let's actually get rid of these. Alright, that's good. Uh, oh yeah, one-handed we already had leveled up. And then for this one, damage mount with pole arms is pretty good. Damage bonus from speed while pole arms while mounted. This is really good too. This is one of those ones where I wish I could take both, because they're both really good. I, 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 we'll go Lancer. Once we get into the late game, it might make sense to switch this, because dis dismounting cavalry is going to be really important. But we'll see. This is going to take a really long time. Now, network, it, it seems that way. The beginning is just really grindy, and then it'll get into a spot where things are actually going to move quite nicely. So, yeah, kill everybody and sell them back their mounts. <laughs> that's that's kind of what, what, what we ended up doing here. It's, it's pretty funny. 22% uh, health is not a whole lot to go on, so might have to wander a little bit. You know what we could do is find, we could find some uh, bandit hideouts. That's probably a good idea. 
We could even fight some bandit hideouts. We, we have enough movement speed that we don't have to worry too much about fighting them. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, hopefully that's not famous last words, but you know. They've got... Yeah, see, they don't even have a ranged one. Oh, no, they do have a ranged one. Oh, wow, that guy took one to the face. Alright, there you go. Now, this guy, we definitely want to take out his horse. He's going to be a sitting duck. Yeah, way easier when he doesn't have a horse. And we have 30% extra damage to horses with the bow. So, pretty easy to take him out. And these guys, we can speed through this. I <laughs> uh, love it. All right, almost a 200 bow. And look how much renown we got for that. That's actually a lot for how easy of a battle that was. And we got an upgrade on our helmet. That's pretty good. 24 armor is not bad at all. Uh, bandit hideouts are deceptive. Only time my character died was from a... Oh, really? A hideout attack? That's bad luck, man. Uh, uh, grind is real, but you got... This. I appreciate that, Network. Thank you. Yeah, I think, I think it's doable. Uh, what do they got here? Oh, they only have a single cavalry. Wow, you this is like stop. literally free money. Yeah, look at that. A single cav? No big deal. Let's let him catch up. Let's just not get one tapped here by this thing. Ooh, wow. He got hit hard there. 60 damage. Actually, we're going to take him up before he even gets off his horse. Or not. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Alright, sweet. <laughs> Can you imagine seeing this in real life? People just like waddling towards a horse that's very slowly moving away and just blasting them with arrows. Uh, that would be a sight to see for sure. Like, just give us a chance, please. <laughs> Are you going to play City Skylines 2? Yeah, I actually I have it on my wish list. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about it. it. It does look like a lot of fun. I haven't played the SimCity type games in a long time, but I used to play them a lot. Renounce pretty good. Oh, nice. We got boots. Oh, uh, no, they're not even better. Wow. I thought they would be. Uh, we, we can get rid of a bunch of these because we don't need hardly any of it. And we'll keep our other loot. Uh, will you play the Realm of Thrones mod? Yeah, I think if I, I gotta find the right time for it. Yeah, I, I do want to. I do want to play a full campaign with it though. Uh, these are completely useless, I believe. Yeah, it's just XP boost. Well, if we ever have to recruit ranged troops, at least for a garrison, we'll get a bonus on it, but that's fine. Uh, throwing is capped out, so our main skills are capped, except for smithing. Let's do smithing next. Scouting and charm will come after that, and then probably two-handed last. Which is my, this is my favorite skill, but in this campaign, it just doesn't fit in until the end. Hey, Duck, thanks for showing up, man. I appreciate it. We'll see you later, man. This is exactly my plan for the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Just slowly trot away while they uh, get blasted in the face. Greetings. All right, six horses, and... Looks like two of them have shields. Oh, man. Headshot. Another headshot. Wow. Getting some lucky shots here. Uh, keep an eye on the melee guy so I don't accidentally waddle into him. And that guy's toast. Uh, we could just let these guys throw themselves out, but it's not a big deal. Oh, that's bad. 
Alright, we got a pretty good hit on him. Yeah, nice throw, man. That was close. You almost got me. Oh, crap. Alright, he's got his spear out now, though. So this one, we just take his horse out. He's too dangerous because he's so fast. Yeah, that's fine. Same thing with this guy. Maybe? Man, that thing's tough. Alright, now... Might be hard to hit him, but we're gonna try and hit him right in his tippy toes. There we go. Might have to go into first person for this. Deal with the invisible shield, the force shield that just goes well below his his actual foot. <laughs> so janky, man. Yeah, like that? I mean, come on. That was definitely his foot. Alright, let's, um, I think we'll just take out these guys first before we blow through all our ammunition. And then we can always come back with a uh, different loadout if we need to. No big deal. Here we go again. Come on in. This is the way to go, man. I should have done this from the start because these guys are way less stress, a lot easier. They give about the same... Um, they give you about the same amount of renown. All right, let's see if we can get this guy on the down part of the hill, maybe. Like, there, that's not... That's definitely not hitting his shield. Like, that's... <laughs> it's not even his shins. It's his shield. It's blocking stuff that should not be blocked. I think we gotta hit him when he's on the top of the hill. And we're at the bottom. That'll give us a better angle. So we're just gonna have to reposition, maybe. Let's try it. Yeah, there we go. So we just gotta use the terrain to our advantage, I guess. Alright, here we go again. <laughs> Peak AI, right? Alright, one, and... Nope. Still hit his invisible shield. Ridiculous. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man, come on. Aliasura, thank you so much for the donation, man. I appreciate that. And thanks for showing up. We only got six shots left, so we gotta be careful here. Let's just... A little tedious, but we'll get it done. No? I might have to just get off and take one of these spears. The other option is I could try and bait him into attacking. Oh, oh man. <laughs> All right, well, that works. Maybe he has that perk that expands shield coverage. I don't think units have perks at all. Uh, my understanding is no units have perks. They can get stuff from their captains and, um, you know, perks from the leader, but I don't think they have anything. The Harami had, uh, had the high ground. Yeah, the high ground worked against him this time. All right, so 6.6 .6 renown, pretty good. And the spear is... is it longer? No, it's shorter than what we have, so it's not going to be a good replacement. And again, let's get rid of some weight. Oh, wow. Yeah, we just got to get rid of some... some stuff. Actually, let's take one of these back. One arrow remaining, yeah. Got to play chicken with these guys sometimes. Man, look at all this. This is just juicy, juicy. This this might be enough to put us over the edge. So I'm I'm hoping that's the case. Oh, we're getting we're getting chased. Lovely. Greetings, traveler. Now normally I would try Unless and string these guys together, but I don't really want to take that risk. So we're just gonna fight them smaller amount. Yeah, workshops are allowed, but they just don't they don't make much money at all, man. They're they're really bad right now. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, workshops are in a pretty bad state. Right over his head. Alright, let's try and hit a headshot. No, or an arm. Ah, 
All right, I think I got the aim point for this thing. Now I want to try and hit these guys. Oh, yikes. Maybe we'll try something different. We'll try and hit him. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That was stupid. I don't know why I did that. We'll leave them mounted and we'll try and hit them from behind so they don't have their shield up. Because that was kind of annoying to deal with. Now they're going to keep their shield up as long as... Oh, there we go. That was a good... Kind of a lucky shot, but a good shot. Sorry, horse. I just shot his horse right in the, uh, the balloon knot. That was not pretty. All right, here we go. So once we get behind him, we pretty much have a free shot. Oh, or not. There we go. Do the dance. I right, get some shots in before this guy comes in. All right, he's coming in hot, so let's pick up the pace. Then we let him go by. And we blast him on the way out. Oh, and the hit. What? Wait, didn't we hit this guy once? Okay, right, well, that's fine. I thought I hit him before that. Maybe I was hitting his shield. Yeah, th I, sh I should have done this from the start. Do the uh, the hideouts in Kazate for the bow. And then just come straight down here and deal with these guys. Because this is about... Two of these fights is, is what we would get from uh, one village. And those villages take forever, man. That was pain. Uh, missing the beginning. Is this beta branch or 1.6? Yeah, this is on the beta. The most recent um, the patch that they did recently. And it it's a hot fix, but they changed some stuff in the back scene and they didn't tell, say anything about it. So there's, there's definitely some changes. The AI acts differently. All right, we are starting to get full on loot, so we got to sell some stuff soon. Uh, there's not really anywhere to go but these villages. I think we'll just we'll just deal with it. I don't want to go back and forth. A hot day. All right, what are we working with here? Great stream. I appreciate it, Dan and I. Thanks for showing up, man. Yeah, I I really wanted to stream this campaign, and it, if the recording, I I kind of. I think I'm going to decide. Even if the uh, the campaign doesn't work out, or the, the, the recording doesn't work out as well, I'll, I'll try and make it work with uh, downloading the stream, because I'll, I'll still have all the recordings, it just won't be the same that I was hoping for, but I'll make it work. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a bunch of save files, so... Ooh, there we go. We don't, we don't have to deal with the shield. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just make a bunch of save files, and if I have to go back and record small segments after the fact, and just pretend like it was in the campaign, it's fine. If, if the recording's really that bad. It's... I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me, but... Uh, one thing that they... They used to run directly behind you, now they run to your left. So it's it's like ten times easier to shoot them. They, they change something with the AI, and they don't try and attack you until they're like literally right on you. So it's... It's actually much easier to fight them mounted now than it was before. So they, they made some changes. Some of the AI changes, actually most of them were really good and some of them were pretty bad. Do you play with the joystick? I do not. No, it's mouse and keyboard. That might actually be somebody else now that I look at it. Is the goal to get trade to max level? No, so uh, DJ Curry, we're not going to be doing that because it doesn't work anymore. They actually patched it out of the game. So... There are certain fiefs that the AI just simply will not sell you no matter what. We got a lightener load here. Yeah, there's certain fiefs that the AI will not sell you no matter what. They'll they'll charge you like 2 billion dinars for it. And you can only hold 1.3 billion. So they physically cannot Hello, buy them. Traveler. Yeah, so I, that would be a pretty easy way to do it, I guess. But kind of boring. So yeah, that but that's not, not going to be an option. I'm not going to be doing any... Oh, I might die here. I might die here. Oh, I just barely juked him. All right. I need to pay attention. That would have been a really stupid spot to die on. Because these guys are terrible. Holy crap, they're on me. 
All right, let's deal with him first. <laughs> All right, that got my heart going. There's one down. Uh, so anyways, I was saying about the trade. Yeah, they, they patched it out, so they, they won't sell everything. Yeah, it's interesting that they, they changed it. Uh, Veol, my GPU is a RTX 4080. We can't even take most of the stuff. I think we'll at least try and take the armor. And then we can get rid of some of the heavy things like these shields. These are pretty heavy. How do you fast forward? It's a uh, it's a mod called RTS Camera. Hello, traveler. Get these group these two groups of four in here. How are you gonna siege a castle if you can't lead an army? <laughs> No, 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 we can't give direct, we can't lead them, we can't lead troops in battle, so no troops at all. Yeah, it, it's possible. I've taken see, I've taken the uh, castles by myself. They patched it, so you can't, you can't bait them to come out and then just go in and take it. That used to be a way to do it. Now you have to actually take it yourself, like physically go in there and kill everybody. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. It was a prank, it was a prank. Yeah, put your guard down. I'm gonna play chicken with this guy. That's kind of the mood I'm in right now. Right, let's get headshots. Alright, that works. Almost a 275 writing. That was pretty fast. Yeah, he thought it was in van vanilla. Red John, they really need to add it to vanilla, in my opinion. It's such a nice quality of life improvement. I wouldn't even mind if they only added it for, like, out-of-combat use. Like, if there's no actual clash going on, you can use it, and then once the, the fighting actually starts, then they can turn it off automatically if they don't want to have any conflicts, but it's it's really hard to play without it now. What do we got? Any Harami? We got one Harami here. Well, that was fast. Oh, nice. A leg shot. Wow. All right. I'm getting some lucky shots here. But as I always say, I'd rather be lucky than good. Oh, man. I was going to try and do it without moving. But there's another one. 2.4. We're actually... Pretty close. Oh, we did. I was going to say we're really close. So Bezos' wet dream team is actually clan tier 2 now. Let's take the weapons at least and the armor. And then we can throw down. Uh, what do we have that's so heavy? I wish you could organize by weight. That would be pretty useful. Uh, we just get rid of some of our grain. All right, we do need to go back and join the so way of the saddle we do a lot more charge damage now so probably go back and switch nimble steed out we'll probably take full speed instead uh it's definitely worth it because 20 percent charge damage increase when you're already doing a ton and you have a horse that's high end we're gonna want to switch that yeah the clan the clan name uh <laughs> so we're, we're galadriel from the the rings of power and this is bezos's wet dream team uh, there's there's a whole storyline that's going to go with it when I get to the main video, but you could probably guess what half of it is, at least. Um, you know. <clears throat> Let's go back. <clears throat> I gotta get some water here, one sec. So, actually, we need to find out where Rege is. At Finia, where the hell is that? <clears throat> so she's all the way back there, that's fine. That means that at least she's not going to get captured and thrown in jail. That's like the worst thing. 
when you're trying to join somebody's kingdom and then uh, you're just blocked because they make a stupid move and get thrown in jail. Uh, they just took that back, so yeah, they're starting to fight back and, and take their, their feast back. Regea is probably... Yeah, there she is, so we can find her easily now. She's on the map. Come here, honey. Oh, actually, we're not honey, because uh, that's right, we are a female this time. So we want to... Yeah, we want to be more than a mercenary. We're ready. Cut. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to shorten the, the chat dialogue. Uh, Christopher Tartaglia, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the donation. Some golden dragons for a for a Benjen Stark White Walker army playthrough. Ooh, that would be a fun one. That's a good idea. Yeah, I, I want to do something different for the for that campaign. White Walker would be an interesting one. I was also thinking something with uh, Littlefinger. That would be an interesting way to do it, but I'm not sure. Future wife, uh, we are not female, or we are female, so we can't take her as our wife. <laughs> Uh, more than a mercenary, I guess we gotta click through all these top ones then. Alright, we can't take troops. Oh, you know what? We can take the troops and just donate it back to them so we can get the money for it at least. And then, I don't want to lose... Where are you? I don't want to lose the two-handed sword, so what we're gonna do is put this on our civilian loadout. We'll just leave it there. And last time I donated to this castle, it didn't give us anything. So let's go to Danustica. We have to sell gear anyway, so it's it's fine. And then we can't fight with troops, so we have to get rid of these guys first. So we are going to donate them. That'll give us three, three influence. It's not a lot, but it adds up. <clears throat> and then as far as gear goes... Yeah, I think we have everything we need here, so... Um, I don't... No, we don't have points... Yeah, we don't have points in smithing, so I don't want to start smelting stuff. Although we probably should soon. Uh, this, neither of these really make much difference. We'll take... Yeah, we'll take the Renown from tournaments in case we do a tournament. R renown is pointless to us now, though. Uh, the only reason to get higher Renown is so you can have a bigger party. Generally. So it doesn't make a difference now, because we can't have a party. Uh, what about... Yeah, we can get rid of a lot of this stuff, though. Yeah, we're not going to lead troops. And actually, if you're not going to lead troops, you don't want to put this on because it does increase your weight. I mean, it's only 0 0.2, but... You know, 0 0.2 is 0 0.2, I guess. Uh, what do we want to do here? Do we want to sell all of this stuff, is the question. So, there's a legendary Jagged Spear, but it's short. It's only 141. 168, the short Militia Spear is at 175. We still gotta keep it, even though it's a turd. Yeah, there's not much option there. Yeah, I think we just sell it. It's fine. Once we save up a bunch of money... Oh, you know what? We have a lot of money. We can actually buy... No, we can't buy a Noble Bow, but we're close. Yeah, we're very close. Oh. No big deal. We'll, we'll keep saving up money and making money. So, plan of action now. We are clan tier 2. We can chill for a little bit. The main goal now, before we do anything crazy, is we need to get... We need to get bow up to 250 or 275. We need to get throwing to 250. We need to get athletics at least to 225, although I would love to have it 275. And then we're going to have a good time. Length is going to be hard to sacrifice as a solo. Yeah, that's what she said. Although maybe maybe as a solo, length doesn't matter as much. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we we definitely want to have a longer pole arm. Let's see what they got here. Splint boots. We'll definitely take the splint boots. How do you increase your carrying weight to one hundred and fifty? It's because we have a pack animal. We we can only have one before we get overburdened. But we can have at least one, so. Oh, also, I think there's a perk in there that increases uh, pack animal carry capacity by 20%. That's probably why it's not. It's normally like 130 or something. Oh, these guys just got completely dumped on. Alright, let's take that so we don't lose our buddy. 
Okay, let's get on this. We don't want to be a peasant staying on foot. Oh, good block. Alright, this guy's yellow. We are red. We want to take all these guys out. <laughs> it's like such an anticlimactic sound. The guy's like coming in full speed. He's got the couch lance out and you just hear this little doink. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I wish we had a horse. I feel like we do a better job than these guys, but... Oh, we gotta kill one of these guys before we lose our buddy, because these guys are tough. Nice, we got it. Oh, that's our guy. We survived. What, what am I hitting my guy for? I do a jump shot here if we can. Let's get this guy. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we can get this horse. Alright, hit him with the handle. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, focus on him so we can beat him in the head. Now, what we want to do is we want to focus this guy's blocks and then attack this guy. But it worked. It was a worthy sacrifice. Now we got to do the, the real fight. These are actually tough now. Now that they changed the AI. Oh man, he's fast. He's fast. Oh, this is the noble. That's why. our shield here, which is fine. I actually prefer to fight without the shield anyways. Oh, he's tricking us out a little bit. And he's blocking everything. Oh, we got him. We just gotta do that six more times. Four more times. Oh no, I thought I missed that. He canceled his, but luckily my attack stopped him and forced him to block. Oh, just barely got it in time. All right. This is intense, man. Oh, I missed it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I blocked left for some stupid reason. <laughs> Hell of a fight, man. That was so close. Oh, I should have had him. I should have had him. Yeah, I knew. My, my brain just uh, went blank for a second there, and I blocked the wrong way. Uh, this is 1.2.4, whatever the most recent hotfix was for the, the beta branch. There was one that they released pretty recently. Actually, I'm going to take this time to stop my recording. And then start a new one, just so I can have... If it crashes, at least I'm not out that whole thing. And what are we, four hours in? That's not too bad. It looked difficult. It, yeah, I should have tried to do kicking and, and some other stuff, but I, uh, it's been tough. It, the kicks don't really work that well now. Intense duels and Bandalord. Yeah, like I said, they, they've made some good changes. I, I made a video a few, like, two months back or something, three months back, where I complained about the 1.2 patch and how they dumbed the AI down. And they, they really... <laughs> they're like, all right, you want it fixed? Here you go. And now it's like on point. Really, really, really good. Uh, th the problem is sometimes it's just not. 
like you saw already when we were fighting the the villages and some of the other things like the ai just does stupid things so it's it's not perfect but it's it definitely feels better for sure uh let's actually skip these i feel like oh, it's only got 36 though i think we can still do it in a reasonable amount of time and let's actually go straight for the melee Yeah, let's do that. That's fine. Early losses make for a better story, that's for sure. Yeah, kicked was nerfed heavily, for sure. You can't... That's why I was saying I, I didn't want to spend too much time trying to kick the guy. So... Blocking is Sid Meier's pirate dancing. Oh, we gotta get out. This is a bad spot. Here we go. We should be able to get in here. Oh, they have... Oh, they don't. Why do they have so many militia... Spearmen, but only a handful of archers. Interesting. Alright, there's one archer down. Go for the guy in the back. He's not going to get ready in time. Alright, we want to keep the spear wall away from the archers. And we want to come in from a weird angle here. Oh, this is going to be bad, actually. Yeah, I can't really do anything about that. I can do this, though. Yeah, that worked. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's try it again. All right, I'm going to cross. I'm going to come out the back side. Yeah, that works. Like I said, the, the big key here is just to always be moving in, like, curved. A curved linear, uh, non-linear fashion, I guess. I was behind on that one. Serpentine, serpentine, but like on mounted, mounted serpentine. I can't get two. I gotta try and get better at this so that I can do two in one swipe. Like here we go. I'm gonna try and line this up. Let's do. We can do two. I just didn't even do the right attack. <laughs> that was really stupid. Reset. Let's do it again. Oh, not that. Not that. No, this is not going to work. So, right, they only got three archers left. We should be in good shape now. I feel like you ride so fast. Yeah, so we have a pretty good horse. It's not the best, but it's like the top three, maybe. And then we also have 275 riding. So that makes a huge difference. So the writing skill is probably the... Actually, I don't know. It's a good question. Is it better to have 275 and a donkey? Or zero writing and a Vadar hot blood? That would be an interesting test. I kind of want to see what that does. But yeah, you, if you have both of them, you're, you're just going to be flying around the map. All right, let him get his last shot off. And may you rest in peace, my friend. All right, they don't have any... They don't have any rock throwers, so we're just gonna... We're gonna skillfully stab them in the face 500 times. Wait to get that perk where it double it doubles the damage for headshots. It's it's normally a waste because most of the time you want to use a swingable polearm, not a stab. But in this campaign, we don't need a swingable polearm because we already have two-handed axe to fulfill that role. And I want to have I want to build out for thrust damage. Oh, I got too close. But our armor is actually really good now, so these guys don't really do a whole lot of damage, especially if we're moving away. It, it takes the sting out of their out of their hit. Kind of like how our damage, our, our attack's not doing that much because we're, we're riding away from them. So we get like a negative relative movement speed. Sometime. Oh, wow. That was bad. Uh, but yeah, the, the perk that increases full arm damage by, I think, is double for a headshot. It's going to make a huge difference when you have thrust. It's like the only way to make full arms viable in this game for, for a thrust.
This is so stupid. I'm glad I found it though, because the other way was really grindy, man. The the previous campaign where I did the speed run and I had to do the ranged attacks or the the you know take out the whole village with range was so brutal, man. I think I spent 15 hours grinding up the clan tier three in like two months or whatever it was in game months. It took so long, my hand was sore for like a week. And this is, this is, I don't feel so bad about this because I've already, I feel like I put the time in. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not, not acceptable, man. You are fired. I gotta swerve in and out a little bit if they're gonna start doing that. All right, there we go. Yeah, swingable pull arms too good to pass, but for for what we're you'll see it'll it'll make sense. I I kind of have I, I have a plan for each stage that we're at in the game, and different stages require different weapon groups, so it, it'll make a lot more sense when when we get to that point. So we've got 146 in pull arm, which is pretty good. Uh, any upgrades? Not really. But we're also not overburdened, so it's fine. Actually... No, these are the short ones. Yeah, we, we need to go... I need to find a place on the map that gives good uh, pole arms early on. Should we give that horse some apples? Yeah, this horse is going to get overworked big time. It's going to be a good horse. But we will... We will sell the horse at some point. Our Ascarat. We will sell her at some point. Uh, we gotta put another point into control. And then... Yeah, we gotta get that, actually. We're gonna have writing maxed out really soon. That's that's coming up pretty quick. So our first point can go into smithing. That'll be good. At some point, we'll, we'll need to spend some time uh, grinding that out. So there's a lot of apples, yeah. Yeah, honestly... The horse is more important than, than the rider in this campaign, because none of this is possible on foot. Well, okay, I take that back. Some of it's possible on foot, but not a whole lot of it. Hey, they actually have decent money here. Oh, legendary arrows. Uh, it has five more arrows. Definitely keeping that, for sure. So we can get rid of some of these. Yeah, these guys got decent money. Better to sell sooner than later. They lose value in the drive. <laughs> when you drive them off a lot. That's true. Alright, that wasn't too bad. We'll take some of these. And actually, these are drained because we recently uh, raided them anyways. So they shouldn't be as bad. Now, this one's going to have a bunch of peasants. So maybe I should have... No, let's let's deal with the archers first, and then we'll switch loadouts. Yeah, here we go. So they're starting to take shots. We should be able to swoop in and take them out pretty easily. I'm just concerned. I yeah, I don't want to deal with these uh, these peasants. All right, there's one. We'll take a tight a turn. That's not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to do that. All right. So let's do wide turns and get better timing. Oh, that was bad. All right, I'm going to go for the guy in the back again. Let him get his shot off, and then we'll just come in. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, this horse. Can you imagine having a horse get stopped by a, a wicker basket on the floor? It just, like, completely stopped your horse in its tracks. Hey, Manuel, thank you, man. I appreciate it. What shield is that? Uh, this is the shield from the Asarai... I think it's the, the shield militia. So it's, it's just a basic shield from their militia. It's not anything fancy. Oh, nice. We got two hits on that. Actually, I think we can get another one. And this guy in the back. Oh, this is bad. Actually, that was a really bad idea. Yeah, that was not a good risk. All right, we can get this guy in the back for sure. 
And then those guys are kind of insulated. I don't want to mess with them. All right, here we go. Get your shot off, please. Thank you. All right, those two guys on the outside will kill, and then we'll probably let them come out a little bit more. Oh, what? How? Where did we get hit? Our leg. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. The leg is exposed. All right, well... I don't want to take a chance. Let's just abandon it. So we'll, we'll get some combat XP, but we're not going to get um, loot, and we're not going to get any renown or, or anything for it. That's unfortunate, but I made a mistake. So let's come back up here and see what's going on. Well, we should be able to get... Yeah, we might get 25 on this, uh, Medicine 25. That's going to make a huge difference. Bandit put his quiver down and sat on them. <laughs> Alright, what are we going to do here? Yeah, I don't think we need anything else. Uh, what about... No, we still don't have money. Yeah, we'd love to get this Noble Longbow, but we're going to need some serious cash for that. Alright, let's heal up to like 80 or so. And then we'll get back out there. That should be good. All right, these guys are actually ripe for the picking. Let's do that. Could you do a world conquest speedrun using the smithing method? Yes, uh, but no. Yeah, smithing method, but you can't. Um, you can't buy all the fiefs anymore. That 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 technique is gone. They patched it, so you can't buy everything. You could buy some fees, but you can't buy everything. So it would be smithing to get a bunch of money and then afford like a really OP army quickly. So that would definitely be doable. Yeah, I, I could do something like that. Uh, somebody asked if I could do yeah. like a no holds bar Mortal Conquest, just like as fast as you can. Maybe no exploits, but you know, no limitations on income or troop types or any of that stuff execution all that stuff so i could definitely do one of those i think i think it, it can be done pretty quick and then i guess the the only question then is is it going to be in-game time or irl time i i prefer the in-game time personally the irl time speed runs are i, I, I don't feel like they're as fun they're fun to watch, for sure. I, I like watching those guys that do it, and the girls that do it. They're very talented, but... I don't know, I'm getting old, man. I don't want to do this. <laughs> it's a super stressful campaign for, like, 30 hours. Can you imagine speedrunning this thing for 30 hours straight? That would be painful. Alright, shoot your load. Here we go. I would love to get... You know what I really want to do is, is make... I want to make a Falk's Blade that's one-handed, two-handed capable. So we can just go in there and dominate people with one hit, no matter where we hit them. Alright, there we go. Alright, they're getting stuck in there, aren't they? How many archers? There's a couple archers left still. So let's get them separated a little bit. We'll go back in. Congrats on 100k. Sorry, I gotta... I'll read that in a sec. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna make a big mistake if I do that. Oh, nice. Wait, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Here we go. Get this guy in the back again. Went work. That was a headshot, too. I must be hitting him on the, like, the absolute worst part of the swing. 69 damage. Yeah, our horse is doing okay, too. 10, 10 charge damage is pretty good. I, we'll get to the point where you tapping somebody is going to do, like, 30 damage. And then, like, a full-on hit will do 60 or 70 damage. But, uh, not quite there yet. 121, that's what I like to see. Do you guys get dizzy from watching this? Or am I keeping it steady enough? Because I, I actively try and make it so that the, the camera's not, like, whipping around. 
Because I, I get motion sickness pretty easily, actually. Oh, that guy died for... <laughs> Good girl, man. Our horse got a kill. Alright, I think that's all the archers. No, there's one more archer. Let's take him out, and then we'll go back, get our arrows, and then we'll deal with... Alright, got him. Get out of here. Alright, we can afford to change loadouts. Take out the... You mad, bro. <laughs> uh, so, uh, sorry. Kind of brother, channel's going fast. Respect the dedication and the quality. I appreciate that, man. Last time I watched you, we were like 16k. Yeah, that was like a year and a half ago. It's it's grown pretty fast. Pretty surprised at how, how quickly it went. Uh, I, I'm starting a different... I started a new channel. I'm starting to do a different type of content. I'll still do guides and stuff. But I, I want to do the heavily edited stuff too. I want to really give that a shot and see if it if it works. Because I really enjoy doing that too. And it'd be good to get a little variety rather than just doing guides 24-7. Alright, we're not going to get good shots here. Which is unfortunate because it means this channel is going to suffer. Like, it, it's, it's barely grown in the last month or two months because I haven't been putting videos out. But it is what it is. That's how business works, I guess. Alright, let's see if we can get a better angle, because they're all behind shields. How many do we have? 12 peasants? Yeah, I definitely don't want to deal with 12 peasants. Alright, let's give them a nice long runway, and then hopefully we can get some shots on them. Too impatient here. Let's. <laughs> That's what you get for peeking, man. You peek, you die. Oh, nice. I was gonna say we're gonna get the invisible wall here. Alright, we got the barrel though. I think that's it, right? Two peasants? We can deal with two peasants. Oh, I see you. Oh, that's not gonna work. Uh, where are they? Oh, gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh man, that's so annoying. Did that whole thing, and this guy just snuck a rock in from that. Nope. He's able to throw out, but I can't shoot in. Lovely. Alright, one more, and then we'll go get our spear. Yeah, then we're done. There we go. You peek, you lose. Yeah, exactly. Reminds me of uh, Tarkov. Come and get some, boys. This guy's out of here. And I, I want to get back to doing the um, the hideouts. Just a mouthful of spear. Look how bloody some of these guys are, man. That's great. 
blood splashing on everybody. Don't know that I would continue in this fear wall if I kept doing this, but... What do I know? You play Tarkov? Yeah, I played it a lot, actually. I probably got a couple thousand hours in it. I haven't played it much since, like, 2019 or 2020. I played it for maybe two years or whatever, and then the, the hacking issues just really killed the fun for me, so I stopped playing. I've got back into it for, like, maybe 10 or 20 hours a couple different times, but yeah, I haven't really played it seriously since the beginning. Which sucks, because they added a lot of stuff to it, it looks like, but... Imagine that poking motion IRL. Yeah. Yeah, your your one arm would be huge. Alright, large bag of arrows. Actually, that's pretty good. Now, we don't want two sumpters because we're going to get overburdened. Let's go ahead and save this large bag as well. So we've got two bags of 32. Nice. We don't need as many arrows here then. And that gives us polearm. Nice. This is the one that I wanted. Yeah, guard. So 50% damage when you hit an enemy in the head with a polearm. It's really important. Uh, couch Lance, probably not going to use a whole lot of it. It's it's just too dangerous. It's too dangerous to use when you're solo. You know, if you've got a big army and you go down and it doesn't really matter because the game will go on, then that's fine. Uh, how long does it take until you can actually enjoy CK3? Uh, Ducky, I would say probably somewhere in the like 30 to 40. 40 hour range maybe maybe less yeah maybe 20 to 20 to 30 yeah i i know exactly what you mean i know exactly what you mean because i i was kind of like that in the beginning I, I played it for maybe five hours you know played with the the tutorial and, and messed around with it it just wasn't that fun because they're just i had no clue what i was doing and then i stuck with it and eventually it was it was actually a lot of fun uh, what are we doing? Peace with Aserai, I don't care. New owner. Oh, Temna. Actually, we don't really... Yeah, they're going to probably try and give us a fief, which we don't really need or want, but we'll take it if they give it to us. I... Uh, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and switch our loadout here. So that gives us like 90, yeah, 91 arrows. That's a lot, considering we don't even have the perk. Oh, I gotta hit that. I was gonna say, we're gonna play chicken with this guy. Cancel Lance perk would be a lot better for 60 to 80 percent as it would maybe lethal damage sometimes instead of guaranteed damage. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, Warson, what's up, man? Ball break, nice. Hope you have, hopefully you have a good, uh, good break. The paradox game conundrum. Yeah, you you almost have to go into it knowing that it's gonna suck for you know 20, 30 hours. And for me, it's easy to do because this is kind of what I do for a living now. Hello. But if I were to do that back when I was working, you know, 12 to 14 hours a day, I, I probably wouldn't have done it, to be honest. I, I would need something where I, I can just jump in, have fun, and then, and then you know, go do chores or whatever because I got to go work soon. So I, I get it. Yeah, it just kind of depends on your the time you can commit to it. This guy's making some pretty serious mistake. Oh, that was my mistake, though. Why did I do that? Alright, thank you. Alright, thanks for lining up, boys. 225 we got it so now we can take uh we can take the perk oh that's interesting too short though 52 length this would be okay on foot but mounted it's not gonna work 
Yeah, we're going to take the perk where we can use any bow on mount, because uh, we want it. So normally I would just say use the noble bow, it's fine. But in this campaign, we need to do as much damage on every shot that we have every time. Like there's no, there, there's no debate on that. It has to happen. So the noble longbow is, is going to be your requirement because it just does so much more damage. It doesn't do so much more damage, but it does more damage. So like if, if we hit somebody and they have five hit points uh, left with a noble bow, that's, that's bad. It's really bad. Uh, how do you fight huge battles? We're going to get there soon. Uh, difficulties on Bannerlord. Bannerlord with death enabled. All the... all the. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I gotta get lucky here. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. I gotta focus here. Hold on. Let me get rid of the danger stuff and then we can chat. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Two shots. Alright, so now we can uh, chat. So, the, yeah, Bannerlord setting. Death enabled. Uh, rules are in the description, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I went over the the settings and stuff in the very beginning, so if you want to go back to the very beginning of the, the stream, it should, it's, like, the first, like, two minutes. So it's not like you have to search for it. It should be right there in the front. But, uh, yeah, all the stuff's there. there. There's a couple mods for quality of life, but there's not really any, any big mods active. <clears throat> All right, let's get rid of a lot of our food because we're not going to need it and it's not going to really pay us much. Also, saddles are incredibly heavy. This one saddle weighs 22, so that just takes up so much space. Same thing with shields. They're pretty heavy usually, but these are kind of expensive, so we'll keep those. Jacket spear is just not long enough. Masterwork militia, nice. All right, where is that hideout? There's a hideout around here somewhere. We don't have a good uh, scouting skill, unfortunately, so it's going to be hard to spot, but... It, oh, there it is. All right, so we found it. Stop right. Hey, Max Blue, what's up, man? Uh, I think you can have up to five parties in a clan. Yeah, if you have the right... Oh, here, I did it again. I'm not paying attention. If you have uh, the right perks, you can have an extra party. It's a leadership perk. It gives you an extra party. I think it's the 250 perk. Yeah. We're gonna get stabbed, we're gonna get stabbed. Don't do it, don't do it. Mercy, please, mercy. Man, that horse is a tank. All right, there you go. Get out of here. Suck it, big boy. All right, we got five weaklings to take care of, and we're good. I mean, I don't know about you. I know it's boring to watch this, but it is pretty satisfying. <laughs> it's like that that subreddit, uh, oddly satisfying. This would definitely make it for me. This would make it on there when you like kill people really quickly. On 3x speed. Uh, let's take the armor at least. I don't think we need anything else. Actually, the Jagged Spear doesn't weigh that much. And we got... Oh, nice. So we got a level. That'll put it into smithing. So we got two points. We already have nine endurance. So even, even though we only have two focus points, our learning rate is really high. Just because we have such high um, endurance. Aim hacks, yeah. <laughs> Aim hacks, man. That's that's close to 5,000 hours hack. <laughs> uh, we want to fight this before like we go in because we got nothing else to do anyways. Uh, what do we got here? We got three Harami. Okay. So we got to deal... We got to be a little bit careful here. All right, let's get our aim hack engaged here so we can actually hit something. Yep. That's definitely aim hacks. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Alright, we're hacking, boys. We're hacking. Oh, no, he's going to get the horse. He's going to get on that horse. No, he's not. Why didn't he get on the horse? Oh, and then I missed a shot like that. Alright, now the Harami are red of ammo, so we should be able to... Let's let's get all of them out of ammo so I don't have to worry about it. 
Okay, 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 okay. You guys are fast. Yeah, they're really fast. And then we'll turn. Actually, let's get away from the spear wall. Turn, put on the brakes. Nope, they're still on me. There we go. Now we can get... Oh, that's not good. He's going to pull out his gigantic spear. Or, uh, sword. I'm going to try and hit him in the legs. Yeah, there we go. Leg shot. Oh, nice. We got him in the leg because his shield will block everything. So I got to aim for the leg. And this guy's going to bulldoze us. Let's get out of the way. Toro, I feel like I'm doing bullfighting. Take some uh, anger out on these poor guys. Oh, I don't want to deal with that. All right, you know what? I might actually just take their horse out. Or not. Oh, that was a leg shot. There we go. Take the horse out so I don't have to worry about it. And then we'll just bait him into attacking. Play chicken with him. Oh, t tippy toe. Look at that. It's like, literally on his big toe. I guess the, ch the key is to, like, literally aim at the bottom of his feet, and then it'll hit him. Alright, oddly satisfying point. Well, it's not satisfying when I miss a bunch. It's like dogfighting. Exactly. It, it really is. It feels like it, too. All right, now we just got to hit him in the toe. Well, that was actually a lot easier. Yeah, let's do it. Why do people like Warband more? I don't know that people like Warband. I know there are some people that do, but there's a lot of people that do like Bannerlord as well, so. 5.1. Oh, nice. Is that, that might be an upgrade for us. Oh, for sure. Leg and arm armor is massively better. Big time. We look like a... Uh, like, if you cover the face, we look like a 90-year-old lady, though. Like, everything's kind of sagging down and frumpy. It's not very flattering, but, you know, the, pr the protection's there. So I guess that's what matters. <laughs> oh, let's free up some space here. We don't need all that food. For the unchanged mechanics of the game, plans work a bit differently. Trading is different, among other things. Yeah, I haven't played it either. I do plan on getting into it. I want to do a World Conquest attempt on my first time playing it. Like, literally install and then go right into a World Conquest just to see if I can do it. Because I'm curious to see how many of the skills carry over. I suspect probably not that many of them, but yeah. Stats overlooks. I agree, man. I'm the, uh, I am the exact same way. Alright, this one I always pass people up, so I'm going to try and not do that this time. Alright, headshot only, please. And we do need to find a weapon, so let's go ahead and drop. Let's drop our 27, we'll refill what we got. And... Yeah, I think I'll take the mace, it's fine. Yeah, like I said, I don't want to have to come back here, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. I don't know where they all spawn. Ooh, that was a whiff. Don't exactly know where they all spawn, so... I've, I've had it before where I missed somebody and I had to go all the way back and it's just a kind of a mess. It's when you have troops, it's easy because you just give them the, the the charge command and then they they like auto heat seek. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. No big deal. All right, let's just make sure there's nobody up here. There's five left. Actually, five seems reasonable. There's there's usually like two or three in the main. One here by the gate. 
Shoot him in the head. Oh, there's a guy right there. Wow. How did you not hear me, man? You must be deaf. Or your ears are covered by your head, by your uh, helmet. Didn't see him either. One left, and he's probably back here. No, did I miss him? Oh, he's right there. Okay, good. <laughs> Man, that was going to be so annoying. Actually, I'm going to try and take a shot at this guy, but he does have a shield, so it's probably not going to work. A full guide on how to use companions, the best way to build them. So I did a series of guides, actually. If you look on the channel, there's a playlist for companions. How to level them up, what you. skills to take. Ah, uh, it didn't work. I tried to get a shot on him. Oh no, I tried to give a bash. Alright, no fancy stuff, let's just beat him down. Back him into the corner and just beat him mercilessly. I don't know if I can get two hits for every one hit that he does. I'm gonna try it. Nope, I cannot. And that was bad, that almost cost me. Yeah, see, even with the kick, it's, he still blocks it. Crazy, man. Like, they're really hard to pull off. It's kind of sad that they nerfed him that bad. I know there's a perk. There's a perk that we'll end up taking soon. And it doubles the stun duration. So maybe that was their plan, is they you need to have the perk to make it useful. I don't know. And we took some damage on this one. I was expecting a, a flawless run, but... That's unfortunate. Got him. There we go. All right. Uh, this one definitely deserves a little bit of this. Although we don't have a tea bag to administer for him, but that's all right. I don't know what the equivalent is for females, but we just did that to him. Uh, we got eight athletics levels and only two one-handed. What? Oh, because we didn't use it till the end. I guess that makes sense. That's fine. A question. With all the perks, how old can your your character get before they die? Yeah, if you take the two perks in medicine that prevent death rolls, it, it's still RNG, so I can't just throw a number out and have it accurate. It, it's it's going to depend on a little bit of luck. But, yeah, you you could probably survive up until you're... 80s 90s reliably probably 80s is pretty night reliably muff dropping yeah <laughs> that's probably what it is um i've had it where i've survived up into the 90s before though so and i've heard some people do hundreds so i don't know the clan slayer <laughs> oh man we're gonna get demonetized all right here we go let's Let's not make any stupid mistakes here. Alright, my auto aim's off here. What's going on? There we go. Guy off. Oh, right in the. I don't know if that was a leg or the butt. Oh, wow. I'm on point right now. That's not normal. I usually don't hit that many in a row. The, the tricky thing is when we get a new bow, we're going to have to relearn that whole, you know, where to aim, the aim points. So that's all right. Trying to get the achievement for becoming a great grandparent. Yeah, definitely go medicine, go high intelligence. So ten focus, uh, ten uh, attribute into intelligence, five focus into uh, medicine, and get those two perks for sure. Get those, and then you should be okay. Have kids as early as you can, and and you should be you should be able to do it. It's gonna take a long time though, man. That is a long campaign. All right, what do we need to get rid of here? 
go. Let's let's go stop off at a town or a, a village. I mean, yeah, unlikely we'll be able to sneak into anywhere, but we can definitely uh, we can drop some product off. Dog she horn. No, our horse is really good. It's gonna be hard to find a replacement for our our horse that we're using. We actually have a lot of loot. We need to go to a couple towns to sell stuff. Uh, if don't enable death, can your character still die of old age? No. No, if you turn... Yeah, once you turn death off, you, you can't have kids, but you also can't die of old age. And you can't die from combat, I believe. Man, we actually have a lot of loot. I'm surprised how much we have. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to buy the bow, although I'm thinking maybe it makes sense just to save up. Skip the, Yo, the noble bow stop. and just go for noble longbow. Kind of my thought process right now. Alright, let's turn our aimbot back on. <laughs> yeah, we are definitely aimbotting these guys. Alright, seems like if I pull it, I kind of get that right... Like a feel for it rather than where to aim. Whoa, that was a long throw. There we go, headshot. All right, here he comes. <laughs> that horse did a weird little twist. Actually, can I hit him in the leg? I'm gonna try and hit him in the leg. There we go. Oh, come on. That was a horse hit, or that was a shield hit. <laughs> that was so far off. Alright, I don't want these guys to run over their their javelins to pick him up, but that's probably what he's going to do. Maybe? No, he actually didn't. Alright, that's fine. Let's just simplify life here. Let's get rid of these guys. Hey, Mars, thank you so much for the donation, man. I appreciate that. Three, I don't I don't have any clue what symbol that is, man. What, what, uh, what currency is that? I've, I have never seen that before. There's one down. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, I've never seen that symbol. What do we got here? Nope. Shekels. All right. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Wait, is it, are you memeing or is that legit? <laughs> Literal shekels. Okay, got it. Interesting. Oh, we already sold to this guy. We need to go up here. Decided to make peace. Oh no, we can't attack these guys anymore. Well, we got to deal with the bandits now. Oh, they gave us they gave us a castle. That thing's a dump, but I guess it's better than nothing. King Tumit, thank you so much for the two dollar donation. How many times have you been captured so far? I think it's either two or three. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, more more than one for sure. <laughs> and the vast majority of the time, it's like for the stupidest reasons. Like I'm I'm clicked the wrong way, or I don't know. Yeah, it's mostly just been stupid things. Let's take these guys out along the way. And then we'll go back up to our castle and, and make sure that's uh, doing what we needed to do. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, man. 
Our aimbot is failing us right now. There you go. Alright, that's that. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh no, 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 juke the other way. This guy's fast. Yeah, these guys have uh, the equivalent of the Astrai horse. I don't remember what, what, it, what they have now, but it's extremely fast. Yeah, these guys are no joke. Oh, we need to take this horse out. That's three, four hits. There we go. Four hits and he's down. And let's get off the hill so we can do it normally. I'm telling you, man. Oddly satisfying. At least for a banner lord player. There we go. Now we just gotta take this guy's ankles out. Uh, what's the chance of death when falling in battle? It's somewhere around 2%. If you have really good gear on and you have a higher level and you're younger, it's less. If you're older and you have crappy gear or no gear and you're a lower level, I believe the risk is higher. It also depends on medicine skill. And since our medicine skill is pretty much, you know, zero. I, we're, we're almost at level 25 medicine, but it's, it's not going to make that much of a difference. Wow. All right, his left, I was going to say his right toe is pretty beat up now. Is it smart to capture lords after a large battle? It depends on what your goal is. Yeah, you, you can make an argument for both. So if you're trying to build relations with them, definitely capture or uh, let them go. If you want to build relations with your own people, capture them and then donate them to somebody's garrison. Ooh, what do we have here? This one's two-handed. One-handed, two-handed. This might actually be a good spear because it's 179, so it's slightly bigger, but it has a lot more damage. 179 compared to, I think we're at like 27, 24. So it's that's a massive difference. All right, that, we're definitely taking that. Get rid of these things. I uh, married Riga's daughter and planned to announce the kingdom with my son as sole rightful heir, and she died. She's currently 96. What the heck? <laughs> oh, man. That's, uh, yeah. That's a feels bad, man. All right, let's sell some stuff. Oh, yeah, let's let's not sell this and then we can let go of this short militia spirit. Yeah, this is going to be a, and it's masterwork, so it's actually pretty legit. Uh, you actually, you do get charm by donating them as well, because you, you raise relations with whoever you're donating it to. So it depends on who you need the relations game with, and if you want to take the risk that they'll escape on the way to whatever place you are, you're going to, to, to donate them. Uh, donating them, you get, uh, you get influence. So you do get a little bit more by holding on to them Stop and that. then donating them. But it just depends on what you're trying to do. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say that one way is better than the other. Alright, headshot. Uh, we're gonna play chicken with this guy. Uh, kind of. Oh, wow. He just domed our horse. Look at our horse has a... Uh, we have a unicorn now. <laughs> How dare you. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, let's not play with this guy. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't take too kindly to our words. One more hit. Come on. There we go. All right, we're good. That was scary, man. We should have probably died there, but he must have hit our heavily armored part, like our core, instead of our arm or our head. Woo. That was, that was pretty scary. Uh, they fixed it, so the child's 
race is now random, Keegan. It used to be that way, you're right, but they fixed it. Yeah, so now the, the child can be either either or. Uh, let's take everything except for the horse. We've got room. And we are pretty badly injured now, so let's not get caught. We can sell some stuff. Actually, it doesn't really matter. We can't fight on the way back anyway since we have to heal. Let's just get back there. Or we can do this. Yeah, I think that's all we need to do. We still have a simple short bow. That's crazy. Yeah, we, we definitely need to get a better bow and arrow. This is kind of a long time coming. And this is our castle. Look at that. Get out of here. So no garrison because we don't want to pay for them. We'll just make a little bit of money. Whatever money we can from this and then it is what it is. I'll turn everything off, put festival and games on so it's loyalty is not like zero. If your loyalty is very low, you're going to get no money out of it. So you just boost your loyalty up and then you'll you'll start making some money out of it. It just means <laughs> you have weak seed. <laughs> it's a funny way to put it. All right, let's heal up a little bit. That's probably more than enough. Now, we are making some decent gold from this. So we got tribute income. We got 576 gold. I, I actually really like castles. I don't like keeping them as uh, on the front line necessarily because they're easy to lose. But if you just dump the garrison, you can actually make pretty good money from a castle. I mean, this is a really bad castle. It's only got 400 prosperity and it's still making, you know, almost 700 a day. It's, it's I mean, you can't get anywhere near that with the. Uh... Oh, what am I doing? I was going to sell stuff. Let's go up to the town. E even a um, a workshop, you're not going to make that much money. So, did we, we already sold this, but we can buy a bow if we want to do another bow. Or do we just save? That is a tough one, man. I think we just save. You know what we could do? Also, we need to do this. We need to get some levels. Alright, and we have that perk that increases the regen of our stamina by quite a bit. That's not enough to do anything with it, so we're just gonna... We'll sell the charcoal back to them. We just want to get the XP from it. That's fine. Hey, we got it. Level 25 medicine. So five hit points. More importantly, the 30% recovery after each battle. That's going to be key. And that should help quite a bit. And have an extra hit points. So we've got another 12 hit points. It all adds up. Hey, uh, Doig. Thank you for showing up, man. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Uh, what's the plan? How we conquer the kingdoms? How we get all these castles? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it as a, as a surprise. The, the, full, the ultimate plan. It'll unfold this as we go. Yeah, I don't want to give anything away because this is this is going to be a fun campaign. And um, I'm going to try and live stream a lot of it. And then if I can, it'll get put up on the Let's Play channel in a more condensed version. Now, one thing, what do we have to do now? So priority, we need to still level up Bo a little bit more. We need to make a little bit more money so we can get the we can buy the, the noble longbow. We also need to start working on smithing. So that's probably not a bad idea. Let's go town to town, fight people, uh, bandits along the way. I don't know if we need to do any more tournaments. I guess we could if we can find some boots and some hand coverings. Uh, arm armor. I don't know why I call it that. It, also, we need some armor for our mount. So let's just at least see what the prize is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Long Themyscene steel-tipped spear. That's a good one. Some sneaky, sneaky stuff incoming. Yeah, it's going to be a mix of stuff. It's not going to be any, like, one strategy. For sure, it'll be a, a mix of stuff. Oh, okay. Let's help our buddy out here. No, you killed my buddy. 
Uh, our attack speed's getting to that point where we can just spam, and there's not much they can do about it. <laughs> We're just mowing people down. Who needs to block? Oh, this guy's too fast, though. Oh, that was... I thought they were trying to help me. Oh, that's not what I wanted to have happen. I got too greedy. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, I forgot what color we were, but we're still in it. It's 2v2 across the board. So we might still have a chance. I really want that spear. Man, look at that. 1v1. I don't know what color we are, but I hope we're in it. Oh, I know we're in it, but I hope we get to the end. All right, this is going to take a while, man. Yeah, once it's cav versus cav on the end, they're just going to circle each other. It's not as bad as it used to be, but it's pretty bad still. <laughs> they're just, like, running into the walls. Like, if, if you saw this in real life, you'd, you'd probably think the person was drunk. Uh, green. Okay, so we're still in it. Asteroid veteran infantry. Oh, he's chasing. Get him. It's going to be tough taking that noble out, though. Patir. Oh, he got it. Yeah, we're in it. Nice. We made it. One of the few times I'm proud of the AI. Wait, are we getting... This guy's... We're getting... We're getting it from two angles. Well, I hope that guy kills you since you spent your whole time throwing at us. Alright, we gotta hit this guy in the ankles. Nope. Okay. That was definitely not his... <laughs> that was definitely not aimed at his foot. Or at his shield, but... Gotta love it. Alright, I'm gonna try and hold the attack a little longer, see if we can get him to attack. Got him. Got him, there we go. Alright, so our attack speed's fast enough, I think we can do it. Plus, that sword is really long, so the AI has kind of a hard time uh, timing it. We have a little more time to react. I nailed that horse. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, that horse is toast. Nothing fancy on this one since we already hit him once. <laughs> oh, that looks so painful. Oh, did we run out? Wow. Alright, there we go. Yeah, the veteran infantry took out the Ferris on horseback. That tells you something about the Ferris, right? So we did get a nice spear. Uh, hopefully this thing's... Uh, you know, nice and long. Exactly what Galadriel likes. <laughs> oh, it's not as good though. 188, it's slightly longer. But a decent amount less in damage. I don't know if it's worth it. We'll hang on to it. It's not that heavy. We can just smelt it, I guess. Have any hardwood? No hardwood. Right, let's keep moving. In the face. And that should give us some throwing. We're gonna go... Shield Breaker is actually really nice to have early on, and then once we get Impale, we'll switch off of it, but... I probably won't remember, so let's just go quick draw. I'll forget. I already know I will. All right, let's go town to town, and then if we run into people, we'll just fight. We do need to find uh, some hideouts to fight. We could, you know, this thing's only four grand. This could be a nice stopgap because it's similar accuracy, but a lot more damage. Speed's about the same. And it's only going to cost us 3600 I think we'll do that. That's fine. I, I want to get something new. That thing is just... That's the original bow. Not the one we started with, but that's the very first one we bought from the very beginning of the game. Kind of a turd. Oh, beautiful. 
gladly take that. Now, question is, before we go in, is it worth it? Yeah, let's get to 250 at least. And that will give us the plus 25 aiming speed with bow, and then we'll switch off of it and start working on throwing. I think that's the plan. He's not in his final form. Hey, Mars, what's up, man? Yeah, that's true. He's not final form. He did get he did get rocked by a foot troop though. <laughs> Ooh yeah. This thing shoots nice. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. And that guy didn't have a weapon out yet. Alright, I do like this guy's sword, but it, the attack speed's too slow. We're, the guy's just, they're just gonna block it, so let's go for something else. Get that little mace that they have. Oh, that was a bad shot. Alright, I did see a mace here, so let's drop our regular arrows. Not that we need it, but we'll refill just in case, and we'll take, take the mace. Uh, forget to set the auto recruitment of the castle off. If you so, yeah, that's a good point. But if you drain the garrison, if there's zero people in there, it will not fill no matter what you do. Even if you want it to, you have to have at least one person in there. Otherwise, it will not recruit. It's it's kind of like um. Like a auto, I, I don't know. There's if it's zero, it just does not fill back up. But yeah, that's a good point. If you want it to stay, you know, small or or not recruit back up, then yeah, you definitely need to turn that off. Uh, there's probably somebody right here. Okay, slow it down a little bit. This thing, that's what I was talking about earlier, it's going to be an adjustment, because this thing shoots a little bit higher. Slower and higher. But, no big deal. Alright, we will take a shot at this guy, and if not, then we'll we'll go after him with the, the mace. Making me want to re-download the game. <laughs> What's up, Mind? Mind of Mitch. You. Ooh, there we go. That's a good start. We only have to hit this guy like once, maybe. What in the world? I definitely blocked. I I think maybe the the hitbox for this thing is not quite what the visual one is, because that that felt a little off, but we got it done anyways. Nine oh nice, so we hit two hundred Athletics. We're really close to getting the um Oh, is my brain going blank? The attribute points. That's that's the main thing we're going for here is the attribute points. So yeah, control. So we can get Normally I would recommend Vigor because you get the the party speed on foot, but it doesn't matter. We move at seven movement speed anyways. It, it's not really relevant. Uh, another point into smithing, so we're doing pretty good. We are not even a full year in. I mean, this is slower than what I've done before, but I have to do it differently because I need to spread out the skill points. I need, at the very minimum, bow needs to be high, throwing needs to be high, athletics, and then the melee skill is not as important, but it, it'll be nice to have them up there. <laughs> Aim hacks on. Yeah. Alright, let's keep visiting. Uh, towns and stuff. Actually, was there something I was supposed to keep here? I don't think so. Oh yeah, I was going to get rid of this thing. No, actually I was going to keep it and smelt it. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, Karahan. That one's pretty good too. But it's it's not as fast as the Askarat. I think this is this is like the equivalent of the Asari horse, the old one. It's really good. Are you running enemy mods? Yeah, just a couple. They're in the description. The main one, RTS camera for the speeding up in battle, in-game battle. 
and then better time to speed the campaign map up a bit. But aside from that, not ri there's nothing on here that's going to change the, the gameplay or, or give like a, a boost or bonus or anything. I don't really want to do this. This is kind of a waste of time. Not for the axe. If they had a better prize, then for sure, but not for that. Still right. Is this a world conquest, but you are by yourself? Well, in 100% funny weapon, that's exactly what it is. So, no no units allowed. I mean, I'm not allowed to control anybody in battle. I can't use them to... Okay, ouch. Now, we already have our level 25 perk in medicine, so I don't really need to, to do that anymore. Uh, but yeah, it's... it's I'm trying to rely on just the main character to try and get the world conquest done. It should be possible. Theoretically, it is. I've done it in my testing, but, you know, with using console commands, and it's just, it's like a string of very unlikely events that have to happen in order for it to work perfectly, but I think it's worth a try. Really? Would he hit my toe? Yeah, he hit my leg. Come on. You blunt my leg, how dare you. Alright, so Bo is almost there. Almost there. Then we need to switch over to um, throwing weapons. That's going to be the next one, I think. Stewie Griffin win condition. All right, uh, we need to go to Oscar. This is the part of the campaign that slows down, and I just... I couldn't really find a good way to, around it, other than finding bandits and um, the bandit hideouts. So it's kind of uh, up until the point where there's another war declared, it's going to be kind of rough. But that's all right. Uh, fast forward mod is RTS camera. And then the campaign map fast forward is better time. So I have two mods. All right, so that we're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty close. We need 70, like 71 or 72K for the noble longbow. Uh, Conquest, yes, Adam, correct. It's in Sandbox. Uh, Conquest or Sandbox, sorry, yeah, it's in Sandbox, not not the campaign mode. I don't think there's anything... It, there's nothing here that we really want to buy. Oh, stacked bodkin. Tempting. But I'd rather... Yeah, we definitely want to have the other ones first. Also need to start looking at buying some javelins. That would probably be a good idea soon. Ooh. Man, we were right on top of that thing and didn't discover it. What the heck? Uh, hot. I totally whiffed that shot, didn't I? Completely whiffed it. Alright, we're doing good now. Yeah, this thing is shredding people, man. I can't... When we get the Noble Longbow, it's gonna be ten times better. Because this is still a pretty low-end um, bow. It's only 5,000 dinars, so... Best and most efficient way to raise leadership? That would definitely be leading a big army. Yeah, just call as many people in as you can, and um, that'll, that'll grow you the, the fastest. If you don't have access to an army, you're going to have to... Re you get XP for recruiting people. You get XP for your troops getting killed. Non-bandit troops getting kills. So there's there's several ways to do it. Um, yeah, tro troops getting kills is pretty nice now. That's, that's a nice addition. We can do this on speed 3, I think. Okay, I'm missing. There we go. Man, look at that. They got like a little convention here. Holy crap. Four? Never seen four people in this little intersection before. This must be one of the original uh, hideouts from the beginning of the game that just kept getting built up. Like, every time they capture peasants and bring them back, I think 
they um, they can convert them into more units or something. Something like that happens. I, I don't know exactly, but... It's like the longer they're alive, the, um, the more troops they'll have in here. So that's good. Avoid having to go all the way up there, because we're lazy. There you are. Uh, does it give you XP? You, I, Mars, it does not count as an army, but yeah, if you have 400 men in your party, and those 400 troops get kills, you'll get XP for them getting kills, but not for them being in the party. Yeah, you have to have an army to get... Ooh, baited him. Actually, I could do that. It's kind of scary. I tried to attack twice. I don't, we don't have the attack speed yet. Back you into the corner. Oh, he's hitting. <laughs> he's hitting the the wall in the map. Kind of scary because I can't tell which attacks are going to go through and which aren't. But I guess it doesn't matter. Nice. And that puts us at 249. So close, man. Uh, but we did get 125 one-handed, so that helps. Actually, we're going to need to go heal. Let's just take prisoners and sell them. And one-handed, this gives us the larger protection area, which is pretty nice to have. Now we get a force field around our shield. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape here. There's nothing we need to change. Oh, they do have some hardwood. Let's actually deal with that. And then I wanted to smelt. Yeah, I wanted to smelt one of these down. I think it was the Thamaskeen tip. Yeah, this one. And let's not sell our steel or iron. We can sell the other stuff. It's fine. Yeah, that's going to be heavy. Uh, still remembering doing a Bandit Lord... Uh, yeah, Bandit Lord run. That's It's really fun, but... Um, yeah, you're right. It is grindy in the beginning, huh? That is true. All right, let's keep moving. We do have that perk where we gain HP after every, every successful battle. So even if we're low on HP, we can just um, pick on some looters to heal. So we can keep this thing rolling. Oh, wow. What is Batania doing down here? I guess because they have Thraktorae, but that is a very uh, isolated army. Interesting. Well, they're about to end this siege. There we go. Oh, they <laughs> they canceled their siege and then reinitiated it. They're about to get stomped right here, I think. Yeah, let me go in your town. I gotta wait. And then, yeah, I don't want to mess with any of that. That's fine. You know what we could do is we could go up to Batania. Oh, here we go. Oh, no Bretonia. That's fine. You like playing a Scorch Earth Warlord style? Yeah, the companions complain. That's true. Halt! You want to tell me who oh, you are? Oh, okay. Or shall we just have at it? Apparently, we're at war with the minor faction. I did not know that. It's mostly infantry and only one range unit. The cavalry are going to be the issue, but I think we can pull this off. Can you use the glaive in these types of runs? Yes, absolutely. Can you use glaives. I I don't have one yet, and I don't know that I'll use one just. Um, I've got some plans. I may use it. I'm not sure, but I I, I kind of have a list of weapons that I want to use. Uh, we'll try this one. This might be a tough one. Actually, it's probably good. 
I'll probably end up using this in the video, so let me create a save file so that I'm not, uh, I can get back to it as well. Let me save my recording, and I'm going to do a new one in case it crashes again. All right, we're good. So the kind of cav make a big difference too. It's Equite, Heavy Horseman, and one Cataphract. So it's actually not too bad. I, I think this is this is actually a very good battle for us. I feel pretty confident about it. The question is, do we want to start off with bow? And I'm not sure. Yeah, I think we do. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I lost my chat here. One sec. There we go. How long has the run been going for? We are five hours, 25 minutes in. So not too bad. So what we're going to do is let's draw these guys out. We got to try and pick on them when they're uh, not clumped up like this. Like this is going to be a, a nightmare. And also look, they didn't used to do this. Not from that range anyways. So, oh, actually the cataphract doesn't have a shield out because he's got his two-handed weapon. So it's going to be pretty easy to pick on him. Oh, no, he put a shield out now. That's unfortunate. Oh, he's fast. Wow, he's actually really fast. Oh, one shot to a cataphract. Love it. All right, let's not run into trees. That's not a good idea. Oh, they're fast. Okay, we need to do something here. I have an idea. This is actually the right map. All right. <laughs> Oh, don't tell me I don't tell me I didn't warn you. We we're gonna do some funky stuff. All right, ring the dinner bell. Come get some, boys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there they go. Oh man, that's so funny. Let's go look. Oh, this guy survived. What the heck? He's got like bones of jello. He just like turned into a blob on the floor. <laughs> oh man. You know what's coming? Yeah, Apple, you must have seen that one guide I did a while back. <laughs> These guys weren't going fast enough though, so they didn't have like a big charge. Alright, keep going. There goes one more. Oh, he didn't die though. I heard him. All right, let's just take out their horse. I think there's only a few of them and they're not very well armored, so we should be able to get away with this. Gumby, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just like flopped into a blob on the floor and uh, came back. All right, let's not... Oh, there he is. Yeah, that... Oh, there's three of them. Three of them went over the edge and didn't die. Oh, we might get stabbed. All right, we got... We got our, uh, we got our jukes going here. I'm breaking ankles. Oh, their single archer is at us. <laughs> Alright, we'll take him out soon too, but let's uh, let's deal with the cab. Oh, the one problem I don't want to do, I don't want to mix the cab up for the foot troops. Yeah, I don't want the foot troops to get mixed up in that big cab mount, uh, mod. So, let's try and take them out. Take out that archer too. Just shy. He keeps moving. Nah, it's kind of hard to get a shot on him. Yeah, now these cav are kind of mixed in there. That's what I didn't really want to have happen, because now I need to figure out which ones to kill. Because when I respawn in, they're going to get horses again. Not ideal. We'll definitely take out the Manavli time because those guys are nasty. There we go. Alright, let's actually go back because I think some of the cav are lagging in the back. Gotta deal with this archer too. Get out of here, punk.
Yeah, maybe shooting them off the horse was a bad idea. I can't tell who's who. I think it's these guys. Their shield's a little different. Oh, no, not really. Or is it the guy with the, the bronze pauldrons? Maybe? Oh, I can't tell. Oh man, they are pretty accurate with these. Alright, I can check and see. Alright, so heavy horsemen. There's four heavy horsemen dead. Equite, there they are. <clears throat> there's six left. Yeah, so there's six Equite left. That won't be too bad to deal with, even if we have to do even if we have to deal with it with the uh, melee weapons. Let's just get the unshielded guys out so we don't have to deal with them. What am I shooting at? Come on. I'm definitely going to want to take out those Manavliton too, because their range is, is quite good. Okay, yep. I moved right into that one. Alright, let's come around this side and see if we can pick these guys off. Oh, they're st interesting. They're staying behind their shield wall. I've never seen that. Yeah, they're, like, de deliberately staying away from me. Alright, we gotta hit headshots. We're just gonna burn through our arrows here. Ouch. Jeez, man. How many do they have? Alright, I think they might be out. Right, let's get to the backfield. Yeah, look at that, man. They're running. They're actively running behind their shield wall. That's pretty cool, actually. It may be time to update the uh, tactics testing, then. Interesting. Alright, there goes their noble. Here comes their Manabliton. Now, before we leave and swap our gear out, I need to go down and get a screenshot of... Or not a screenshot, but a recording of them at the bottom of the... <laughs> at the bottom of the, um, the cliff. We'll do that. Alright, this might be tough, so we'll have to get some elevation difference, and then we'll shoot them in the ankles. So they're down to 47. We got most of them out. Make sure we're not running into anything. Oh, that's it. All right. Let's go get a, a screen, uh, get some recording of those guys at the bottom. See how many died. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Only four died, but there was definitely a lot more that went down and they got injured pretty badly, so. Okay, so we got 30 out. We did hit 250, so we'll be able to take the perk. But we're not allowed to reload our ammunition, so we do have to switch switch our loadout. Yeah, hopefully we don't die. That'd be kind of sad. We got this far. And let's see, aiming speed with bows, I think is going to be the pick. Yeah, I'm not too worried about bow movement speed on foot. This one's going to help a lot. Yeah. All right, there's six cab actually. Wow, I thought we took out more than that. We could do it again, but I don't think it's necessary. I just need to get, I need to get around and behind somebody and stab them from the back. I don't really want to play chicken with them. Okay, let's... Yeah, I can't really stop too because they're they're fanning out pretty nicely. 
Here we go. This guy's by himself. Now this... I can't couch lance this thing, unfortunately, so that's not an option. But I can stab horses. That oh, that thing went flying. <laughs> All right, that guy's not going to let us get an easy hit. Now, I do... Oh, man, that was such a bad idea. Why did I do that? Yeah, their, their aim is really good. I don't know if that's something that they changed. It definitely feels better. Man. All right. You've got to have a new game plan here because this isn't really working out. We're just going in circles. Um, crap. Let's at least just get them away from their cat, their infantry, and then we'll try and section them off, pick them off. He's too close. Man. Yeah, this is why I wanted to take the cab out early with the bow, so I didn't have to deal with this, because these guys are, are actually pretty well defended. Uh, will there be a video? Yeah, this will be a video. It, it's gonna be... It'll be a VOD first. And then we'll, I'll, I'll do a, slight, a more edited version on the Let's Play channel. And then I'm gonna do the heavily edited for like one video for the whole campaign at the very end on the, the new channel that I made. Uh, maybe we can use this to our advantage. This kind of strings them out a bit. We got 100 meters before they... No, they're gonna come in between, aren't they? I, I, I'm having a hard time getting behind one because then they just, they're like backing each other up pretty nicely. There we go. There we go. And we got the knockdown on him. There we go. Alright. Maybe that's what we gotta do. Yeah, we just need to, we need to get it so that one guy's kind of by himself. Or at least by himself enough to where we can, we can get a hit in before we get surrounded. given us much. Alright, we can we can definitely take the horses out. I don't want to do heads up anymore. That was a bad move on my part. It was really stupid of me to do that. Alright, this guy's way by himself. No, he's going to turn. Yeah, we have to let him go. Oh, get some picks, though. See, uh, like I said, uh, having a different loadout for different types of enemies is, is going to be really important because you can see how difficult this is. No, not difficult, but just time consuming. And kind of annoying. Do I do I have the best name? Oops, I pooped. Uh, A for effort, how about that? <laughs> Alright, where are they? They're sticking with their infantry. Interesting. Well, that makes them a sit and duck then. Alright, we can flank this guy now. Maybe? No, nope, they're gonna come in. Alright, this guy now. I kind of had to do it. He turned into me. I wouldn't have been able to turn away in time. But it worked out. Play chicken. Got to be real careful with those javelins, too. They're getting pretty close. Yeah, pull your dinky little sword out. That's a good idea. All right, we don't want to go heads up with this guy, so let's let him pass. Oh, he's learning. He's yeah. learning. He actually hit the brakes, too. Interesting. Yeah, I, I definitely notice a difference in the AI in this hotfix. Pretty significant difference, too. All 
All right, yeah, look at that. He's staying back because he's outnumbered. Get his horse out of here so he can't remount. All right, there we go. So we dealt with the cab at least. Let's make sure we're not going to get pummeled by uh, javelins. Doesn't look like it. They probably have somebody in there that's got a javelin or two, but... Oh, no, these guys don't... Yeah, they do. We just gotta bait him a little bit more. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, this... I definitely did this in the test as well. Alright, there we go. We're... We're cooking with fire now. Can't get too close and let him, uh, let him get free hit. Oh, that was a big swing. That was a big swing. Uh, let's actually go for headshots because we do have that perk. Yeah, look at that. It does a ton of damage. 90 damage. 106. All right, we don't want to get our horse taken out either. Let's try and avoid that. Nope, nope, no, don't stab me, please. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks. Too. We had it. Well, we hit 300 writing at least, I guess. But man, we should have had that. We should have had that. That's my fault. And uh, we really do need a longer polearm to be able to do that because they have a much, they have much better gear. Uh, we're not gonna pay them squat. You can go, you can go sit on your thumb, buddy. All right, we're out of here. Uh, let's go lick our wounds. We still have our bow. We need to... Yeah, we need to go buy everything. Let's go buy some arrows. Oh, I hit my sensitivity on the mouse. There we go. That's alright. Like I said, we didn't really lose that much. We don't have a whole lot to lose. Uh, we do lose some of our high-capacity arrows, which does suck. But, you know. That is life. All right, while we're waiting, we can get a little bit of smithing XP. All right, we hit level 25, so that'll be nice. Wait, let's save our fish. So now we got efficient charcoal maker. We can just spam levels now, just doing that. We don't even have to craft any craft anything. All right, let's heal up. Uh, land tax, that's not a good one, but I mean... Whatever you say, Regea. <laughs> She's greedy, man. She wants all the money. Just got bacon. What happened? Sent it. Uh, I got stabbed and died. We, I was trying to solo a, a party, and I almost had him. Down to, like, out of 80, we killed everybody except for some infantry, and it was down to, like, 30. I think it was 38 people. And I got stabbed. Yeah. It was pretty close, though. I, I don't have the right equipment for it, and that's why I was real hesitant to even try that battle in the first place. But, you know. You can't... You can't always be too risk-adverse. Now, we have 52k. It's not quite enough. Uh, we can buy the Noble Bow, but let's just save up and go straight for the Noble, uh, the noble Longbow. And then we need this to be 200 length, and then we'll be in good shape. Oh yeah, they have they have arena. Let's see what they got. Cataphract lance. That might actually be it. That might be it. What's the length on this thing? Oh no, but it's two hand only. I don't think you can use this on a horse. Yeah, I don't I don't know why my OBS is crashing. Sorry guys. It's probably messing up the stream too, but there's another recording down the drain. It is so annoying, man. Uh, oh well. I, I think... I, I'm not going to record anymore. I'm just going to stream it, and then I'll, I'll get the files from online. We'll see. I don't know. 
It's a cataphract lance. It's the same one that the cataphract uses. I think so, which means we can't use a shield, and I really need a shield, so... Yeah, we can use it on horse, but I can't use it with a shield. I mean, you saw how many things we were blocking with the shield. Actually, maybe we don't. By the time we get down to just the melee troops, maybe we don't need it. We'll try it. I haven't tested with it, but it's it's got a good length, 250. So it might be worth trying. This guy is absorbing it, man. Look at that. <laughs> Look at a black hole just sucking everything in. Uh, jumping tech. It doesn't really matter. We'll have this one either way. Two directions at once, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter, we got we got through. Let's take out the javelin thrower first. Totally with that one, man. Uh, do you remember how tanky armor used to be when the game first launched? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Especially in tournaments? Yeah, the tournaments for sure, I remember that. Yeah, it was pretty bad. We need to get an angle on somebody, or let our, our buddy get an angle. Peasy. Really? <laughs> Pretty sure I got that back in time, but maybe not. Alright, no big deal. Alright, we got the cataphract lance. We'll try it out. I just, I don't know if it's going to work without the shield, but we can always use the one-handed with the shield and then transition into... Yeah, because by the time we're stabbing him, we don't, from a distance, we don't really need it, right? So, we'll swap it out. Yeah, two, 246 is going to be really nice to have. What... What miles are you using? I'm not sure what that means, sorry. Oh, what mods? It's in the description if you check. Um, there's like four or five. They're just quality of life stuff, like RTS camera and uh, better time. Just things to speed up the boring parts. Yeah, not nothing too crazy. All right, let's... They do have a little bit of hardwood, so let's smelt this thing. Yeah, that's fine. Can you show map and skills? Yeah, map, nothing should have changed too much other than whatever the AI did. Yeah. Just the usual Batania losing everything and Vlandia killing everybody. But aside from that, uh, skills. So we're going real heavy into endurance and control. And then at some point we'll catch up. Uh, we're pretty high level, so it's going to take a while to put the to get the points into here. But we'll eventually get bigger up as well. And then focus points, we're going to finish off smithing, two-handed, and then probably scoot down into scouting and charm. And if there's anything after that, it'll go into engineering. Let's actually get up to Batania lands and see if we can do some smithing. Oh, they got a tournament here, let's see what they got. Helmet. Our helmet's not that good, actually. 
Let's see what the Spangle Helm is. I think it's in the 30s. No, 26. It's not that much better than what we have, but whatever. Alright, we'll just stick with this guy so he doesn't get tag team. Oh, no, he just got destroyed. I'm trying to time it so I can get this guy, but not making it easy for us. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was that was a little bit too much. Uh, what? Let us. We were blue, so we're st right. Yeah, we were blue. We're still in it. I feel like it's super hard to get past level 30. I finish World Conquest where I get 30 most of the time. Yeah, it depends on the skill build you're going for. Some skills level your main character up really fast, and others level it really slow. So you could you could have you could just have a build that just doesn't give you that much you know raw XP compared to skill XP. That that might be that might be a thing. What is going on here? Jeez, Louise. This is what happens when you give an archer a, a horse, the Palatine Guard. He's just like, not sure what he's doing. Now, I think if you skip the current match, I think we still get, yeah, we still get in it, so that's fine. Pretty easy, but she was already kind of hurting, anyways. Alright, I think I'm gonna try and use more footwork because it seems like we've got enough uh, movement speed and swing speed that we can probably get away with it. Maybe not with this guy since it's a legionary, but. We'll see. Oh, uh, maybe. Too bad we do peanuts for damage. That wasn't too bad, actually. The armor, yeah, armor is not bad. Can you tell which guide to watch to level up that fast? Um, they're a tough one, man. Which ones would you say are the best? I would say probably um, Mything's pretty good, although they nerfed that a bit. The combat skills are always really good to level up fast. Like, if you look at here... If you do horse archery, that's probably the best way that I know in the early game to level up quickly. I mean, we're not even that far into the game. We're we're barely a year in. And I've done this much faster before, but, you know, I've... <laughs> I've died a couple times. Um, but, yeah, level 22 after years is not too bad. Yeah, we're gonna have to get some more smithing. So, Spanglehelm, let's take that. Fifty five K, so we're twenty K off from where we need to be. Let's go do some smithing if we can. Uh we'll take some fights in the meantime. I forgot to switch my loadout. Man, I can't see anything. I imagine you guys are probably ten times worse than what I'm seeing, but this is really dark. Right, let's deal with the cab first. 
under the immediate threat. Finally, man, I... My aim is off right now for some reason. That's done. 155. Yeah, we've got enough. I, I need to start. Uh, I need to switch over to pole arm pretty soon. Uh, not pole arm, sorry, throwing. But I, I'm hoping to do it after we got smithing up. But it's fine. Gotta watch out for those minor factions now. I guess they're crawling around. Uh, what do we got here? Highland mail shirt. I don't know if it's better than what we already have. Let's see if it's any good. No, it's not. Our our armor's got 12 leg and arm, so let's just skip it. When are you going to, like, conquer the world? Uh, it's leading up to it. Yeah, we're, we'll get there. It, it's You got to get the, the skills in order, otherwise you're just not going to have a chance. So... Okay, wait a second. No, there's no horse that's better than ours other than the Vadar Hot Blood, and we're not going to get that for quite a while, I think. We can buy all the hardwood we want, so that'll be good. And then we'll heal up a little bit and rest. Yeah, smithing with, with the mods is so much more enjoyable. There we go. And I think... Yeah, we can smelt that down, why not? Alright, that should be good. A long time? Yeah, it's going to take a long time. How long do you think this run will take? I think at the very, very minimum, probably 60 hours, but probably in the 80 to 100 hour range. That's my guess. We'll see, though. I don't know. Maybe I'll be surprised. Probably not, though. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot to get... Um, let's get some javelins. Woodland javelins. They're expensive, but they're good. Yeah, they're really good. So we'll definitely want that. And actually, we're going to want four stacks. There goes a lot of our money, so we're going to need to save up some more cash. But that's okay. We, we It needs to be done. Hello, traveler. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that on. And let's go jabs. No shield. Ooh, that's bad. Alright, they have 16. We don't want to miss too many of these. So what I usually do is... I kind of treat it like a dive bomber. Like, um... You kind of don't really aim too much other than with your horse... The way direction your horse is aiming. It's pretty easy to just smack them. Like, you see how much damage this thing's doing? Even for hitting them in the leg. And it's pretty hard to miss when there's a big critical mass. And then once, once we get a bunch... Um, oh, oh, I missed that. Yeah, once they're down to like two or three people left, we can just do it like normal. Yeah, see, that one doesn't do enough damage to kill. But we're gonna have to do this. Man, they are, they are so ridiculously accurate with those... We're going to need to switch this to melee mode, or we're going to have to change our loadout. There's eight left, or we could just pick them up off the floor. That's probably fine, too. Assuming we don't keep missing, which seems like we're doing okay. 
We're at level 73, so this is actually going to level up faster than I thought. Level 75, that's pretty good. Oh no, I whiffed. Totally whiffed that. There we go. Yeah, the, normally I would just say play normally and, and you'll get the levels as you go, but unfortunately in a campaign like this, you don't really have that luxury. Let's lead them away and then we'll go get our we'll go get our gear off the floor. There we go. Alright, so that gave us how many levels? 38 levels. Not bad. I'm lucky to hit anything but my guys with jabs. Yeah, I know I know the feeling. Luckily, I, I'm usually pretty good about uh, hitting my own people too, but this one it's going to be nice because I don't... I can't physically hit anybody else. Alright, let's go see. Oh, it just ended before we got there. That's unfortunate. Oh, we don't want to give up our bow. Make sure we're not giving anything away. And also, yeah, so they have noble longbow here too. So we just got to stay in, in the empire area and we'll be fine. Is XP gain based on damage or something that gain is fast? Yeah, it has something to do with with damage a little bit, but more it's it's the um, the level of the the opponent. Uh, those are just looters, so early game it's not going to help a lot. the The big difference is we got five focus points into throwing and eight control, so the multiplier, the learning rate is huge. All right, now we need to get more throwing weapons and more damage to mount. So damage amounts, and then we're going to take the plus one throwing, so that'll make a pretty big difference. And then we just need to go... Man. Yeah, we just need to go find... Uh, hideouts, preferably. But, I mean, I, I guess even if we don't find hideouts, we'll have to pick on looters on the way. I didn't realize we started that close to these guys. Whoops. That gave us six levels. So even even just four looters, six levels is pretty good. How's the patch 1.24? I really like it. It's actually way better than when it first came out, the patch 1.2. I was pretty disappointed in, in that patch. And I feel like they've made some really good changes. For me personally, it may not be good for everybody because I feel like they increased the skill level for melee combat by quite a bit. Oh, there he is again. There he is again. <laughs> Oh, but he's got 18 range this time. That's a problem. Yeah, we don't we don't really have a good setup for it. Uh, not that it's a lot of cav. Stop there in the name of and it's a lot of ranged units. Oh, I hate this map, man. All right, well, let's get it over with. We don't have a shield either, so we gotta be careful. This guy's a sitting duck, man. Oh, how did I miss? <laughs> Alright, that's... My, uh, my javelin throw is really slow. I feel like... I feel like I should have timed that a little bit. Really? <laughs> We're getting blasted with rocks. Alright, gotta get out of here. Okay, we got no arm at all. There we go. Dude, this is... Okay, I give up, man. 
Look at them run! Yeah, it is what it is, I guess. I should have been moving, but I freaking hate that map, man. We just lost all our, our gear. Uh, one thing I could do... No, it's... He's gonna have loot on him. Yeah, we lost... We got our we got our melee weapon, but we lost. God damn it, man! Oh, whatever. I should have switched to my I should have switched to my uh, bow. Yeah, I'm kind of annoyed right now. Well, we're we're gonna get a better bow soon, anyways, and we need to we need to level up our uh, throwing. So I guess it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, I gotta stop dying. Uh, war on the Western Empire. We're in the north, so that's fine. Like here. Alright, let's heal up. So, war's been declared. No big deal. Let's just keep to the plan. Hello, traveler. Yeah! Hey, Elder, what's going on? Uh, just dying. <laughs> just dying. You came right when I died. That was a really bad death, too. Well, not death, but got captured. Alright, it's going to be hard to get through these guys' shields, I think. So, let's see if we can do it at full speed without getting killed. Oh, that works. 192. Right again. Yeah, it's not going to be enough to bust it. That's what I was talking earlier about taking that shield damage perk. It's actually really good early on. Alright, there's one shield down. I think we can burn through their shields. Oh, or we can hit him in the crotch. Can't win them all. Yeah, it's uh, it was a stupid mistake too. It was a really easy party. It was a, a small party of mountain bandits, and I freaking got stuck on the mount on the uh, on a building, and I should have gotten off of it, but I didn't. Yeah. All right. Well, life goes on. First time watching the stream. Love the videos and the vods. Hey, I appreciate it. Boy, Susie, I appreciate it. Yeah, this one will go up as a vod as well. Uh, we were going to do the hideout. Let's do the hideout. Oh, you know what? We have... We have a perk for throwing. What is this one? Chance of dismounting cavalry is not really going to be good, because when we get impale, it's just going to go through their shield and kill them anyway, so it's not really that good. We will take the bonus speed damage, though. Hey, Merc Vinny. What's up, man? I gotta keep an eye out here. I don't know where these guys spawn. I'm not familiar with this map. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, wow. Okay, that was way over. <laughs> oh, wow. It's not enough. Alright, there we go. We should be able to get most of these back. Yeah, I keep for some reason the the distance on foot is actually better, or the um, the arc the trajectory is better on foot than it is mounted. I don't, I'm not sure why that is. I gotta, I gotta remember to adjust. Is throwing really good combat skill? Is where you're trying to level it now. So it, it is really good, but it's also very situational. So I'm using it for a very specific reason. Um, but usually that's not a problem because you have units. Uh, I, I have to level it uh, to really make this campaign viable. So, it's kind of a necessity. Nice, these guys don't have shields, so we should be good. Alright, 
Alright, this is pretty easy so far, actually. Not too bad. We have 28 total. Got it. There we go. Finally hit somebody. Oh. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we should be able to... We should be able to solo pretty much any um, hideout at this point. Without too much issue. This is a pretty cool map. I don't think I've seen this one before. Alright, here's where we could run into some issues. No, I didn't mean to hit you in the butt. I meant to hit you in the head. Oh, wow. What in the world was that throw? There we go. Yeah, that was weird. On the stairs, it, like, changed the trajectory of where it should have gone. That was very bizarre. I've never seen that. It's like my guy just threw it straight at the floor. I appreciate it, Elias. Uh, let's see. Are you going damage reduction perk while holding a throwing weapon? I don't think so. I think the other one is better for what, what I'm trying to do. I don't remember. I have to look at my, my list, but I think... I think, oh, gee, yeah, see, that's weird. Like, that would normally go way over this guy's head. But that in that instance, it just didn't. Okay, he somehow knew I was going to do a circle. <laughs> All right, one more. And then we got to deal with the big boss. Oh, got him. Alright, this, we need to hit a good shot. All slots throwing weapons? Yeah, this is for, for, for uh, throwing weapons. This is going to be a tough one, but I'm going to try it. I might need to switch to melee mode, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, man. Put it right through his head. Uh, okay, well... I was going to say, it's either going to be like that, or it's going to be a long, drawn-out, maybe getting killed, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> so we got 17 skill points off of that. That's pretty good. And then, very importantly also, is we're getting athletics, because we need to get the other skill point into the other attribute point. So, Can you use them for melee? Yeah, we could. Yeah, for sure. We need to get some of our stuff back. So we don't have a good shield. This shield's trash. So that's not going to work. Uh, we also have some hardwood. Let's actually smelt stuff. We need to start doing that. We need to get uh, some, some crafting XP going here. But let's just smelt all, right? Yeah, there's nothing in here that we really want to keep. Swing damage, 78. That's really good. But the weapon length isn't good. So for mounted combat, it's just not going to help. We, oh, we don't have enough. Wait a little bit. We gotta heal up some anyways. There we go. So we unlocked a few things. Not really a big concern, though. Did I? Yeah, I meant to sell everything. Okay, good. Uh, we don't need two types of food, and we will... Keep scalpel on hand. We'll, we'll run with this for now. We can't really do any big fights this way, but we're building up to items anyways. We need to get 72k so we can get the better bow. Uh, I want to fight those guys, but not the shield's kind of annoying. Right, let's just go to Umbrella. All right, there's a tournament here, and standard of rage. I don't we can't use that, so that's not going to help. Yeah, I'll just keep selling it. Perhaps uh, refining it. Now, let's go learning rate. Yeah, when smelting, we'll go learning rate with smithing, and then once we get up here, then we can, and all the parts that we want unlocked, we'll respect this. It's not a big deal. But another point in smithing, that's almost capped out. Uh, do you need troops to conquer Feath? No. 
No, you can do it without it. I always get bored before I get to the point where I start taking thieves. Yeah, once you start taking thieves, it, honestly, that's where a lot of the, the big fun happens, in my opinion. So, are you going to conquer thieves when you can't take... Uh, you, you can take thief with a single unit party. It just takes a very long time. Like, to, to complete the siege camp, it's going to take you... 30 hours, I think. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Oh, no, sorry, 30 days, not 30 hours. It's it's a really long time. But it's doable. Oh, man. There we go. That one back. These guys aren't going to have as many throwing weapons, so we got to be careful with our ammunition. Sort of. Right, I don't want to waste two. Yeah, actually, we need to do it. I say I don't want to waste the second one on him, but we kind of need to. We need the XP. The whole point of doing this is to level up our throwing. Uh, it's giving us some other stuff like renown and whatever too, but that's not that big of a deal. Man, is everybody? That guy has no armor. That's not even a one shot. That's crazy. <laughs> We can't even outthrow this guy with a rock. Alright, there we go. Take one to the face. Oh, here we go. Oh, man, that hurts. Okay, we might die here. Right, there we go there's one there we go oh man that was not good at all okay well let's see if we can make it happen here we still got to get through the final boss too i'm a little worried about that but i guess one step at a time Die, you pig! no 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 are you kidding me I literally went through his legs. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's for getting uh, getting megged. One gold per rock? Yeah, seriously. There we go. That's what I needed. Right in the face. Oh, man. No, it didn't kill him either. All right, this is the last guy. Got him. All right, so let's try and do the same thing. One one tap to the face. How are you plan on fighting off enemy reinforcements during sieges? Yeah, that, that there. I have a technique to to deal with that. Um, we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> oh, twice in a row. <laughs> good catch, by the way. Good catch. Here, have a few more. 98 and 91 man you are getting shafted yeah i know we need just that little tiny bit more skill in the perks we got 225 so we can get another point into uh, control lowland javelins that's already what we have actually oh no we have woodland javelins it's fine let's take it all Now, this seems to think that these are better. Um, yeah, I don't think they are. But we'll, we'll smelt it down, though. We'll at least get some XP, unlock XP for that. Imagine challenging a guy to a duel and then he throws a spear in your face. Yeah, that would be pretty brutal. And imagine being the guys watching him, watching it happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably wouldn't want to mess with this, this girl, actually, because it's Galadriel. Throwing. Now we can take another two enemy munition since we're starting mounted at all times. Yeah, this is the one that you were asking about. The skirmisher versus saddlebags. We're always going to be mounted. So plus two. This is basically getting a plus eight when we equip four of them. And then... Oh, we already have it actually. We already have control. Yeah, sorry. But this one... Damage with throwing weapons is not important at all. Fall damage is actually going to be really important when we get to sieges because there are going to be times where we might need to jump off the walls to survive. 
and then kick damage dealt, like who cares? But the fall damage is actually going to be pretty nice. It's like a backup. <laughs> Bandit boss is catching the get the jazz. Just got back from his school homecoming game, and you're still playing. Yeah, what's up, Craftmaster? Still working on it. It's going to be a very long campaign. Let's see if they have. Yeah, they have some hardwood. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, actually, we get a tall tip spear. That's 199 length. Let's not smelt that down. We can definitely use that. We do need a shield. I don't want to spend money on a good one, so let's just get a dumpy one. It's fine. Tall tip spear will use 26 damage is so bad. But what can you do? Yep, and then as far as we can't really craft anything with this, it's just not enough. Crude iron. Maybe we can, let's see. Uh, I think it's going to be better just to do two-handed swords. Just max everything. Take one, smelt it. We're not going to be able to do much more. Any mods you recommend for Eagle Rising? Ooh. Well, you kind of have to use RBM, I think. And then other mods? I'm not sure. That's a good question, actually. Because there's... Why am I in here? Yeah, there's some good mods. Uh, I, I guess just the usual ones, like, R, you know, RTS camera, things like that, but... Alright, we can craft smelt this one a few times before we run out. So let's just do that. Uh, what are we out? Yeah, we're out of stamina now. We'll get a little bit of XP. I mean, we got to sit and heal up anyways, so it's fine. Oops. See if we have any better parts. Not really. Alright, that one's decent. The two-handed, for some reason, doesn't really give you as much. We can't even make this one. Alright, so we're just going to craft smelt a few more times, get rid of this stuff, turn, just basically convert it into um, unlocking XP and stuff. But have you tried Bandlord? Multiplayer? Yeah, I did. It's it's fun. It's just hard, man. People are so good online. They're really, really good. Uh, I think we need to refine a few things here. Yeah, I wish it auto-selected the top one on this one, so I don't have to go back and keep selecting it, but I guess I can get used to it. Uh, oh, we're out of everything now. So, yeah, we smelted it down, so we're good there. We used up most everything. Let's just dump. Make sure we're not getting rid of anything that we needed. Nope, that looks good. So, we have... We just don't have our ranged weapon, which is fine. We're really close to it, actually. Oops. Yeah, it's, I, there was one down at uh, Denustica, so we can just head down there. Uh, we need to take out a few... Oh, I didn't check the arena. Let's see. Mittens. Yeah, we don't have good handguards, so this would be good. Don't worry, just put four to five hundred hours and you'd be pretty good at Battle Lord multiplayer. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, that would be pretty insane, man. Spending that much time on multiplayer. I can only imagine, like, what, what you would be able to do. Actually, I can't imagine, because that's basically what people did to dump on me. <laughs> they were doing some ungodly techniques that just destroyed me. Oh, wow. Let this guy kill him. No? You don't want to hit him? There you go. Yeah, I think we... 
we can hold people hostage, just sit here and wait. Oh wow, he's fast. We gotta win these bets, man. We need to... Uh, oh, we got a horse. We need to get that... That bow. Yeah, look at that. Headshot perk is really coming in handy here. Because this thing would normally do very little damage. <laughs> Just put, putting them down, man. Wait, which one's ours? This guy's not ours. Thank you, man. Jeez, I kept locking him for this guy. He wasn't getting a hit in. All right, let's do this. Uh, I keep forgetting we took that perk, so... Throws it a little bit higher. Oh, good job, dude. Very nice job. Yeah, he's not letting it go, he's holding it. Ooh. I don't want to do that. Oh man, the overhead's way slower. I didn't realize it was that much slower. This guy's just lightning fast. He's not attacking now. Oh, he let his guard down. <laughs> not the celebration friendly fire exactly. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Congrats, have a have a javelin in your chest. Alright, that is definitely an upgrade. We'll take it. We just need better boots. And then, I mean, everything needs to be upgraded, but it's it's not bad at all. Yeah, we're we're looking like a Galadriel for sure. Look at that. <laughs> she is ready for battle, man. This looks like something they would have put on the the Ring of Powers video. You mean that series? She comes out with like three stack or four stacks of javelins. Uh, it'd be so ridiculous, but believable for for the way they portrayed her. Uh, what are we following that? Let's not do that. So we. Yeah, we still need money. We still need money. Let's not fight in this setting, though. We want to fight out in the countryside. Can you show how to craft the best weapon to craft that sell the most among the money? Yeah, it's... Oops. Not even paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, generally, you want to stick to, like, pole arm, swingable pole arms or two-handed swords. Those are usually the best. And... In general, the curved blades, for whatever reason, sell for more. So, if you're not sure, just do the curved blade. This guy's really annoying, man. He's literally hit me every single shot. What a joke, man. These freaking looters. Alright, two more levels. Yeah, throwing is definitely a bit of a grind when you compare it to the other skills, but what can you do? I, I think this is the place that has the bow. No, they only have the noble bow. That's not good. I think it's Danustica that had it, actually. Pauldrons with net guard. Let's see if this one's better. Ours is 12 and 2, I believe. Oh, that's terrible, man. What are you trying to do? That's like a punishment, not a reward. <laughs> oh, man. How long can be streaming for? I'll probably stream for another two, three hours. It's It's been six and a half. I'd like to get it up to maybe ten. Ten or eleven. I have to do less than twelve because it cuts off the recording at twelve. And and I'm not recording anymore, so I have to physically get all these off of the, the VOD afterwards. But it's all right. Uh, 
Oh, uh, yeah, this place is the one that had it. Yep, yeah, Noble Longbow. 71k, that's actually not bad. We're really close. So let's stay around here till we get our bow back. Hey, oh, Rebels we? and Rote have risen. Yep. Interesting. How do you lose your own your own uh, culture? What the heck? All right, let's just keep spamming these guys with fast moving javelins to get the the high XP. I also think it depends on how far away you are when you release your javelin. So we'll try and release it from farther back. See if that helps. Yeah, 43.2, uh, sorry, 43 movement speed relative. Pretty, pretty hefty uh, speed bonus we got. Oh, and I whiffed. Whiffed again. What I could do is just do like a circle and just keep rotating. That'll work. What I need to do is find a good safe method to do with 3x speed on. Oh man, that was right in his face. That looked brutal. Nice wood. <laughs> a town rebelled against their own culture. Yep. So usually when that happens, it's because it's a recent conquest, and they didn't. Uh, the town's starving, and they didn't get it stabilized fast enough. Yeah, it's definitely doable. So I think it was Regea, and she lost Rote. I'll take a look. Oh no, it wasn't actually. So that would have been up here. No, okay, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. That was actually a. Sturgeon. Yeah, it was a Sturgeon thief. So, yeah, they lost it. Is it possible a possible challenge to make every town in the game become a rebel town? That would be really hard. Yeah, that would be tough. When you use javelins, you get anything because you play on an Xbox. Man, I could barely hit anything with a, a PC and, and a mouse and keyboard and thousands of hours of playing, man. it's Javelins are way harder to aim than the other stuff. All right, we're really close. We're less than a thousand away from getting our, our bow. Ooh, Thoriel's castle was taken. They might give that to us, too. That'd be kind of nice. All right, we're just short. 300. You know, are we even going to be... Yeah, we will do prison breaks, actually. We will do prison breaks. No, let's... Let's just wait. We'll be patient for one more turn. Oh, and we got a hideout. We can definitely do that. Are they going to give it to us? No, Regea is going to take it. You greedy little... <laughs> yeah, that's actually really bad. Uh, it'll make sense later why, but that's really bad that she gets it. I, I, I might want to swing it. Can we swing it? It's, it's worth spending the influence. We can't. Man, she's too powerful. And she's got backup. Maximum kill, far range, throwing, or bow. Yeah, you want to do as far back as you can go and hit reliable shots and get kills. That's how you get the most XP. Well, let's wait here. Now for this one, there's no way we do this without a shield. We're going to have to have a shield, so let's put one back. Alright, now we're moving on. We got... Let's see, we've done... Is there any that we haven't done? This is the last hideout we haven't done. Okay, we've done every type of hideout except for the the forest one. <laughs> Can't be contained. There's a tempest within her still, apparently. I gotta figure out where to aim for the headshots because I don't want to waste all the ammo. These guys don't have reloads for us. 
Nine. Yeah, that's not gonna work if we don't hit headshots. Nope, still not hitting headshots. Oh, well, now we are. <laughs> what was he gonna? Oh, I was gonna say. He, sometimes they die on their knees. It's kind of funny. There we go. Oh wow, that looked brutal, man. Oh, it's through his neck. Oh man, that's not even through his head. That's just like through his <laughs> right through his neck. All right, that felt pretty good. Let's uh get a couple more of those. Here we go. All right, aim a little higher. It looks like, and that seems to do the trick. Not quite, because the distance. <laughs> oh, man. Doesn't really get old, does it? And I love that nobody has shields, except for the last guy. That's why a little concern, but the last two times I said that, we hit him in the face, so I'll just keep saying it. Oh, that's not good. They all see me. Draw your javelin, man. It keeps not getting it. Here we go. Now we should be good. <laughs> that is so brutal. Like a jelly-filled donut, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll poke him in the face. That's well, at least that's the plan. Soon we won't have to worry about the shields, but until then. You get a javelin. You get a javelin. Everybody gets a javelin. Have have fun with that. That puts us at 151, so we do pick up another perk here. Don't recall what it is, but let's take some prisoners and all the loot. Oh, a large bag. Uh, it's actually not that good because it's barbed arrows. But we can sell it. And this one... It's going to be... This isn't going to really help us. It'll help us now. But I really don't like having the 25% zoom. I feel like it messes up my aim. So we'll go last hit. Get a little bit more bonus damage. <laughs> the Oprah of Javelins, yeah. What mod do you use to go faster? So the one on the campaign map is better time. And the one in-game is RTS camera mod. Now we have enough to buy what we need. So let's... Yeah, get rid of everything that we don't need. Wait, what happened to our arrows? I thought we had a bunch. Alright, finally we got it. We got the noble longbow. Now, I think we'll keep this on us for any battle that's going to be tough, just in case we die. I don't want to lose 71k. In the future, this is going to be irrelevant. You'll see how much money we'll be rolling in, but for now, it's it's pretty important. Let's take a look. We haven't even seen our cast in a long time. Let's see what they're doing. And I also forgot to sell prisoners. Actually, we haven't gone to Husen Folk. Let's uncover those nobles first. Uh, I want to see how good these shoulders are. Yeah, it's it's not much better than what we have, so. The 30 centimeter gem entered through the forehead. Looks like it will live. You're not surviving. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, it's it's crazy how how wild things can be. Yeah, you see it a lot with with like uh, gunshot wounds. Like sometimes somebody will take like ten shots and they're fine, and then a lot of other people just won. Right, that's not our castle. I meant to go down here. Now, do we have prisoners? We do. We still have to get rid of a bunch of them, so let's just dump them. And we have actually 50 loyalty. That's pretty good, considering we don't have anything going on here. Uh, we don't have money to bump 
into this anyway, so we're just going to leave it the way it is. But this would be a decent thief. Uh, yeah, we got to sell the prisoners. We're going to lose a bunch of them right now anyways. So who cares? Uh, actually, we don't even need the money. Let's just get rid of them so we can keep, keep doing what we need to do. So at this point... Throwing is still a priority, and smithing is a priority, for sure. We need to do something about that. So let's keep moving. And we're at war with the west. Yeah, let's go over to the west. Oh, they're getting torn up. Yeah, that one rebel, Batania. Batania is still alive. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Usually they're, like, dead by now. You know, one or two years into the game, into the campaign. Uh, yeah, we need to do it. I hate to do it, slow down the, the yeah. game, but we just, we gotta do it. Yeah, see, uh, I was just, somebody just made a comment, you can't hit anything. Well, that's me right now. Here we go. And we still get two levels off of that. That's crazy. For two looters, or four looters, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if we've gone to Vostrom yet. No, we haven't. So we got to uncover all these people. Okay. Banner. We don't care about banners. Yeah, our horse is good. Our gear is good. I think we're in pretty good shape here. Uh, we are heading up to the war zone, so let's slow it down so I don't accidentally just run into somebody. Like an idiot. Ooh, what do you got? Infantry and nine cav. Oh, I'm so tempted, man. This this is really tempting. What kind of infantry, though? 38 infantrymen. That's going to be a nightmare. That's going to be a nightmare, but I want to do it. Halt. All right, so I am going to save this one because this is going to be another one that we'll probably try out. Or uh, uh, I'll probably do in the, the main video. Let's see, what are we going to do here? We can start off with throwing weapons and just burn their shields on the cav and try and take them out. And then we're going to have, we can do one round of, of bow and arrow, and then we can do one round, uh, the final round with the melee weapons. So I think let's do that. Yeah. Uh, what kind of cav do they have anyways? I don't see any cataphract. Oh, this is going to be a freaking headache, man. Yeah, we gotta. We can't do any fighting in the wooded area, but it's all right. We'll figure it out. And these guys are fast. All right, let's get them in the open area. We're just going to do circles until maybe we can get behind some of them. That's a good hit on a shield. Oh, this guy's by himself. Yeah, let's get a good on collision. Oh, one tap the horse. All right now, I we need to take him out before he joins up with the rest of his crew. Man, we knocked him over though. 27 charge damage just from knocking him down. Yeah, I don't want him to get grouped up with his guys because uh, he's gonna get in there. He's gonna get mixed in. Crap. All right, we need to go. It, that, we're gonna have to fight him again then. That's the problem. So let's get through this without dying. Uh, look how fast we are compared to these guys. All right, can we spot him? I don't know if we can tell which one it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Little throwing darts, man. Little daggers. All right, so we could def... Oh, no, 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 that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh man, my brain is just not functioning right now very well. Yeah, we're gonna take some hits. Yeah, that's not gonna work out that well. Okay, well, we can play chicken and try and get them when their guard's down. That's the only thing I can think of. So let's just try it. I mean, what, what do we got to lose? Oh, shield's down. All right, let's go after that guy so we don't have to deal with him again. 
a swing and a miss. Alright, yeah, this is the guy with no shield. How, dude? How? <laughs> oh, that didn't look like it hit me at all, but alright. Alright, let's... I think... Uh, yeah, I don't know. The head, the heads up is probably not a good idea. But we can definitely get a hit on him when he's moving slow. That's uh, not ideal. We need to kill this guy before he. Wow. Well, trying to thread the needle. Not uh, give me a good angle. Man, these guys are just like all over me. I can't even get a shot on the guy that's unprotected. There we go. No. No, he's got a shield still. Alright, let's not hit a tree. Except for that one. That one's okay. <laughs> Actually, you know what might be a bad idea is to fight these cav on a, an incline. Because the AI has a pretty hard time with aiming on the incline. Right, where's the guy that has no shield? Yeah, I already hit him once right by his head. No, dude. No, 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 no. Not this horse. This is so frustrating. Yeah, they're just... They're literally marrying my, my moves. Like, they're attached to me. Yeah, I can't really get... Can't really get much done here, but... It's alright. There's one. Oh, can we get this guy? Nope, we cannot. Two to that one shield. One more and bust? No, wow, three. We gotta keep four. Whoa, what kind of shields are these things? It's like Captain America's shield. Okay, yeah, I... Oh, this is so ridiculous, man. Just bust the damn shield. Oh, man, this is so bad. Okay, so investing in that is not a good idea, apparently. Well, at least we got him, so that's one more cab down. That's two cab down. We should be able to get a third down, assuming we can actually get around to the unshielded guy. Who's on foot. Alright, where's their cab? They're just kind of... Sauntering, what are they doing? Oh man, I wish that one. So it seems like having the forward momentum will help a lot. So maybe that's what I have to do. Oh no 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 no! Oh, I gotta bob, bob a weave. Maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> oh man. It's the cat. Honestly, if, if they didn't have Cav, it would be no problem. I think. I don't know, maybe it would still be a problem, but it feels like it wouldn't be much as much of a problem. Look at all these... Man, there's so many throwing knives. So many. I don't know how many stacks of throwing knives these guys have, but that's a lot. Yeah! Alright, so forward momentum. Oh, yeah, that's it. So the forward momentum really busts the shield pretty easily. <laughs> Not the horse. I want the rider. Got him. Okay, there we go. So they've got uh, three or four more shield uh, cab left. We've only got one left, so let's just throw it and... Yeah, didn't hit anything right. So let's let's go ahead and switch our loadout. We need to get our bow and arrow now. We do have a noble bow, so I mean, there's that. I have hope. Yeah, they have five cav left, so that's actually not too bad. 
they have a lot of throwing dice because they're hidden hand the pup tier. Yeah. Oh, three stacks. That's yeah. I didn't realize they had three stacks. It's not a big deal. We should be able to target those guys pretty easily. Because they don't have shields. So uh, we just got to deal with the cav somehow. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yep. There we go. Okay. No. Oh, jeez, Louise. I'm trying to get on the rear, but they're just not. Like, there's always somebody behind them to cover them. Like, they got wingmen. Oh, yeah. See, we got almost died. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There we go, that's a good hit. Oh, we need to get out, we need to get out. Okay, can't take another hit because then that means we won't be able to reload uh, another outfit. Or another uh, gear loadout. So we gotta make this work without taking any more hits. What? <laughs> I don't know what that animation was, but I gotta look back, back up on the, on the recording. That was funny. He just like lunged forward. Oh, thank you, Tree. You saved my life. It's amazing how they go through the whole forest without hitting a tree, but then other times they, like, hit it every single time. <laughs> All right, well, it is what it is. Uh, we still have our bow on us, which is the important piece of gear, so that's fine. I gotta stop fighting these guys until we get... We need to get throwing to 250 and then we'll we're fine that that throwing 250 and that is the easiest battle we can do for sure like it's not even a, a question but i just got to stop being impatient oh we still got our scalpel that's nice uh what did we so we lost our javelins which is kind of important because we need them to level up but we can just buy some more they weren't like really good ones anyways These have horseman javelins, which are not as good, but they're not actually off by much. 89, I think the last one was like 92. So that's no problem at all. Uh, we'll take some salt, because I'm a salty boy right now, unfortunately. Uh, actually, I'd rather have food. There we go. <laughs> some salt to rub in the wound, I guess. <laughs> right, let's take one of these, and then... I guess we can just take any any random pole arm. Doesn't really matter. And then let's heal up. Third death. Yeah, man. It was <laughs> uh, don't ever say this was an easy one. Oh, we can get a fief. We can actually get Onika Castle. If we if we abstain, actually, it goes to us anyways. So let's not waste. Onika is. Not in a good location right now, actually. Right? It's up here. Oh, no, it's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can go there and... Let's see what they got going on. No fairground, which is unfortunate. Prosperity's not bad. And the wages are 109, so the garrison's pretty bad here. Only 17 troops, so just dump them. I mean, who cares? Somebody's gonna come and take the town, or the castle from us, but, you know, what can you do? It is what it is. Uh, let's heal up here. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna draw these little parties to come out and try and take them. Today's not. Nope, I meant to switch. Oops, go switch your gear loadout. Uh, after he dies, does he have kids? No, no kids in this one. So it's if if I die, I die. I, I, I will save scum on a death, to be honest, because I don't want to spend 20, 30, 40 hours and then have to restart again. That's just not going to work. So I will save scum for that, but yeah, I, I'm trying my best not to, to cheese anything on this. So, But it, it's already a hard enough campaign. I don't feel bad about it. Okay, we're ready.
Ooh, that's a healthy stack of uh, looters we got here. Let's send him some gifts. Up pretty well. We're getting some levels out of it. Oh, that's not what I meant. This thing is so hard to turn because it's so fast. Oh, man. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. Get out. I think I gotta let off the gas to turn around. You know what I wanna try? Can we do two? A long range and a medium range? Oh, 667 damage, there we go. Yeah, garrison troops, uh, most of the time we're gonna fire garrison. The only time I'm using garrison is if, if the thief is in uh, range of rebelling, basically. So towns will probably have garrison. Castles, the vast majority of the time, will not have a garrison. I'm gonna go there and delete them all. Yeah, like, I, I don't want to just cheese it, just, you know, defend castles and fiefs with a gigantic garrison, and it's basically like fighting with an army, but, you know, defensive instead. So I, I don't want to do that, because that's kind of like... It's still a hard challenge, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's not in line with the whole point of the campaign, you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like it fits in that well. Because you could do that. You could just play defensive the whole campaign. Wait for people to come, siege you down, and then you just execute them and, and all that. But that, that doesn't make for an interesting video, in my opinion. I think, uh, I think there's some more f interesting ways to go about it. All right, how many levels we got? 25 people, 12. That's not bad. So still getting two... Uh, one level for every two kills. Almost at 175. Really need to get this to 250, though. That's going to be the turning point. Okay, let's go sell some stuff so we're not overburdened. What do we got here? Kettle. We have a pretty good helmet, I thought. Yeah, Spango Helm. That's pretty good. Uh, there's nothing here that we need. The shield, you know, let's get, let's get a better shield. This thing is, it's so bad. We got we got nothing else to spend our money on at this point, so let's just get a decent one. A thousand bucks is fine. And how does that look? That looks accurate. If you can't keep them, kill them, pretty much. Uh, more than likely, your best chance is to just execute lords that you capture. So we're not going to be executing unless we absolutely have to. Um, so yeah, that's... It, execute it? Yeah, you could just take your time and execute everybody on the map. You'd have to fight a lot of battles. Um... And I'm, I'm trying to play this a little bit smarter than that. It's definitely doable, though. You're right. It's definitely doable. It's just like an attrition. Hey, Shannon. All right, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> Gonna take a lot of kills, but. All right, we're getting. Barrage with pebbles. Oops. Maybe I can juke these guys. Oh, no, can't juke. Very raw. Alright, there we go. Another. Uh, only three levels this time, so starting to slow down a little bit. We gotta find higher tier enemies. That's gonna speed it up quite a bit. But 
I started this challenge with jabs instead of horse archery. Yeah, javelins are, are doable as well. The only problem with javelins is you're limited on ammo. So if, if you're doing the, you know, exiting combat and come back in to reload, it's fine. But otherwise, it's going to be kind of a tough one. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> oh, that must have hurt. All right, we got rid of... Yeah, that's the last javelin, so it's just rocks. Oh, no big deal. Right in your... Uh, nether regions. Oh, we got three out of that. It's pretty good. 180. Okay, now this is... Uh, headshot damage with thrown weapons is kind of useless. Uh, anything we touch to the head is just instantly going to die. Upgrade cost of infantry troops. We're not going to be upgrading them, though. So, I mean, I guess this one, but not really. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. It's better than not having it, right? And then I guess we could Stop use it if we do the... prison breaks with throwing daggers. That could be an option. Oh, they got a they got a cab on this one. Got to be careful. And there's trees everywhere. Oh man, I'm aiming like I have. Oh, that didn't kill him. Whoa, guy's tough. Sort of. <laughs> um. Oh, that looks so brutal. Alright, we gotta get rid of this javelin guy. There we go. Uh, I was gonna say we could use throwing daggers on uh, prison breaks. I know if you get a high throwing, it's kind of fun to do that. And they don't have shields there, so. Pretty sure damage affects XP gain. I think so, to some degree. It's not a. When I tested it last time, it was slightly, but not a big, big difference. The biggest difference with ranged is going to be the distance to your target. So the further back you are, the more XP you'll get. Uh, let's just keep taking out these mountain bandits. They seem to be an easy, low-hanging fruit for us. Oh, did I get... I got a perk. Let me take that first. Oh, it's just scouting. Who cares? So smithing. And I think we'll hold off on two-handed. We'll do smithing, scouting, and charm. Although charm's going to probably need to come first because we need some of these. Definitely should have gotten Warlord first. I should have put a point into there. And then we need 125 at the bare minimum. That's like an absolute necessity. Will you do Castle Defense in this vid? I don't know if we'll do it in this one, but in this campaign for sure. Yeah. Alright, we need to not get hit by this Javelin. There's two of them. I can't see anything, man. It is so dark. It's probably, like, completely pitch black for you guys. Alright, there's one brigand down. I'm trying not to lose my uh, noble bow to a pack of looters, basically. Alright, swing and a miss. for momentum and don't you dare stab me 99 damage all right so that gives us three more levels 186 we're getting there had to raise my brightness yeah that was such a bad fight i hate that man i wish there was a way to just get rid of nighttime battles without having to have a mod all right it is going to be nighttime speaking of which so we'll do it yeah we'll do this Oh, it's the old school one. It's such a difference looking at this map compared to the uh, the new ones. Crazy how much better they've gotten at map making. Oh, uh, this is kind of scary. Trying to hit the javelin guy since he's not in range yet. 
Zappos. Alright, there we go. That'll work. And we can fill up our, our stacks here. I have no idea where to aim these, man. I'm so lost. Elevation change, the distance, it's just... It's all bad. <laughs> I just... I need more experience with the javelins. Alright, that looks good. We got seven more to go. Eighteen in the... Oh, I didn't mean to turn that on. There we go. We're hitting him in the face now. Oh, these guys have ammo for us, actually, so we should be good. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Don't. Don't do this. Oh, don't do this. That's what I was afraid of. I can't, I can't see them throwing it, so I can't tell where it's going to end up. That's why I... I got hit there. Oh, so sketchy. They can't declare war on you. Uh, need another five hours to get the jabs down. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, he stood up. He stood up right when I threw it. That actually saved my throw. I don't think it would have hit. From downtown? Not quite. Oh, there we go. All right, so that'll fill our, our thing back up full. Yep. Actually, what we could do, just in case we have a bad uh, a bad throw, let's take a shield. It doesn't affect us any. All right, we should be good here. We got to hit him in the face, but that's all right. Night time. Night time is not the right time. Yeah, I agree. Oh man, he he. I think he dropped his guard because we moved right into him. Kind of a little risky, but I'm glad it worked out. So 193. We're almost to 200. We're getting there, man. Almost, almost, almost. And uh, nothing good on the loot side. Just get out of here with a hidden hand. Looking to pounce. Oh, that's one hit. Oh man, we're getting nailed. The Hail Mary? Oh, right over his shoulder. That was actually closer than I thought. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That felt good. Alright, now we gotta watch out for this guy's javelins. There we go. Got him. Oh, man. What in the hell, dude? Seriously? We avoid death by these gigantic javelins, and then we just get peppered to death. Yeah, this... It just don't feel right. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, speaking of missing every shot. There we go. Alright, that'll give us a couple levels. Yeah, 195. Uh, we don't want to take a Sumter horse, and that'll put us over... So let's just get rid of the food. Is it possible to marry Regea? No, I don't think so. No, you can marry some of your people off to them, but... Got a nice rock with your name on it. Pretty much. Oh, this is beautiful. Onuka Castle is being besieged, so yeah, Garius is going to take our fief. Um... Mm, yeah, we're going to do something here. Yeah, we need to give it away. We don't want to get a relation hit. I think you lose a bunch of stuff. I think you lose, like, relations, influence, and all that when you lose a thief. 
though. We don't want that. This guy is one cavalry. Hey, what are you doing out Alt. here, buddy? <laughs> Finally, somebody we can pick on that's kind of close to our own size. Uh, now, and actually, I'm going to replace that last save because that was that was bad. That was really bad. Here we go. Finally, we're going to win our first noble battle, assuming I don't yeah. do anything incredibly stupid, like fight in this freaking town. Why did I fight in the village, man? I did not want to fight in the village. Alright, what kind of cab is this? Yeah. Looks like it's a regular cab. Uh, we can just outmaneuver this guy, no problem. Got him. All right, so number cav. We do have to worry about, I think the the daggers. Yeah, these guys have daggers. So let's deal with that. We're gonna send in long range artillery. Oh, that's nowhere near enough. I can't even see them. Yeah, here they are. Okay. Oh man, that's close. Wait, that guy doesn't have a shield. There we go. I like that they gave their top guy... Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want that. We don't want anything to do with that. This map is horrible. I, I, might, I might back out and uh, switch to the... I might switch to the bow and arrow already, maybe. Uh, I'll, I'll throw a few more, but yeah, this is... I can't even see him. I don't think I'm gonna hit much. I'm just kind of winging him into the, into the wild. Oh, there's one. We can take out a few shields. That would be good. Actually, they only have a couple. They only have a couple of these uh, dagger throwers. We can just take them out. That's not a big deal. All right, we're, we got it. <laughs> All right, that's that's the noble. Okay. Let's, um, what do we got on that? Six levels. Beautiful. So we got level 200. We'll deal with that in a sec. Let's go ahead and switch this out. And we'll finish them up with arrows. Your face wouldn't look prettier if you got beaten every day. That's, that is fact. Where are they? Oh, they're up in the... Up here in the vineyard. I gotta readjust to this bow. Yeah, once once we get enough skill in the bow, it's the the 275 perk and maybe level 300 or so. We can just one shot people in the leg. We're gonna be doing so much damage. Oh, you turned your back. Is he fleeing? Howard, it's the Vigla or Vigla. Those guys are terrible, man. Yeah, no wonder you ran. All right, that worked out pretty well. Because the Batanians went to sea to run from the women. <laughs> Right, we are going to take this guy. What kind of juicy loot do you got? Actually, let's do that. Let's start stacking this guy with throwing daggers. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do that in case we ever get to the uh, prison break. I I'm hoping we do. It just might be a, a tricky one to do, but we'll see.
Oh yeah, 200. So this one, triple damage of throwing axes. We're not using throwing axes, so we're going to go plus two ammunition for throwing weapons. We're going to be just drowned in, in javelins right now. We're going to have so many javelins. And we don't want to put up another point into here. We need one more into control, and then we're capped out there. We're going to get... Yeah, we're going to get one endurance from here, and we're going to get one control from here. So these will be maxed out. Everything else is going into vigor. And we need to start putting points into charm. That's the that's what's next. So let's head over and drop this guy off. And he is worth three influence. You are useless, my friend. Uh, let's take a quick look and see if there's anything better to take. So, I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah, this stuff's all junk. Although, yeah, we need to start smithing. I don't want to stop the action because I feel like we've got good momentum going. But we might have to. Yeah, no way we can have all this grain, but let's... Yeah, you know what? Let's see if they have hardwood. They do. Yeah, we have to do it. Let's just do it. But we'll refine a bunch of stuff. We'll rest a little bit. We gotta heal up anyways. And since our our healing rate's 50% or uh, our stamina regen is 50% faster, we can take all this stuff pretty fast. Oh wow, that went fast. Wait again, another half day. And Now we can start crafting some tier 2 stuff, so that might not be a bad idea. Actually, the tier 2 is not even better. Yeah, that one's actually better. Thousand. Okay, looks like it's this one, so we'll craft a few of these. Smelt it back down. Ooh, I did not mean to speed through that. Whoops. Oh, and you know what? Yeah, he... He used up all that. So this uses one. We're getting some skill here. This is going to be... Actually, they, they did nerf smithing pretty hard, so it does take a bit longer to, to level it up, but... It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and do it here and there when we can. That's not going to completely derail the campaign. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that, actually. Oh, we need to refine some of this now. speed through this pretty quickly guys so uh, I know this is kind of boring to watch so that's why I'm trying to just speed run through it uh, and if you're not sure what's going on you can ask in the chat I, I can try and explain some stuff but how many hours uh, max I think this is gonna take between 80 and 90, 80 and 100 but it could be less I don't know I don't know I, I think it's gonna be 80 to 100, but yeah, you just never know. All right, we do have better, we do have some better uh, recipes here. That could be a decent one. All right, that's it for that. Actually, let's just do a little more. One more. Yep. Do two of these. Oops. 
not true. Alright, craft a couple of these. Yeah, I see I'm running out of this. Uh, we're actually going to run out of all the crafting materials, so I'm just going to go to the bottom of our charcoal and then um, we'll just sell off the whatever's left. The, uh, we can't sell the weapons, obviously, but we can sell the crafting materials. Just because we don't want to be overburdened. Let's do one more. And last one. And of course we ran out of stamina. Oh, somebody declared war on us. Oh, no, 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 we don't have... Well, let's see if they have more hardwood. Crap, they don't. Well, we'll just hang on to it then and we'll smelt it somewhere else. Yeah, we can't sell this thing, but we can sell... Well, you know, it doesn't really matter. We're not overburdened anyways. He's got a catheter. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't need to go to the bathroom that often. How will he capture with no, with, uh, no one? It, it's doable. You just gotta watch. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a tough one, but. Oh no, Asurai, they're gonna take the other one. That's our only thief. Yeah, that one's good as gone. There's no way we defend it, especially not the first wave. Uh, Curious Smith, so designing, so that should help unlock quite a bit faster. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Oh, two rain. Two, only two cav. Yeah, I like that. I like that. You Bolt. may think you're ahead, but you're actually not ahead. What does he have, though? Some infantry. It's visually... Yeah, they're trash units. Um... I think I want to start... I think I want to start with the javelins first, though. Let's do that. We'll deal with the cav. Yeah! Still traumatized by horse archers? Yeah, we all are. They're so... Even if they're like... Sometimes they're not even dangerous. They're just annoying. Okay, that's 0 for 3. Let's... Let's rethink this here. What are we going to do? Uh, let's actually try and get behind them. Since there's only two of them, we should be able to do that. Yeah, we can get behind this guy for sure. Got to weave because we are... They do have a couple archers. All right, his shield should be gone soon. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to... I don't want to play chicken with that guy. I'll play chicken with this guy. Just behind. That, that's the thing that's it's going to mess me up in this campaign is switching back and forth between bow and arrow and javelins because I get so used to aiming with one and then I transition to the next one and it's like trying to remember those aim points is kind of tough right, let's keep moving we'll go on the next shot yeah here we go they do a nice little surprise right in his guts. Oh, right in the gut. Oh, no, it was his chest, but might as well have been his guts. All right, we're going to get a ton of XP for this. This is really good. Yeah, this is really good for throwing. All right, I'm trying to get a little bit of forward momentum on him so that we can guarantee the kill with one hit. Even if it's not a headshot. Seems to be working well. That was a shoulder shot for 120. Oh, how powerful an OP a horse is when you don't have... When the enemy has no horses. <laughs> Oh, I was reading chat for a sec. That was a... Whoops. Why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> um, 
Yeah. You know, I, I always like challenges. And it's like a good way to... For me, it's a good way to justify spending 5,000 hours playing a game, right? It's like, well, so I played for 5,000 hours, now what? <laughs> now I can actually say I put that time to use. Um, this is a pretty extreme challenge, to say the least, but... It is, it is fun, too. I do enjoy them. Even the grindy stuff can be fun. Alright, that leaves just about nobody left, and we are going to switch over to the bow. Alright, they have no throwing weapons, so we're pretty safe here. Gotta pick them off in their ankles. Yeah, I can't wait to get this, the damage up more so we can one-shot these guys in the legs. That's gonna be really nice. Yeah, this guy's exposing his side, actually. That's nice for us. Oh, that guy does actually have... Does actually have javelins. Oh, no, 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 no. No way. No way. Okay, he's out. What the heck was that, man? That did so much damage. Was that a headshot? Oh, he hit us in the head, that's why. 65 damage to the head. Wow. Ooh, I would have been a little triggered if that killed. Alright, what is going on here? <laughs> yeah, that's that's BS, dude. Like that's that's literally hitting his feet and it's counting as a, a shield shot. Oh, so his His commander who's dead is still giving him the uh still giving him medicine perks because that did a hundred damage and he didn't go down. All right, shoot you in the foot. All right, this is annoying now. The other option is to bait them into throwing an attack. Sometimes they don't do it though. Like he did it only until, only when my back was to him, but it's fine. We can do it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, dude. No way, no way, no way. There we go. Yeah, 100 damage to the chest, and he's still... Still around to talk about it. Oh, this guy still has a javelin. He still has a javelin. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a polearm. All right, well, that was it. Get horizontal. <laughs> yeah, the hills, it, it's tough because it, it, it was taking a really long time. It's all right. I, I don't mind baiting him in. It's not too bad. So we'll take him prisoner and we'll donate him. Take all the loot. We got a little bit of upgrade on the civilian side. Uh, what do we got rid of? Get rid of the... Oh, we have... Mm, this stuff doesn't weigh much. Yeah, let's get rid of the harness. We have way too much food, and that should be fine. Uh, what game version is this? This is the most recent beta, so it's got the patch. I think it's 1.2.6. I think it's the one that just came out recently, a couple days ago. Oh man, good thing we didn't get caught by that guy. We can definitely do that soon, but not yet. We're at 2.15, so we're very close. Uh, Pick up items from the ground while mounted. I, I, I'm having a real hard time deciding between these two, because this would be good. We can stay, uh, we can stay with our throwing build fast for longer. 
but it's so hard. Like, how do you turn down travel speed throwing weapons? Make sure your your javelins go longer. I don't know. No horse for storage. I have one. Only one though. You can't go over it because then we'll we'll start getting hurting penalty, and that would be really bad. Uh, we do need to smelt these down. There's nothing really worth keeping here, so let's just get rid of all this extra stuff. Do they have? They do not. Yeah, we need to get. We need to find a place that's got hardwood. What do you got for your arena? That sounds interesting. Oh, it's trash. Usually you don't get a chance to pick up your items. Yeah, I think with that perk, it's kind of nice because if they miss a throw with their javelin, or if, if we kill somebody that's got a pack of javelins, we can refresh from there. Um, not too worried about picking up other stuff other than just javelins when we're using the javelin, because we're going to go in either shield in three sets or four sets. Did we... We didn't lose Tamna yet. Oh, we gave Annika and they took it back, so they might try and give it to us again. That'd be funny. Definitely don't want it, but if it survives the war, we'll take it, because it's an extra four, five hundred uh, dinars a day at least. Yeah, this place has got hardwood. Let's do that. Did I? No, I was going to say, I think I just smelted something I didn't want to, but I don't think so. Alright, two-handed, we're... I don't even know why I'm leveling up two-handed first. It, it should be the other... It should be the pole arms. It's just so... It takes forever to get the first pole arm stuff going, and two-handed is just really easy to do. But it's probably a mistake. I need to start buying Pugio, right? Can we buy him? Yeah, we can. We got nothing else to spend our money on anyways. Okay, let's go make some stuff. I think this one's, yeah, this one's probably going to give the most XP. So this stuff doesn't even matter, but we'll just do it. We can make we can make a few of these actually. Yep, smelt them back down. Trison and daggers are good too, apparently. Yeah, they're really good. And then um I don't think they sell those here though. They, yeah, it, some some places have them both, some places have one or the other. So, 100, that's going to give us the 10% chance for fine uh, crafting orders. Yeah, I don't really mess with that, but 10% chance is fine. Yeah, we, we'll take advantage of it. Oh, wait, what's this? Uh, they want to, no, they don't want to give it to us. <laughs> We'd have to vote for it. Now, we don't want to give it to go, to Regea. Let's, let's make sure somebody else gets it. So, we'll spend a little bit of influence to avoid that. It's going to make our life way harder in the future if, if the the leader has more fiefs. So. Oops. Okay, that's that. We need... Wait, where are you? We need to smelt. Crap. Smelt. I think we can do one more, right? Yeah, one more. And we don't have the right perks for this, which is fine. We don't we don't really want the right perks. Uh, what we could do is we could... Oh man, look at that. We got the Falk. So that might actually not be a bad idea to craft. Now that I think about it, it's okay. Because we can we can throw a, a combo on the one that does one-handed, two-handed, like this. And then we can make a really good Falk's Blade. So why don't we do that? 
Uh, we can't do it yet. Obviously, we don't have the materials for it. Oh, yeah, we do. We do, actually. Okay. I like the sound of that. Uh, make it as long as we can. Make it as nazzy as we can make it, I guess. And then, yeah, we want to make everything big. Oh, you know what? We, there's something that we're missing. We don't... Is it this? This one probably uses a steel. Yeah, that's a waste. Alright, fine. We'll use two iron. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's going to be bad, though. Yeah, it's going to be bad. Rusty. Oh, that's really bad. We need a higher... We need a higher skill level. It's still... It's still pretty good. Let's keep it, and we'll get rid of our scalpel. I still think it's going to do better damage. 79 cut compared to 73. And... It's got more length. Just barely. Yeah, that's fine. So many parts, but still poor. Yeah, we're not selling them. We're not doing smithing for, for profit. We're going to have to avoid that. Just to add a little more challenge to it. Honestly, it doesn't really make that big of a difference, but I don't want to hear people complain. Oh, you use smithing. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just avoid it altogether. So now what we're going to do is let's keep our fine steel and steel. We'll get rid of the charcoal, iron, hardwood, all this junk. All right, is there anything else we got to get rid of? Not really. Alright, that should be good. Yeah, I'm trying to unlock better weapons because we there's a lot of stuff we're going to be using. We need to have a really good two-handed sword, which we have. Uh, well, obviously we need to get a better one because this one's rusty, but we need that. We need a good polearm. We need custom set of javelins. We need a two-handed axe. We're gonna have. We're gonna be using a lot, a lot, a lot of weapons. So, uh, is this update coming to Xbox? Yeah, you never know, man. <laughs> yeah, it's whenever Tail Worlds gets done with it. They're still. They're trying to make it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back. They. They need to. Um, they need to get it off the beta branch. So it sounds like they're still dealing with some bugs. Miracle shot? Oh, miracle shot. <laughs> Times two. Times three. No, that was a terrible shot. Wow, he survived that one. Nice. Destroyed his ankle, though. Let's deal with these two throwers so we can just be done with this. Nope, guess not. Oh man, to the guts. We were moving away from him, so it like killed all the damage. If you're, it's it's hard to do damage when you're moving away from somebody. Nope, nope, nope. That's not what I meant. Alright, we should be pretty close. 20, yeah, we're almost at 225. Yeah, it's hard to say when the patch is going to come out. I have a different one than I have, so I don't know. Yeah, so the smithing, I, I have a, a mod that changes smithing a little bit, just so I don't have to click every time I can bulk stuff. So, didn't you already do a solo world conquest? Hey, bro, it's a little different. This is a true solo, so like literally one person the whole game. The other one was a solo clan world conquest. So slightly different, but yeah, similar. I'll be so happy when this thing gets to two, 250. Yeah, even 225 is not going to do it. We got to get all the way up. But we're getting there. We are Today getting there. Oh, 
Oh man. I'm getting lazy. I'm starting to get a little impatient on these grindy ones. I should probably start looking for big... It can be done this way, but this is the slower way to do it because these are low level guys. If we find another one of those noble parties, we'll be able to level up pretty fast. It's just a lot higher risk. Because we need 250 to farm the noble parties. But we need to get the two, you know, getting 250 farming noble parties is faster. It's kind of like a catch 22. Alright, we hit 225, so we're good there. Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's too short. I can't hit him. I can't aim down lo low enough. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, little guy. Alright, 225. We're good. I'm new to the channel. Does he primarily Bandlord content? Does he have a variety of stuff? Hey, Godfrey. I do... I, I used to do only Bandlord, but I'm starting to branch out and do a bunch of stuff. Um... My main one was Bandalord for a long time, though. But I, I've done some CK3 content. I'm starting to get into Starfield, although I kind of struggled to get a video out for that. Um, there's other games I'm, I'm going to cover soon. But yeah, kind of a, I'm trying to get into a mix of stuff. What do we got? I think everything here is good to go. The pros of being short, exactly. Yeah, most of the videos on this sp channel specifically are Bannerlord, and I'm starting to do some CK3 guides. But um, uh, especially on the other channel, the main channel that I'm doing, the, the heavily edited one, it's going to be a mix. So this is, again, I, I don't know what the right choice is here. I feel like Perfect Technique's probably the, the right call, just because you can get your, your javelins to... They're easier to hit, you have less arc, because it, it's faster. Let's go that. I can always respec. Yeah, we can reset the perks if we need to, because... Well, no, that one doesn't make sense to respect. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's not a problem. Uh, why I can't create a kingdom after left as a vassal, but I already have a clan tier 4. Please help. Um, do You have you have to own a fief, and you have to have a, a governor in there, and then talk to them, and then you should have the option to do it. Yeah, exactly. Psycho's got gotcha. you. Okay, well, what are we doing here? What are we doing? I, I guess let's go find more um, some bandit hideouts, maybe. Or small noble parties. This might actually be a small party because it's a recent conquest. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. Ooh, force bandits. We're going to have to switch our loadout up, up for this one, though. And I'm going to take my... <laughs> I'm going to take all this stuff I don't want to lose, just in case we die for some stupid reason. Yeah. What's the benefit of leveling smithing for the solar run? Good question. So, there's two perks in there that I want to get for the attribute points. We're going to get plus one endurance and plus one control. So we're going to get those from smithing. And then also, we're going to be using several different loadouts. Oh, this thing is nasty. 219 damage. Even though even though it's rusty, it's still a fault. This is such a good I'm really glad we did that. Yeah. I'm happy now, I'm happy. No, oh, they're gonna start doing that if I get too close. Oops. <laughs> Alright, we're getting too close. We gotta give them more space so they don't block. There we go. Even 121 for a bad hit. Not bad at all. 75, that was really bad, actually. Do you guys find it easier to offhand on your left side? Or to hit on your right like this? I, I used to hate the backhand. I felt like it was kind of awkward, but now I'm just so used to it, it just feels natural. The other way is actually harder for me now. toast and that's how you solo archers whoops yeah. there we go note to self get falks yeah it's such a good weapon 
Fox is really good. And this is a bad Fox. Keep in mind, this is rusty. This doesn't even have top tier parts on it, like all of them. It's just really good. Right side free pin. Yeah, so most people, I think, are they default on the right side. And for some reason, I don't know why, but I just got used to doing it on the left. And it just feels, it feels better now. More reach. It, yeah, it seems that way, but I, I haven't noticed much of a difference. I don't know. It's hard to say. All right, let's get over here, see if we can get an easy fight with some nobles, maybe. Oh, they're already there. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this won't be a good fight for us. Now they're going in. Uh, I don't want to do this until we get 250, because uh, once we do that, then we can easily pick people off. Are they going to come and steal the show, maybe? No, maybe not. Yeah, of course, of course. Why, why wouldn't you chase the solo cav unit? Stop that. Who are you? Oh, I did it again. I did it again. Names, even if we fight. I did it again, man. It's got only nine cav, though. So we might be able to do this. Oh, 22 woodrunners. That's a lot of javelins, man. I don't... I don't know about that. All right, well, this is definitely a save point. It it seems like it should have less range. I agree with you. Uh, let's go ahead and swap this out. We'll start with the javelins first. Hopefully, we don't get a bad map. If if this is just a bunch of trees and a forest, it's gonna be bad. No, this is a wide open. Perfect. All right, if we were to have a chance, it'd be on a map like this. They don't have a ton of archers. Actually, I'm not too worried about the archers. I am a little bit worried about the javelins. Look at the banner bearer just going straight in. Oh, these are all... Uh, I think they have javelins, not... Let's get this guy before he gets back to his line. Beautiful. Yeah, see, now we can pick these up, actually. We can pick those up. Oh, this guy's by himself. Nair, 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 nair. Get out of here. Alright, that's two cab down. I don't really want to go near these guys until their javelins are gone. It's just... We can dodge, you know, four or five of them, but there's... With that many, you just... The odds of you get picked by one is, is pretty high. So we'll conserve. We'll conserve, then delay... They're starting to come at us now. We still got 150 meters from them. Look at that throw. Wow. <laughs> what a throw. Uh, let's make sure we don't run into a tree here. All right. I think we're good. We got distance. We got most of the javelins to dealt with. Yeah, we'll pick. I have an idea, actually. Let's pick them off. We'll draw them away, and then we're going to go after that guy on foot. Actually, we can probably just take all these guys out. Yeah, we can just start taking these guys out. They don't have shields. Wait, what am I doing? They don't have shields. Oh, they're fast. Fast, fast, fast. <laughs> oh, man. I can't aim this thing. It's really hard, actually. There we go. Finally got one. There's one. There we go. That was a do or die. He would have hit us with the javelin dead on. Oh, they still have a... We still have a cab up. I didn't know that. Alright, let's get these cabs. These... Oh, man, man, that hurts. Alright, there we go. Cabs dealt with. I think there's only one left. Let's just get out of here without dying. And I still want to deal... I want to take out that last cab. Oh, there's... I saw there's two cav. But we can't go out of bounds because then we'll just lose what we had. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are we getting shot from? Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, the archers are right there. I walked right. I ran straight into them. That was stupid. And it just It's like you spend all this time, you get such a good run going, and then you make a stupid mistake like that. All right, let's... Let's match this guy's speed in case we whiff. 
Oh, beautiful. And the horse did a bunny hop. <laughs> Alright, we got it. So now we just gotta deal with the plethora of throwing implements that they have. Right, let's do a long range artillery. If that hits, that's gonna be awesome. No, almost. Alright, I think I'm gonna try and get some shots in while circling. Something like this would be reasonable, I think. And we have a pretty good chance of dodging most of what they throw at us. Gotta be freaking kidding me right now. What what am I getting hit with? It's an arrow, right? Like, they only have four archers. How are four archers hitting me so many times? I'm so frustrated right now. <sighs> Throw some bombs. Oh! <laughs> We hit a shield. All right, let's throw some bombs. There's another one. We got 229 off of that. That's not gonna hit, it's too short. Uh, we should still have enough health to back out and get our other load out, but it's getting really close and I don't even wanna go near them because these archers are just ridiculous. They're on us. Yeah, look at that. They're hit. They're shooting at us from here, over 100 meters. I don't even think they're good archers. What are they? Oh no, they're highborn. That's why. Okay. Well, I guess it makes a little more sense now. They're the elite. They have an M1 Garen. Yeah. All right. Let's throw a few more, and then let's get out of here. bomb those archers man <laughs> if we can pick an archer off that would be a very satisfactory and but i feel like we're gonna get hit somebody's throwing uh throwing axes at us there's a raider that's the guy without a shield Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna get hit. We're gonna get hit by arrows. Let's just not even attempt it. Oh, we have exactly 20% health. Wow. I didn't realize we were that close. That's kind of ridiculous. All right, well, we got to make it work. I don't know how this is gonna work, but we have to make it work. Otherwise, we're just out. Uh, we can we we can craft this. So if we lose our uh, we if we lose our sword, it's not that big of a loss. Not a big deal. Uh, mentioned other channels posting on. Yeah, if you click on the channel page, it'll take you one of the one of the things on the channel page will have the other channels that I have. Uh, so one of this one is Strat Gaming Guys. I've got Strat Plays and I've got Strat uh, just Strat Gaming. That's the where do they go this way. Uh, that's the one where I have the heavily edited stuff on. Yeah, so the, the Let's Play channel, that's for the long form. Oh, well, that's too long even. This thing shoots so far. There we go. Oh, they're taking aim from there already. That's 115. Yeah, definitely don't want to mess with them too much. Uh, what am I going to do here? Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little lost, but let me, let's get the high ground at least. Gotta try and pick that archer off in the front. I don't know, I think it's an archer. Oh yeah, of course, his first shot hits us. <laughs> Good thing it hit the horse, but that is, that's just absurd. Like that's a tier tier two or a tier three archer hitting uphill from 120 like, meters. First shot hit. Like, come on, come on, game. Come on, Tail Worlds. Don't do that to me. All 
Alright, I gotta try and take out that archer. He's being a pest. I don't know which I think it's the guy on the side by himself. I'm gonna have to do some really long range. Oh, that's on him right here. And he's taking shots already. Yeah, I, the problem is I can't tell when they're taking aim to shoot, so I don't know when to juke. So it's it's really risky. Man, having a low health is just bad. I I guess I should have maybe I should have gone for the melee the melee build so I could take him out with the shield. But I can't even stop for more than a second. I can't get my aim on him. Oh wow. I can't I can't even see him now. I don't know. I wasn't even off. That wasn't where he is. Alright, here he is. Alright, in his general direction. There we go. Oh, that was a headshot too. No 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Be nice game. Be nice. Oh man. Oh, I had a, like a mild heart attack there. All right, so we need to get these two archers here off on the flank. So they're they're actually separated from the group, so that that makes it a little bit easier. There's one right here. This guy's more dangerous cuz he's shooting at like the whole time. Yeah. That's too far. Yeah, it's too far. It's just ridiculous how accurate they are. All right, I can't even see him now, so let's get out. The, literally, those two archers are keeping us off of their their gigantic stack, their gigantic doom stack. It's it's kind of frustrating. All right, let's get up the hill. We can get a better vantage point, hopefully. They're kind of mixed in, but I should be able to get some shots and zero him in. Oh. Well. <laughs> Okay, we're hacking. I gotta admit, that was that was definitely hacked. Dang, we one tapped him. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I can't tell Oh there he is. And that isn't yeah, that's the archer. So that's the last archer. Yep, that's it. Highborn youth, he's down. So now we can take our time a little bit. Wait, who's got Oh the noble. The noble has a bow and arrow. Wow, good thing I noticed. That's probably who's been shooting us then. Maybe it hasn't even been. That's maybe that's why. <laughs> I didn't even know the noble had a bow and arrow. Oh, and they're starting to unleash. All right, we got to back out. 103 damage, didn't die. So he's got HP perks on his troops. That's unfortunate. Zero him for life. Yeah, I was trying to bracket him like uh, like they do in the naval bombardments, but. Uh, I got lucky with that first shot. Yeah. Oh, that was close. This is this is like legit long range. I can't really get close because they have too many throwing weapons. I think I can get some decent shots off. Oh, that's a little bit short. I can't see him now. There he is. That was right over his left shoulder. Hiding like a coward behind his troops. Oh, I led him right there. I knew he was going to go down the hill, too. All right, there we go. Oh, right over his head. Just give it to me, please. Yeah. Just give me this once. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, there he is in the back. All right, let him get his shot off. Yeah. Aim. Oh, it's too high. All right, this is intense, man. We gotta, we gotta take him out before we go down, or before we switch loadouts. Have to take him out. It's tough because he's a moving target. I kind of have to predict where he's gonna be. Now nah, he's moving. 
that went right over the head. Oh no, the horse. Oh, we need to go, we need to go. We got 26 shots. Oh. All right, let's get some distance and then kind of reset. All right, if I can get... He's moving at a steady pace here. I might be able to zero him in on this. A little bit longer. Oh, man, right by him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. A little bit longer. No, now he's taking shots. I almost want to go in for an, a, a closer shot, but then I feel like I'm just going to die. I'm just going to instantly die <laughs> before I even get a shot off. So let's go back up to the mountains. I feel like I, I feel like the best chance that we've got here is, is on the mountains. Oh, that's way short. So close, man. Oh, there we go. We got him. Shoulder shot while he was moving. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, so I don't know how many throwing weapons they have left. Uh, they still have quite a few, actually. I can see them cocking their arm back. All right, so we've got 16 shots left. It's not really going to put a big dent in them, but... All right, we'll take some of them out. It's pretty dark. I can't really tell who's got what. Like, I'm trying to find if they've got any of those long spearmen that are going to be able to outrange with the melee. That would be a, a bit of a, a problem to deal with. There we go. Raider, that's one. There's another one right here. I see a shiny helmet. I'm just aiming for the shiny helmet. Yep, it's another raider. Five shots left. Yeah. This is going to be scary, man, going in melee range with these guys, because they have so many throwing weapons. It's going to be tough. Alright, let's get up. How do we do? Three levels, not bad. We killed 12. Okay, uh, we've got... Yep, all the usual stuff, so... If we go down, it's fine. We'll, we'll still have our, our main gear. Not the end of the world. <laughs> Troops are overrated. Yeah! That is true. Alright, so we need to find a good way to get in on these guys. You know what? I have an idea, actually, that might just work. This might work. Oh, no, it's red out. Um, it, it could still work right here. So what I'm thinking is get them on a hill so that they're on the peak, and it'll make it really hard for them to shoot on either side of the mountain while I'm running around. And that could limit the amount of javelins that I have to dodge. All right, they're on it, so let's just go around and see what it looks like. I'm not going to go in just yet. I'm just going to keep a nice curved path. So they don't seem to be able to throw. 70 damage, that's not what I want to see. I might actually have to use the pole arm here. It's going to be hard to reach. Yeah, I can't even... Man, that's so scary. Oh, that guy almost killed me. Yeah, he threw a javelin and went right right behind us or something. I don't know. I have my shield up. I don't know. I don't know what killed us, but they frustrating me. Really frustrating.
Yeah, I had I had my shield up. 100% had my shield up when that went down, but what can you do? I mean, like I said, we're not really losing that much other than... I mean, we're still getting the XP because we're fighting it. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, 2300. We'll pay 2300 to get out of there. Let's um, let's go to Poros and heal up. Uh, Shabalzimur, we're losing it. We have to give it up. Man, there's our only income. Shabalzimur. Uh, what? Oh, we lost. We lost our fief, and, and I guess they took it back. Interesting. I didn't realize we had lost it already. Oh, it's Tamna. Tamna's the one that we had. And we lost it. I didn't know that we lost it. I know it was under... No, I didn't know it was under siege, actually. I would have given it away before. Huh. Well, we're not doing too good a job <laughs> at holding fiefs, which is fine. It's not really what we're going for, anyways. Uh, so we need a shield. Oh, no, we don't need a shield. We need arrows, and we need javelins. Uh, good thing we have a bunch of horsemen. So that's fine. And then we need arrows. And we're back to square one. No problem. Actually, we probably need to go around like this. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Alright, let's, let's heal up. And that puts us at 32. We might actually be able to get Walk It Off, which gives us another 10 hit points after offensive battles. So that, that'd be pretty good if we can do that. Now, there's a big battle just now right here. I wonder if we can pick up... If these little guys... Maybe we can pick up some of these little little guys. Oh, that's a, that's a bold move, if I say so. Uh, good luck. I appreciate it, Saki. Thank you. Feel free to pause a bit in stretching. Well, I, the, we've only got like another hour or so, and I gotta end the stream because it's gonna spill over into the point where it just stops recording. I don't want it to cut it off. Uh, what are we gonna do here? Let's bomb this guy. I totally messed that up. That was so bad. I do want to take out the noble, if possible. Oh, they, <laughs> they're just getting... Oh, that's so... That's so many cav. Wow, I don't know who's who, so I'm just going to attack whoever. I don't really care. Yeah, I apologize if... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just do... Uh, let's do Russian roulette with javelins. Oh, there's one elite cat. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, this battle's over already anyways. Oh, did it kill it? I didn't see that. I thought we just downed it. Wow, that that helped. Did he die? Oh no, he didn't die. That would have been pretty pretty cool if we killed him. We did get it we might get him as a prisoner though, now that we because we downed him. So 230 Yeah, we're almost there. <clears throat> so we did help, so we get a little bit of relations with that, but it's pretty minor. And we got Jack all for loot. What the heck was that, man? We took a noble down. We should have gotten something from him. I get it is still technically RNG whether they drop something or not. Uh, let's not mess with the force bandits because we can't use the javelins. I have to switch to the shield. What's the strat to conquer solo? Yeah. I, I don't want to give away too much because there's uh, this is going to be uh, videos that I think people will probably watch for on the Let's Play channel or they want to wait until it's on the edited channel. So I don't want to give away too much, but there there's going to be several stages to this and multiple ways of taking thieves. Uh, two or three different ways. It's not just going to be one. Uh, dodge and weave. Juke, juke, juke. Accurate these little guys are. Alright, 234. We're 16 away, and then we have it. 
How do you take thieves without any troops? Um, it's it's pretty hard. I mean, it used to be a lot easier when you can just go in by yourself and then they would open the gate and try and get you. But here's the thing. The hardest part is getting the siege camp built. That's the problem. So the siege camp takes a really long time to build when you're by yourself. Because every remember when you have uh, engineering skill, it increases the speed that you set up the camp. But also every troop that you have increases. So if you have like 200 troops compared to 1,000 troops... You know, you're going to set up the camp way faster with a thousand troops. Here we go. Here we go. 10 cav. Do we want to deal with 10 cav, though? It's equite, cataphract, heavy horsemen, elite cataphract. Man, these are big boys. Yeah, why not? Let's let's not do it in the town, in the village, though. Let's do it outside. It's more where it's a little bit more clear. Halt. I actually meant to click back. Hopefully we're not in a forest, but that's all right. Uh, let's save this one. So we're going to start with javelins. Yeah, let's go to town with the javelins first. Did we win the night battle? Uh, there, I, I've lost most of the battles. <laughs> so it's safe to assume no, I didn't win the battle you're referring to. But we're still kicking. We're still trying. It's, it's, not, uh, <laughs> it's not how you start, right? It's how you finish. Oops. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna actually go around these guys and take that that dismounted cab out. Are you kidding me? All right, well, whatever. All right, he's down, so we got one less cab. I gotta stop getting hit with these stupid things, man. I don't know how they're catching up to me so fast. There's one. All right, so I gotta lead it. But I, I'm so used to throwing it this way. I'm more comfortable this way. I'm just going to do it like this. Oh, nice. We got an Imperial Cataphract on that. And there's 12 archers. Don't want to go near the archers because they will absolutely pepper us. I say before the battle, just in case we die, I, I will save Scum for a death, but a uh, battle lost, I haven't really touched it yet. We've taken the losses on the chin. <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, if we die in battle, that means I've just wasted 10 hours, and I don't really have the luxury of wasting 10 hours for a video. Um, so, but I don't... It, it's pretty unlikely to die in battle. For the most part, you just gotta deal with old age. Alright, let's try and pick this guy off. Ah, man, he's so close to hitting us. Right, this guy doesn't have a shield out because he's... Let's get him in the water. Oh, man. Why are you throwing it so low? There we go. One and two. No, no, no. Not the horse. Hit him. There we go. I love how they just drop through their horse. They, they like, fall like a sack of rocks. Clipping through their, their mount. All right. We're not going to be able to bust the shield without a bunch of forward momentum. So let's try and do that. How? I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. I threw that right at him. Oh, I'm so frustrated, man. It's, little stuff like this keeps happening. Like I, I feel like I should have dodged that, but... What the heck? I don't even think that's enough health to keep going. I think we just automatically lose here. I think. Yeah, that's not that's not 20%. So frustrated right now. See, like that, he he pulled his guard to try and attack me, and it's still blocked. Punk. Yeah, I wish I could tell what my health was so I, I could know if it's safe to back out or not, and then I don't have to waste time here because I can just give up. Uh, I guess I'm getting some XP, but eight hours in and already frustrated. It, the, the problem is getting to 250. Once we hit 250, the frustration goes away. Or the vast majority of it goes away. 
I mean, well, I don't want to say that. It's still going to be frustrating, but you know. I can't believe I missed that. There we go. So, without a shield, he goes down. That, at least we got that. Nope, and his shield's extending down below his foot somehow. There we go. Alright, that's calf taken care of. No, they have two calves still. What calf do they have? Are they dismounted? They might they might be dismounted actually. No, there's Yeah, they're dismounted. The archers are taking shots already, so I can't really get near them. I will take some shots, though. We'll take as many. Oh no, but we can't. We're gonna lose the bow. We're gonna lose the bow if we if we lose this. Well, the only other thing I can think of is find a body. Where did we take out? Some of their cab. I know there was some up here. Let's see if we can get. I, I'm tempted to back out, but I really think this is not enough health. Wait, where's his? Where's his gear? Why is his gear gone? Oh, uh, I guess he doesn't have a shield because we probably busted it. I know there was somebody up here we killed that did not lose the shield. That guy we killed the shield. And we're getting pelted. This is just going to be so hard to do. We need a shield. If we had a shield, actually, I think it'd be doable. I, I, I'm going to search for the shield. So we killed somebody over here as well. Arrows. That guy with the sword. We can get melee weapon. You got to find it before they start shooting arrows all over because every time an arrow hits the floor, it creates another entity. And you can only have so many entities on the map at once, which means if there's stuff on the floor you have it scooped up, it's going to disappear because the arrows are going to overtake it, I think. I believe that's how it works because I've had instances where I know there's loot from somebody that I didn't touch, and it's just gone after a certain amount of battle. Yeah, there's just a bunch of roaming horses here. Can't I can't pick the horse up and use him as a shield. I really need a shield. Like, badly need a shield. Alright, well. Uh, what else can we do? We can use the terrain. We can try and use the terrain. Oh, no, 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 no. We can try and use the terrain over here. That'll at least block from the arrows until we get in range, maybe? I don't know. It's probably not a good plan, but it is... The only plan it's it's really the only option we've got right now 40 yeah. meters let's go let's go don't shoot me oh we're, we're gonna we're just gonna get killed here like instantly dead <laughs> oh no yeah just kill the infantry the problem is getting to the infantry yeah it's gonna be tough and then if you kill the infantry like how are we gonna Get the shield. Oh, no, no, no. They're all, they're all over here. I need to take out the archers. If we get the archers, then I think we're actually in pretty good shape. Yikes, 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 yikes. All right. Where are the archers? Let's block them from this and get them off of that stupid rock. I can't hit them where they are. All right, here we go. I can come in from behind now. Giggity. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me. <laughs> oh, strapped in, boys. It's going to be a long haul. It's going to be a long haul for sure. Yeah, we got one. We got one. It's repeatable, I think. I mean, there's a there's a risk on the way out, but every time we do it, we eliminate that risk a little bit. Oh, that might be bad. Oh, there's a like a big pucker factor. <laughs> if... I mean, this would be the stupidest win. If if this ends up being a win, this would be the stupidest one, right? There's other ones that we should have won for sure that we did that just didn't because of silly mistake. All right, this guy needs to go. One more, get one more shot off. 
and then I'd feel better about going and smashing your face in. There we go. All right, we're killing our horse. Oh, no, 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 they're right there. I didn't realize. Oh, no, 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 no. That was really, really close. All right, we need to use this hill, sort of. We need to come at him from an angle, though. No, we need to... We just need to go back to this hill that's locked. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, for sure we can't go back out now. This is it. This is... The only option we have. 30 meters. Man, it's... It's, it's looking good if we can just avoid getting shot. And it's going to be hard. We got to sneak up on the bottom of the hill, maybe. Oh, barely got him. Barely got him. That was very lucky, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, let's sneak up on these guys again. And I don't mind blasting through the guys with the, sh with the swords. They don't have alarms, so they can't really stop us. Oh, we just went by a pole arm. That would have been catastrophic. All right, I'm going to post up over here and try and get them spread out again because they're they're bunching up too much. I can't really get a, a good shot. Here we go. Yeah, come this way. Come this way. We got to massage them into place here a little bit. All right, they're kind of locked in there. Oh, there's an archer here. Beautiful. They got... Yeah, they're separated. Those guys are all by themselves. That's an easy pick if we can get to them without getting shot. These guys are in a little a little divot. They can't really get out of it, or they can't see to shoot me out of it, so this might actually work. Got him. It wasn't enough to kill, though. Yikes, 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 yikes. I gotta take a wide angle on this one, because they're starting to get... Oh, no, they're too far up there now. killing these guys yet. It's fine. Where are the archers? Alright, I'm gonna... No, I can't go for them. They're all right there. Alright, I gotta go for it. I just have to. I, there's... There's not much I can do. I kind of have to take some risks. Uh, or I'm gonna get carpal tunnel before we get the kill. I'm gonna bowl them over. Oh, 24 damage. Alright, if we can get him to line up like that, I can just bowl him over. <laughs> there was there was one guy with a shield in there that's in a in a pole arm that's kinda scary. Oh, oh got him, got him, got him. There we go. That actually we killed an archer with the with the uh, charge damage. And I didn't even switch my riding perk yet. That's gonna make a difference too. Where are the archers? There's four archers left. Oh, it's so close, man. I don't want to make a stupid mistake. Let me let me slow down here for a sec. All right, let's get the archers. My hands are sweaty, man. I gotta dry these things off. Here we go. Here we go. Yep. Stay in that divot. They won't even be able to see me until it's too late. Oh, I didn't. See... Got him. There's an archer down. Three left. All right, there's two in the divot. Where's the third? One of them might be out of ammo, actually. I only see two with, with bows drawn. All right, there's one archer down. One left. No, two left. Going for it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> we got out like a bandit. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. That was really bad. Man, that was so bad. I knew that was going to happen too, and I just couldn't help myself. Wow. All right, this this should probably be its own video. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? So he's kind of surrounded. Let's uh, let's let him get out, maybe by himself. Yeah, he's still got arrows too. He's taking shots. It's a low tier, so 
I don't feel as bad about it, but... Alright, no archers, they're gone. No more archers. We can draw them out into the open. Ooh. Sigh of relief. Here we go. Alright, most of these guys are easy because they don't have shields and spears. They just have uh, swords. I, nobody has throwing weapons that I'm aware of. So we should be fine. Why is this thing not... Why is... Uh, yeah, I guess I gotta change my angle a little bit. Actually, if we can take out the full arms first, that would make me feel better. Kind of risky, though. Spears too long. <laughs> I gotta try and get the guys at the pole arms. That's really the only chance they have here. So if I can, if I can get one not paying attention or like an easy shot, yeah, hit and run. This guy's by himself. Oh, that's bad. I got too close, but. All right, there's one spear down. One left. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we gotta run. Uh, I think we can find a horse. <laughs> I think we can find a horse. Are there horses left? Please tell me there's a horse. Please tell me there's a horse left. Oh, man. We, we got distance, so... There's gotta be a horse somewhere. No, 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 don't do this. Oh, there's a horse! <laughs> we got a horse. No, 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 don't go off the... Oh, we gotta get back in before the end. Three seconds left. All right, we got it. Woo! <laughs> this is such a weird fight, man. What the heck is going on? All right, this guy's by himself. Which actually I don't like. I'd rather him in there with the with the pack, because then his his pole arm will bounce off of people. So let's just circle a little bit, get him tightened in the pack, and then we'll take him out. All right, I really do want to take him out. Why he's going by himself though? There we go. Kind of. His his pole <laughs> sounds wrong, but his pole arm's really long. <laughs> Got him. All right, we got it. We got it. I think, assuming I don't do anything stupid, like when I slow down and let them smash my horse 50,000 times, I think we got the thing. We got it. Yeah, don't hit my horse, please. You know, I, I know we can survive it, but I don't want to have another scare. Oh, boy. That's the noble. He's that's that's what caught me last time. I think I think the noble just he's like in the pack and then sometimes he breaks away and uses his own speed. And he's probably like two or two fifty athletics. And he's really good with that. Oh, there we go. We got him. There's the ember. All right, they're going to break off and do their own thing now. Why aren't you chasing? They're learning. What is this? This sorcery. I'm tempted to just ram right into them. Like, just get some speed and just blast them. Like, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? They're not going to do anything. All right, let's get some real distance and let's just blast these guys. <laughs> we're going to go bowling, boys. That's what we're doing now. Because they're going to block everything, apparently. There's another one for 33 damage. Ask ChatGPT how to defeat you. Well, I mean, the AI's done it like four or five times already. Just not, just not this this specific battle. <laughs> yeah, they don't seem to they don't seem to attack when I have my when I have my weapon raised. They just block. 
and they don't try and attack back, so it should be fairly safe. Another one dead. Uh oh, I'm so happy we didn't lose the, the freaking noble longbow. I mean, I know it's not that big of a deal, to be honest. We could just buy another one, and we're going to have a ton of money in this campaign, but I really, I got tired of losing, man. You can only beat somebody down so many times, you know? <laughs> I didn't give up hope, though. I didn't give up hope. And we're not out of the woods yet, I guess. We could still technically die. But probably not. There's another one dead. Here we go. Alright, they're running back. I don't know what they're running for. This guy's by himself. We gotta get some momentum so we can charge damage. There we go. <laughs> We're just bodying him. Hey, Tactic Cat, what's up, man? Watching 25 of your friends trample to death? Yeah, they can't seem to figure it out. <laughs> Two for one, man. Yeah. Alright. Uh, and I'm, I'm really glad this horse had some HP on it, because we wouldn't be able to do this if it was low health. Every time you charge, it actually damages them. Oh, they're fleeing. Oh, man. I'm gonna step up and stretch for this one real quick. I'll be right back. 20 seconds or less. Alright, that felt good. That felt really good, actually. <laughs> So, uh, what do we got? We got 10 levels of pole arm, only 6 levels of, uh, of javelin. That's kind of disappointing, but it's alright. I think a horror movie did the horseman? Yeah, seriously. And, and the sad thing is, this shouldn't have been a hard battle, but I made it hard by making silly mistakes. The, this should have been a very easy battle. We are going to take the troops. We're not going to use them. Like I said, we can't use troops in battle, but I do want to use them to donate. We can definitely donate troops to get um, some influence. So we'll, we'll take advantage of that. Can people fall down now? No, it's because I ran them over with a horse. Yeah, if they get hit hard enough with a horse, they will definitely fall down. Alright, so right to the right to the keep and donate. So 13 influence off of that. It's pretty good. Uh, peace. Yeah, I don't really care if we make peace. It's your call. What the hell did these guys do to get that much influence? Two hours movie of a guy and a horse just randomly running by and stabbing people. I guess, isn't that like the Ichabod Clay or something? What's that one? The Headless Horseman? Kind of like what that is, I guess. Alright, let's, um... Let's actually... Uh, we can't smelt. They don't have any wood. That sucks. Uh, actually, we don't... We have too much grain. We just need to get rid of a lot of this stuff. Maybe we'll still have room. Yeah, we have room still. All right, let's go to another town that has hardwood. Uh, we have a point to put. It could be scouting or it could be charm. I think it's going to be charm. That's going to be the one that we need to get up. Yeah, we really should have had it already by now. That was an oversight on my part. Ichabod Crane. There you go. I think I said clay. Sometimes this game doesn't feel very polished. Yeah. All right, for the shield, we got a better, we got an upgrade on the shield, so we'll swap that out for the reinforced cav. Uh, we can get rid of all that. All this has been, we've already got our pick of the the juicy loot, and we'll keep the weapons. Is there a better? Let's see, triangular spear. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. One-handed, 29 pierce is okay. 235 is really good for the length, though. That's that's what I want to see. And then also we got... We still got our, our rusty faults. Oh, you know what? I do need to also keep buying up these Fujio. Let's do that.
Yeah, we don't have any income. It's just whatever we sell from this time, so. If you down an enemy archer in the field, that archer would drop a quiver arrows. Is still thing? If you down them, yeah, they have to have... So whatever weapon they have equipped, in, when they by the time they die, is what they drop. So if they have a bow, two sets of arrows, and a melee weapon, if you kill them when they have the melee weapon out, they will only drop the melee weapon. If you kill them when they have the bow and arrow out, they will drop one bow and one set of, of arrows. They don't drop everything that they have, though. Oh, look at this. Ain't that a shame. So we could help and save these guys. Yeah, actually, we should probably help and save them. We only have 50 health, though. One horse archer, two cav, and infantry for the rest. That's easy, slim pickings. That's actually... No, let's help him. Let's help him. I want to I want to get some relations with this guy. Uh, we'll let the cab go in. We can't command troops, and we'll just let him die first, and then we'll go in. Did he die yet? He did not die yet. Why did he not die yet? Are they going to ignore him and then just go after me? <laughs> Typical banner lord. Yeah, you turn your back to me. Oh, maybe not. Well, I mean, he's not the smartest, that's for sure. They do have... Oh, actually, our cab is still... Oh, I was going to say he was still alive, but... Oh, wow, that was such a lucky shot. Yeah, that that was definitely luck. All right, we need to take this guy out before we get one tap. All right, can we maybe hit one? Come on. Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> and these guys don't have any throwing weapons. That guy just, like, left in the air. That was kind of weird. Alright. They're in no rush, because they know they can't get away. You're just, like, waiting in line to die, I guess. Oh, you're running, too? No, nope. you're not running. Oh, we defeated another noble, and we saved Dorian the Silversmith, so that helps. We're so close, man. 245. Uh, man, I can't take it. Which RTS mod are you using? It's, it's, um, it's actually from GitHub. There's a link that you can get on GitHub. It's a fixed version, so I'm on 1.2.6 or 0.4, whatever the, the current Bandalord patch is, and there's a GitHub fix that works on that one. The cheesy bread is done. Yeah. Uh, there's only four archers. We'll take them and drop them off because we got to drop these these prisoners off anyways. So might as well. All right, let's head down before we get caught doing something stupid. We'll donate. We'll also donate the prisoners. They do have room, so we'll take it. There's another 11 influence. And we get relations for it. Beautiful. And we get charm. Yeah, we'll have warlord soon. That would have made a big difference. We could be stacking up influence, but... All right. Now, they do have almost no hardwood here, actually. But I think it's enough to smelt and do what we need to do. Is cheesy bread code? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> uh, what do we... Is there any... I don't think there's anything here that we wanted to save, right? Needs more butter? Yeah, pretty much. Let's go ahead and smelt the Corsair Lance. It's the two-handed one. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have the one that we can use the, with the shield. Got some pretty good ones here. We don't need the money, so we'll definitely take the, the crafting parts over that. Alright, let's heal up a little bit. Oh, 
Okay, what are we doing here? We don't even have part. Yeah, I really want to get a good pole arm, but we don't have the parts for it. We do need to not unlock more parts, but we need to get a higher skill in smithing so that we can make our fox blade. Actually, you know what we could do is we could back down the parts that are on it, and then we'll end up getting a decent one. That could be an option too. Um, do we still have that one still here? It uses iron instead. This this is this is not a bad one to use for just spamming parts, so you can get some some levels. Two iron, whatever. And then these all use one iron, we'll just use it. And then we can get rid of all of our iron. We can do that a few times and then we'll just sell the leftover stuff. save two and that's it we're out all right so we don't have any weapons to sell because we're not selling smith weapons but we will sell the leftover parts that we're not using and all this extra junk loot that we got i'm wondering if we're just carrying too much stuff we do have a horse here that we don't want to use let's get rid of that A lot of iron. I guess RBM really screwed over the two-handed sword. I've gotten used to the less than thousand value blades. Yeah. Yeah, RBM changed. They, they tried to nerf it, and I think maybe they went a little bit overboard. <clears throat> uh, we, we're good on, on cargo capacity, actually. I don't think we need to change any of this. Let's just sell stuff. And then we got our two weapons ready. Yeah, that's fine. So 30k again. Smithing has been confusing. What's up, Ethan? Yeah, it's it's like overpowered. But then... I don't know. Uh, what are we going to do mostly? Refining or smelting? We're probably going to do mostly smelting. So I don't want to do refining. Next one is actually a good level for us. We get control. And then I really want to get up to endurance, though. That's the big one. But yeah, 240, 240, we need to get to 250. That's that's the only goal I'm looking at right now. Ooh, decorated harness. I think we don't really have a good thing for our horse. Oh, it's not. <laughs> I was thinking harness. This is, uh, it's definitely a harness, but I was thinking a horse harness. Whoops. Yeah, the problem with pack animals, we can only have, we can have exactly one animal on us at all times. And if we go over that, we will start getting herding penalty. And we have to stay mobile. Because, you know, we're by ourselves. So, all right, let's, uh, let's farm up some looters yeah, and just talking. finish this off. How is this even yeah. possible? Well, you got to keep watching. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for anybody because there's a lot that's going to go on. But um, it is possible. I don't know that I'm the person to do it. But I'm, I am just telling you now, it is possible. I, I've, I've tested it, and I there is a path to doing it. Again, it's just not... It's not going to be easy, and it's going to take a long time, but... I, I'm going to give it my best shot. I, I think I have a pretty good chance. But... One thing I am worried about is getting stuck later in the game and, and just dying of old age. I am concerned about that. 146, one level. We need to get four more. It is permadeath. Yeah, Godfrey. Is there a better horse for storage? Oh, I see what you're asking. No, any, all the pack animals are the same. They give the same storage. So. Now, this is being sieged. Oh, that's a small army. Uh, Nah, let's not get involved. That's a waste of time. By the time... Yeah, 
we don't have 250, so we can't just snipe people. We can't really do that. We could mess with the villagers. That might be fun. <laughs> I love that they took away the relations hit for attacking villagers. It was pretty annoying that that was a thing. Because you would you would mess up your relations with the with a noble or a notable, and then um, whoa man, we're, let's see if we can actually hit something here though. Man, that is a storm of rocks. Oh, that is so many rocks, man. Come on. Be reasonable, guys. <laughs> there we go. Even get them to come off their line. Oh, too much. I guess I could try and just do it like this. They don't seem to be coming off their line. Yeah, I mean, if they're going to stand there, usually when you do this with uh, bow and arrow, they come off after like two kills. They'll just start charging you. Maybe because we have throwing weapons is different. I don't know why that would be the case, but maybe it is. Actually, I can do this at faster speed. Uh, this is kind of funny. Alright, I don't know where that guy is. He's probably too far. Alright, uh, let's not waste all of our ammo. I can pick this up off the floor, I think. No, why can't I? I should be able to pick it up. I, I thought I took the perk to grab stuff off the floor. Maybe, well, no, it should still work. I don't know. Oh, that was embarrassing. Oh, he's... I didn't know that was... I didn't know that was fake. Apparently that's not a real thing. Oh, half of it's real. Oh, because that's the... That's the donkey's armor. <laughs> the donkey's armor's not real. Yeah, that was a pretty bad throw. Alright, we got... Oh, we're one short. Oh, I was hoping to get it. Oh, come on. Just give it to us, please. I'll give you all your loot back, man. I just want the... I just want the perk. Uh, I'm not going to do it off of that guy. That's for sure. Uh, we you can stop. take these guys out, though. You were never great at jabs? Yeah. I don't know that anybody's great at jabs, man. These things are hard to throw. And this is coming from somebody that's spent, you know, thousands of hours in this game. All right, especially on the hill. I can't hit him on the hill. It's really hard. <laughs> he like tripped forward and just got launched. That was kind of weird. You think he would have flown backwards, but I don't know. Physics is more of a suggestion than a than a law in Tail Worlds. Yeah, yeet. That was a big yeet. No, really? He aimed? He aimed when I, I changed direction too. He still aimed it. That was pretty good. Alright, we got it. We got 250. We have to have it. Like, there's no way. Yeah, 251 even. Alright, we got it. Are you using smith jabs? Not yet. No. I haven't done a whole lot of smithing yet. I've been trying to, but uh, I haven't really found a good opportunity. So, we are going impale, for sure. Oh, big, I didn't take long reach, that's why. I'm an idiot. Yeah, it's because I didn't take the right perk. It's fine. I, I still think this one's better, because we can throw from longer distance, and I, I feel like it's easier to aim like this. So. so we got almost 275 on throwing and bow, so we are able to take on pretty big parties at this point. Cav should not be an issue anymore. Assuming they, they don't have more than like 40 or whatever we have, so... 
Did that say a legendary commoner tunic? It sure did. <laughs> it was stitched together by, uh, I don't know, somebody who was really good at making clothes, I guess. So we need to work on... Yeah, this is fine. I would like to get athletics up to 275 so we can have a little more survivability before we take on big parties again. Uh, we'll, we'll still take on some big ones, but we'll take the, the low-risk big ones. Like, if it's mostly just infantry. Oh, here we go. Like, this is a good example. 16 cav. We can do it, though, because we have impale. We, we can definitely do this. All right. Stop there. I'm going to say... Because I'm probably going to use this in my video, and I'll come back to it. And also, in case I die. <laughs> if only my IRL commoner close could be so legendary, yeah. You gotta shop at the right stores, man. You gotta go to, like, Gucci or something. But, uh, yeah, not... Not my thing. That's so expensive. Alright, here we go. So, what I'm gonna do is try to drag them in... Slowly. They, they, yeah, they've got a lot of throwing weapons still. Wait, why do they have so many cav? I thought they had 16. How many? Oh, it is 16. Okay. Yeah, I guess... I guess when they're bunched like that, it looks a little different. Well, we're just going to murk all of their horses, apparently. I was hoping to get... Oh, yeah, let's get the noble. Actually, let's get the noble out of here. Yeah, get out of here, Zuno. Zuno, whoa, whoa, whatever your name is. Oh, went through his shield and busted it, but we missed him. Yeah, if it goes through the part of the shield where they're not behind, it actually doesn't kill them, which is kind of funny. Oh, <laughs> I hit the wrong person. That was awesome, though. Oh, that was so funny. I'm definitely going to use that. <laughs> it went through the guy's shield in the front, and it missed, and it killed the guy behind him. That was so good. That's like Three Stooges stuff right there. Kmart has the best peasant garb. Oh, look at her poor horse. Took one to the throat. Should be able to get some kills here. Or just hit the horses, come on. Should aim a little higher. I keep hitting the horse, man. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I guess it's not that bad. Damn, that guy got destroyed. Like, actually destroyed. It wasn't like he got hit. He 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 probably would have turned into pink mist. I can't miss that shot because he will shoot us if we miss. And we got to go after everybody with the shield. I think we have enough to take them out, actually. Wait, did that not kill him? Whoa, that didn't kill him. It did 75 damage. So there are some people that can survive. We're definitely going to want to get the upgraded javelins once we can do it. This is so much more enjoyable. <laughs> I mean, I had fun doing that last battle that was kind of like the epic one, but... Not gonna lie, this is this is a good battle. Like, uh, a lot less stressful. Yeah, I'd be screaming like that if I were you too. You need to start using the javelins? Yeah. Yeah, yuck smack. I definitely think you should use it. It's it's like a very satisfying feeling when it goes through a, through a shield and just destroys whoever's behind it. Hey, kill my ghost. Love your Bandalore content. I appreciate that, man. And glad you showed up to the stream. I appreciate it. We, we're going to go for probably another hour or so. I may even go longer. I think it's 12 hours, not 10. So maybe we'll go a full 12. I don't know. I'm feeling, I, I'm feeling good now that we got this out of the way. I'm feeling much more energized. I was, I was getting a little bit... Uh, <laughs> I was starting to baby rage a little bit for, for a minute there, but I'm feeling better now. How are you going to fight armies if you plan to conquer the world solo? Uh, we'll get to that. It's it's going to be a mix of things, but um, a little bit of what you just saw. And, oh, we're going way too slow. I think we have too many. Yeah, we got some mounts that are not that good. And we are overburdened, so let's get rid of some of this. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. Wait, what do we... 
we gotta get rid of the this lady before she escapes. Uh, who do we want to give it to, though? I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Let's just get up to town and give it away. Uh, but yeah, taking on big armies, it's going to be a challenge for sure, but there are techniques that we can use to, to do it. The, the key is we can't take on too big of an army. It, it may seem like we're just going to, that I'm just going to go in and fight like a thousand units and that that's just not going to happen. It just, even if I, even if it was possible, it would be so painful. I don't know that I'd want to do it. Um, or maybe I do, but I don't know. <laughs> As it stands right now, I don't want to do it. Uh, let's buy some Pugio, and I keep forgetting. Oh no, actually no, we don't want to do that. We do want to do this though. We gotta get smithing up a little bit more because we have to b bring our level up so we can actually craft the weapon that we want to use. Like, we can craft it right now, but it's really crappy. Alright, that looked pretty good. Uh, the last thing that we crafted... You know what, what are we at? 130? I don't think that's enough, though. Oh, we're getting t tier 5 parts. That's nice. Yeah, see, for this one, we need... 125, actually. We could do it if we just put on... Yeah, we could do it exactly right now if we just put on one tier 2 part. Like, maybe a handle? No, the handle's too much. We can put on one of these. Uh, tier 2, one of these, I guess. Yeah, these are combo one-handed, two-handed, so that's fine. 92. We can definitely get that up more when we get better parts, but I think this will be good for now. Cut damage, 96, 95. It's actually pretty good. 98. Let's see if we can get this up a little more. Can we break 100? It actually goes down. It's fine. We want the weapon reach anyways. So we'll just go jumbo on everything. Yeah, that's fine. It gives us a dull one. But we did gain a level, so we can do another one. Normal, there we go. Let's get rid of the dull one. Actually, we need to get rid of the one that we have equipped right now as well. A thousand versus one easy, yeah. <laughs> if you've got a machine gun like a Spiffing Brit, probably pretty easy then. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the rusty one. We'll lock that one in place. Melt this bad boy down, and we're in good shape now. We do still have some stuff to craft. Or we, we have some room to go, so why don't we do this? Two-handed sword parts are good. We're we're done. Uh, we can still unlock a few parts, most likely. No, no, no. We have everything, right? Yeah, we have everything. So that's fully unlocked. Yeah, two fifty-four. We need to get pole arm. Yeah, perfectly balanced. We need to get pole arm up. This one's going to be a real pain in the nuts. And I'm not at all looking forward to it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. See, the problem is these things have such low... They're, they're just not worth much, but uh, this one might be, I don't know. Let's craft some of these dumpy things. What is this worth? Rod iron? Oh, nice. How do we have a tier 4 unlock? That's interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> we unlock one and it just throws a bunch of parts at us. That's kind of nice. Well, we got a we got a nice thing that we can use. Let's uh, use the heck out of that. It's worth it to get all parts for other weapons better uh, or better to stick with two-handed. So we're going to be using a lot of different weapons. So I wanted to unlock two-handed sword first because I wanted the... Um, well, I wanted to use a one-handed sword, but I'm using a two-handed combo right now, so it can be used as a one-handed. So that's why I did two-handed first, and it's the fastest, in my opinion. It's probably the fastest one to, to do.
Uh, they're gonna give us, uh, Shibazumur back. Okay, we'll take it back. That's fine. But we're gonna- we need to get Polearm soon, as well. Yeah, Yanjushka style. Actually, very interesting character. I thought about doing a, um, a character like that. I don't know as much about him, but I have- I remember watching some videos on him. It's pretty interesting. What are we doing here? We are doing the pole arms, but we do have some other stuff that we can unlock, so... It's all trash, though. It's literally all trash. Yeah, let's just do, stick to this one. Yeah, either of these would be fine. This one seems to be doing better. What does that cost? This thing costs steel? Why the hell would this piece of dump? It's a tier 2 part. That is bizarre. Well, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Rod iron? It doesn't matter which one we use for this one, I guess. Because we're going to get the same amount back. Alright, so let's spam these a little bit. rest up a little bit actually how are we doing on on smithing we are not that far from 150 that's going to help a little bit what are the thrown weapons that you use that one kill enemy so it's they're actually not that great they're well they're not bad they do 90 or 89 damage they're called horseman javelins and you can find them in most uh empire settlements the reason they were doing so much damage is because of the perks it's the skill level and the perks so if you look right here 260 we get extra damage, 15% more damage from the thrown weapon. There's other ones in here that we're adding more damage and more speed. So it's it's just a combination of things. When you get to high level javelin, uh, high level throwing, you could literally use the worst javelins in the game and one shot just about everybody. It's it's pretty crazy. But yeah, we're gonna crafting the javelins from the Discord probably. Yeah, those are the best ones, and they haven't added anything since that. So definitely be uh, uh, crafting those soon. Oh, uh, I forgot to rest. Rest. Shabal Zumar is already being sieged, so let's go ahead and give that away, because we don't want to get in trouble. What are we doing here? Uh, we rested, we're doing... smithing. This is actually pretty fast. I'm, I'm kind of surprised how fast this thing is unlocked. We're already at tier 3 parts. And we still don't have any swing weapon. You gotta do the ones that give you swing damage. Like this one does swing, swing damage. And for whatever reason, this thing is just doing really good in terms of like what it's, what it's worth. So, I mean, hey, if it ain't broken, don't fix. we need to refine We're, we don't have enough of this i'm just gonna run out of it uh we're not getting a whole lot of smithing xp for it though unfortunately that's kind of a bummer uh what's the best jobs you can craft they are Oh, I forgot. I forgot this mod crashes when you open up the javelin tab, so I just crashed the game. Damn it. Yeah, I've I've got that mod that allows you to bulk craft and smelt stuff. And it does not like javelins. So I was going to show you by opening it up, and I just crashed it. So, uh, that's alright. I'm pretty sure we got an autosave in there somewhere, so it shouldn't be too bad. You ask if I was okay. I started streaming nine hours ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been a good stream though. It's been a good one. Let me get this thing back up. 
Nope. Yeah, you copy and paste them from the Excel. Uh, the ones that I remember, the the tier four or tier five, whatever it is, that that head is really good. And then also the the hooked, the fish hook one or whatever it is, that one's really good. Especially at lower levels when you don't have the other ones unlocked. Or if you don't have the crafting materials to make a bunch of them. Yeah, we still have an autosave, luckily. Been going for nine hours? Yeah, it's, it's going to go on a little bit longer, and then I'll probably do even longer ones tomorrow and Sunday. Uh, I might do... Like uh, two six hour sessions, maybe, and then take a lunch break in between, something like that. We'll see. I, I gotta, I gotta plan it out. Oh man, we gotta redo all this, this crafting. That's kind of a bummer. All right, well, it is what it is. I, yeah, I, I know exactly what not to do, and I, I just, it's been a while since I used this mod, and I just completely forgot. So let's go back here and do all this again. Alright, we only need two food. Yeah, and then we're gonna we're gonna smelt this one down anyway, so let's just unlock it. And then we buy the hardwood and we come in here and we do da 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 and we should be good. Yeah, they want to give us Shabal Zimmer again. I don't... They're just going to get it sieged down again. Don't want it. So what did we do? We did the Falks. Max size. We did... I think it was this one max size. This... Yeah, this one's longer. So I do... Since we're going to be mounted, I do want the longer one. Actually, swing speed's a lot better. I, I don't care about swing speed, though, because we're mounted. We can't really take advantage of it. Uh, 130. We have 131 smithing, so we should be able to get this on the first try this time. And balance. Nice. So we actually got a, the bonus. Very nice. Let's lock that bad boy in place. What are our stats? Look, 101. Yeah, buddy. And then two-handed, it does 156 cut damage. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna slice through everybody's shield like nothing. Good morning, mad lad. The stream was the last thing I saw before going to bed. Now you're still- yeah, I know. <laughs> it's been nine hours, so yeah, you must have had a good nap. Has a zombie apocalypse simulation. It's pretty good. We won our- we won two noble battles and lost like four or five. So we're starting to turn the wind column up a little bit, but uh, we did have some L's in our name, but such is life. Alright, now next thing, what we were doing is we were crafting a bunch of these things. These practice things. I don't know. For some reason they seem to think they're good. So we'll just spam a few of these. And yeah, looks like we're unlocking stuff again, so this is good. Looking good. Actually, we can... Let's use something that uses iron. We have a ton of iron, and I don't want all this iron. We're going to throw it out anyways. Yeah, for some reason, it doesn't like these longer ones, so we'll just go for this one. And it likes the default length for some reason. Yeah, there's no way I'm putting that on there. All right, so this should be good. Doesn't really matter. What's the length of this thing anyways? Reach 137. That's not very good. The unlocking parts, yeah. We'll have swingable parts soon. 
the swingable heads, and then we'll be able to actually unlock stuff fast instead of whatever we're doing right now. Is that? No. Okay. Gotta rest again. Myth and his tiring work, I guess. Oh, we got one, actually. We can... Uh, yeah, we have the materials to use it, too. So this should make a big difference. Now, I don't know... Some of these look like they're okay. Some of them are not. This one looks okay. Again, we don't want to use high-tier materials. Yeah, this looks this actually looks really good. So let's try that. Oh yeah, look at that. All the unlocks. Man, we just got a bunch. Even a tier five. And that boosts our smithing skill up quite a bit too. Hey Richard Thomas, I appreciate it, man. Hope you have a good night as well. Uh, can you show us the the best yeah uh i think you have to push alt f4 if i remember isn't that the the command to open up your your javelin alt f4 control alt delete or something like that <laughs> uh and that should probably be everything to be honest that was a lot of unlocks Yep, that's unlo we unlocked everything in this one. That was fast. I I've, I didn't know that this one was that good. The blunt, bra uh, the blunt practice tip is actually really good to smelt in the beginning. So, can you craft the one ring? <laughs> yeah, we're... Hey, Remus. <laughs> uh, Galadriel cannot craft the one ring, unfortunately. She's good at literally everything except for maybe that. And making friends. Uh, what else do we need to do? So, we have... We have two-handed polearm mostly unlocked. Actually, because we have it unlocked, we should probably craft something that's going to be good. That is way above our pay grade. Difficulty's too high. Something like this, a tier 3 would probably... Oh, you know what, actually? Sorry. If we make these all tier 1, what is... Tier 5, 175. So it's still way... It still has a pretty good weight on it. It's, I, I know the swing damage is better, but I, I find it easier to attack people with thrusts when doing this, the technique that we're using. So I'm just going to go with something like this. Make it as long as possible. I know there's some things in here that'll really make the reach go out. 61. This one's really long. So, 231. Beautiful. I don't care too much about... Yeah, three, <laughs> 315. That's ridiculous. 332. That'll be good. That'll do it. And this is spear braceable, so if we ever get knocked off a horse, I guess we can use it for that, maybe. Uh, 189. That's too much, actually. Ah, uh, whatever. It gave us balanced. Our smithing skill's not enough, and we got a lucky roll. That was really good. Wow. Balanced pull arm. Let's use that and get rid of this dumpy one. Alright, well, like I said, you can't count on luck, but luck counts. That's actually not what I meant to say. I'd rather be lucky than good. <laughs> I'm losing my mind here a little bit. Uh, this one, actually, we can even craft this one, but I, again, I think the difficulty is going to be too much. I don't think it's really worth it. We also need a two-handed axe at some point, but I think crafting-wise, we're good other than javelins, but I don't want to go in there yet and do that, so... Do more tournaments. The tournaments are going to slow the campaign down a bit, and we don't really need it for anything. Yeah, like the armor that we get from it's not going to be that good compared to what we already have. Ooh, here we go. So, controlled... Controlled Smith, that puts our final point. That puts us at 10 control. So we can get up to 330 on bow, which is going to be huge. 330 on throwing is overkill, but uh, we needed it for bow anyways. So 
Oh, we saved the game. That's a good point. Yeah, we probably should do that. So we've got this, we've got this. We do need to get these skills up a little bit, but they're not imperative. Athletics is pretty important to do, so I think we should probably do that at some point. <clears throat> Still need to get smithing up somehow. I, I think what we need to do is let's let's actually don't want to get rid of them though. I don't want to get rid of these these crafting parts because we could use them. It's not a, the end of the world. It's fine. Uh, the iron is kind of a lot. Let's go down to 20. Hardwood, whatever, we can always buy that. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go hunt. Let's go hunt. We need to do some hunting. Uh, yeah, I've got, um... No, man, I've got some quality of life mods on. Hey, Dr. Zayas, what's up, man? Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you're still alive, I know. It's been a while. It's been kind of a kind of a weird month. Uh they gave it they gave that stupid castle to us anyways, and we're about to lose it because it's under siege. Give us a bum castle. We don't want it. Get it out of here. Uh so in this challenge you won't even let yourself get a house husband for babies? Nope. No husbands. No husband, no wife, no companions. It, oh, nice. Here we go. So now we can test our, the theory out. Let's see how good this is. They've got 29 range, which is kind of scary. They've got 19 oh. cav. I think we can do this without too much trouble, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So we're going to go javelin first. We'll take out the cav. No, we're not going to relieve the siege. That's Rigae's problem. She can deal with it. Let's get some distance from us and the, the ground forces. I don't want really to get shot up by arrows. And then we're gonna go at these we're gonna go at these cabs pretty hard. And let's actually get over here so they can't charge directly at us. They'll have to slow down. We might even be able to get some easy shots. Yep. <laughs> oh, he went flying. That was satisfying. Alright, maybe we just do ring around the rosy. They seem to have... Oh, no, 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 Don't get stuck. I gotta figure out... Okay, okay, we're... The, the freaking AI, uh, Tail Worlds, man. <laughs> they leave all these little hidden potholes that you can't tell. Like, you can't tell it's an invisible wall, but you just, like, run into it. I wish it wasn't in the game, but that's alright. I'll just stay away from the rock. I'll just do it like this. It's a little slower. But it's definitely still viable. Got him. That's what I was hoping for. That guy's really scary. Very fast. Uh, I, I would love to take out this dismounted guy. Oh, man. Right through the shield. Alright, let's actually just thin the herd a little bit, because there's kind of a lot. And what is this guy doing out here by himself? Your shield emblem looks really stupid, hand. <laughs> the hidden hand. These guys are a joke. I, I gotta stop turning like that. I almost got stabbed in the head again. 23 shots. We have 9 cav left. I gotta stop missing these shots, man. These are, these are really important shots. Oh, man. I almost got stabbed by him. Almost. Here we go. There we go. You've really got to aim, like, far to the right of where your target is. Otherwise, you're just not going to hit anything. All right, let's circle back around. Yeah, I don't want to mess with the archers. Oh, man, I missed. Got him. All right, we have to... We do have to play a little bit of chicken, kind of. No, 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 I can't afford to miss these. I, I gotta get the dismounted ones too because they're gonna spawn back in with the cab when we switch our loadout. Oh, we're gonna get stabbed. Freaking hell. 
All right, we're done. We can move on. Let's get out of here before we get chewed up by the archers. All right, nine jabs left. We can take these remaining two cav, and then we'll be in very good shape. Actually get some distance from the archers, because they're going to crest that hill, and we're just going to get pin cushioned. Oh, you got balls, man. Riding straight at me. Guy two. Chicken. Oh, I missed. You gotta be kidding me. I just missed. I don't know if we have enough HP to do this. We might have to take this guy's... Might have to jack this guy's uh, gear. That's not enough. It's not enough. Alright, well. Gotta do what we gotta do now. Damn it, man. Why did I do that? Not gonna be easy. Yeah. Well, we can we can use terrain for sure. Yeah, th there's no way that's enough L. I mean, it, it's close. I don't think it is. I don't think it's twenty percent though. I don't think it's enough. So. There's not really anything we can hide behind, though. This is just wide open. Alright, let's see what they're gonna do here. If we go to the bridge, maybe? Maybe we can use the bridge. Actually, right here, this is this is a good... Nope, it's on the wrong side. Yeah, I guess they can just cross anywhere. That's the point of the bridge. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? This is a bad situation, man. I, I wish, I really wish I knew how much health it was. If I knew how much health it was, if it was 20%, I would definitely back out right now. Because I don't want to risk this, but... At least you have half a heater shield. Yeah, this shield's in decent shape. Against 20, 28 archers and 26 infantry that a lot of them have javelins, it's, it's not going to last too long, I don't think. Alright, you don't see me, peekaboo. Yeah! Some distance and then start circling. I I really don't know how we do this. Yeah, we're already dead right there. There there's no way we can do this. Yeah, I think I just gotta We're gonna lose all that all that gear. There is one thing, I, I could just burn them out, like just let them use all their ammunition at a distance. And then they'll all be melee, but it's kind of... Just run around in circles like this. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna die to fall damage. That'd be kind of funny. to get rid of the, the throwing darts those guys are or the throwing daggers they've actually done a decent amount of damage so let's slow it down a little bit we can slowly close the circle and then like we're just orbiting this giant mass of archers and groups no that's not gonna work we gotta slow it down a little bit more. Oh, that was really bad. That was really bad. We got lucky. We got very lucky there. Really, they're kind of reluctant to throw their throwing daggers at this distance, so I don't know. Die. 
I need to try and hit headshots, so I don't have to hit these guys 5,000 billion times. My hand's cramping up. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good, but... Oh man, he just missed. That... That throwing dagger just missed. Oh, how did I miss? I don't know how these hits are missing. There we go. Kind of. Alright, there's another one down. Oh, good thing I had my shield up. Look at that, right in the face. Alright, that's a good headshot. Another headshot. I think they're running out of ammunition, maybe? The guys with the throwing daggers? No, some of them still have. Yeah, they still have some. Alright, let's slow it down. I get desperate. There's a good hit. There's a good hit. Get the crossbowmen out of there, man. That guy's so scary. Just because of how fast they can... Oh, no, 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 don't die. How fast the crossbow can pull up and aim. Oh, whoa, 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 I didn't see that. So they still have javelins, too. Our shield's gonna get busted here if we keep taking hits. All right, sliver of health and a dream. Don't let your memes <laughs> stay as dreams. Oh, man. Yeah, he's gonna bust through the shield. We gotta stop him from doing that. I gotta go wider. Have to go wider. They're just gonna keep getting hits. All right, I can go wider. AI. So close, man. They're throwing it right over opposite shoulder. Ah, oh, man. This is scary. Because they're, they're getting a lot more shots in now that I hit the wrong button. I sped up the game. Son of a... I hit the speed up button. I, I accidentally sped the game up and that allowed them to get a, a straight shot. Oh, dude, that is such BS, man. I hit the I hit the wrong button. Does the enemy retreat when you're cat by yourself? Yeah, they still retreat, but you have to kill a lot of them. So we didn't die. And we can recover from it, but I don't know if we lost. Oh, come on, catch him, catch him. Help me, help me. Yeah, we'll take we'll take the, the release. No, they took everything, dude. What the f They took everything, man. God damn it. Yeah, I don't think I had these make a difference. Um, that sucks, man. So we have to save up money again to buy a bow. We have to save up crafting materials to make a... Th uh, this is so stupid. Yeah, you can get your stuff back if you fight him again, but how am I going to fight him? I got 20% health, and we only have javelins. They have more troops than we have javelins, I think. Well, maybe not. But... And you don't guarantee... You're not guaranteed to get your stuff back. There's a chance that they will drop your stuff. So you, you won't guarantee to get everything back, but you never know. You can't take another round of circles? Yeah, that... It was bad because we didn't have the right gear. We couldn't leave because it just... 
Yeah. Oh, there he is. I think that's the guy, right? Isn't that Lavalios? He's got 50. We'd have to pick up some people's weapons Are after they're dead. Me? Yeah, I could reload, but uh, I don't want to save scum. I'm going to try and avoid it as much as possible. That would definitely be a decent opportunity to do it, because losing the, you know, $70,000 bow is kind of a, a big deal, but... It's all right. Actually, no, I, I, I don't want to take a shield yet, because we, we don't want to... Oh, crap, dude. I didn't even see him. I did... That was my fault. I'm so annoyed right now. I was I was going to pick up the shield, and then I remembered, no, we'd have to drop a, a thing of javelins to do it. So stupid. Yeah, they have archers. So we're just going to... Flat out die. I can't back out again. I mean, we have nothing to lose at this point. <laughs> we got nothing to lose because we already lost everything, so... I guess whatever. Uh, let's go and burn some of their projectiles, maybe. Let's see how many of these. Are they still throwing? Yeah, they're still throwing. I don't want to waste too many because they still have 41 troops. We'll have to pick up a weapon <clears throat> to finish them off. Really need a shield. Alright, we can... If we aim at the mass, we're pretty much guaranteed to hit. to miss the uh my game just froze and it crashed well i i don't want to be the one to say this but that could have been the literally the best crash in the world of in the history of gaming <laughs> i don't know if we have an autosave or whatever but we could just reload from that i guess i don't know Yeah, it crashed. I don't know why, but, um... If you want to pull an all-nighter, no, I'm definitely not pulling an all-nighter, because then I'll be useless tomorrow. If I get, if I get like, six hours of sleep, I'll be fine. And I come back in and, and do it staged. I know, it kind of looked like it, but... It definitely was not staged. That was a sign. <laughs> It probably has an autosave after after I lost everything. Right? Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh question is do we go which one? Oh no crap. I hit the wrong button and deleted the wrong save. That's my bad guys. Alright, we're gonna go back to where we have uh a bow. <laughs> my bad. I totally misclicked that. Wink, wink. Accidental Alt F4. No, I mean, if I was going to save scum, I would have just saved scum. I, I, Like I said, I'm not opposed to it. I just don't want to do it as, as much as possible. But the game crashed. <clears throat> it is what it is. Yeah, we got all our good gear back now. All right, let's go do it again. Hopefully that guy's here. Yeah, here we go. We get to try it again. But we need to do it <clears throat> away from all the trees. Let's, let's drag him out here. Oh, I, I forgot to eat dinner. It's already freaking 11. <laughs> I should probably eat something soon here. Uh, we'll go to... Let's go to 10 hours. Halt. Total. And then I'll, I'll hop off. <clears throat> Alright, now... For sure, I'm going to save on that. You saw nothing, yeah. What do they call it? Birding? <laughs> Alright, here we go. So this should go a lot smoother. We're gonna take out the calf. Oh yeah, look at this. This is gorgeous calf weather. Or, uh, calf. Actually, I'm just gonna do it in the water. That'll limit their mobility even more. 
Uh, can we do the juke? Last second juke? What? Why are they so fast? What in the hell? Ooh, I have no idea what that was. That was... They, like... They slowed down and then they just, like, shot out like a cannon. That was so bizarre. I'm really happy I didn't die there, but I'm kind of annoyed that we got hit. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna have to rewatch that on replay. Maybe I misjudged. I, I'm, I'm misjudging it for sure. Yeah, I'm dead already. Okay, well. How do you have 44 jabs? Uh, I've got perks that give plus five jabs uh, on each stack. So. Alright, well. Yeah, I think that's actually a good spot. I need to go eat something. My. I've been sitting down for 10 hours, and I haven't eaten, so... Imperial horse is too strong, yeah. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart this in the morning, and then we're gonna do probably two different streams tomorrow, maybe... Probably five or six hours each, and we'll try and get 10 to 12 hours in tomorrow. So, we'll start this back up again in the morning. So, anyways, I appreciate everybody coming in. I need to go get some, uh, sleep. Maybe not yet. I need to eat, though. I'm hungry. Yeah, so, anyways, I will catch you guys in the morning, and then if not, I will catch you on Sunday. I've never seen a Hidden Hand collect this many Ws. I, easy, man. They don't have Hidden Hand troops, though. <laughs> it's all the the archers and the cab that's doing them a good job, so. But anyways, yeah, we'll, we'll get this fixed. Alright, 